Hey oh Whoop Whoop We're playing Mario Kart, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like a nine year old who just like their mom walked in and was like, Hey honey, uh it, it's time to eat dinner. You're like, play Mario Kart, bitch. <laughs> yeah, most aggressive nine year old in the world. <laughs> Dude, nine year olds suck. Fuck kids. <laughs> okay. So, Maddie, but game's oh, already redeemed shit. hydrate. Shit, I didn't grab water. I need to do that. Fuck. Don't Hang on. Water. I'll, I'll look at tank. look at Wario rub his dick on the steering wheel. Hi, Maddie. How how's the video and audio? Do I sound okay? Is this is the game running like smoothly? He's getting it. But, yeah, um, tell us how the audio is. Tell us if, like, the frame rate's all right. I'm watching... Okay, cool. I'm watching through Discord, so it's, it's a little... It's slightly choppy for me, but if it's okay for y'all, then it's fine. Okay. My roommate, Summer, is a sweetheart. She ran upstairs and grabbed three of them for me before I, af like, immediately after I left my chair, so. <laughs> I have, I have slight echo? Damn. I don't know if that's something we can fix. Is it, like, uh, annoying before, or is it fine? I, well, I don't know what it, what you mean by echo, Maddie. Um, drink water or else? <laughs> yeah, I was Jeez. just asking how the video and audio was. Oh, it's gone. Okay. Oh, okay, cool. All right. Sorry, you can't say. Just wanted to say hi. Have a good day. I love you. You're awesome. Thank you for being. Oh, thank you, Skull Kid Tiger. I appreciate it. You're a sweetie. Yeah, thank you. Warrior with the fucking excavator. Okay. So, uh, Cassidy, you already know this, but for everyone else. I had to replay everything in the game up to this point. So, and I did that all this morning. <laughs> um, thank God I had, like, a GVG stream to have in the background while I'm grinding out fucking Grand Prix. In, <laughs> but, like, uh, I found out this car is busted. This is legitimately the most busted car in the game. <laughs> like, really? I don't see anyone talk about this one. See, okay, the the thing is, the off road on it is so good. It it you can still drift when you're off road. Oh shit! So like, it's pretty I busto. Fly bomber can also do that, but I might be wrong. I mean, I'm sure there's a, there are other carts that can do it, but this one has been the most consistently beneficial to me. Gotcha. And I uh, as a heads up, I I need uh. A star, right? At least a star? Um, you want me to check for unlocks and stuff? Yeah. Okay, let me retweet your tweet and then I will check. Thank you. Uh, Mario Kart. Fuck you, Yoshi. Imagine being in fourth place and throwing your red shell behind you. Yeah. Is Kart. that... Oh, hang on. I need to turn down the, the game. Because... This is... Uh, Maddie, Baby Mario is not in DS. Oh, yeah. They, they, didn't, they didn't add him in. The handheld games usually have uh, more trimmed down rosters. Still, I don't still know. Cringe. <laughs> still, still cringe. Okay, so audio is good for me, but now I need to boost it a bit on stream okay hang on I need to boost it a lot on stream I fucked up okay alright there we go now I can actually hear myself think um okay you said you were gonna retweet the thing and then you would yeah okay yeah I'm looking right now um the only thing that requires uh put so, you need uh, at least one star on the missions, but on Grand Prix, you don't need a star, like, a one star to, like, unlock anything. 
Oh, you just need to beat the thing. You ju yeah, you just gotta have that, a gold. Okay, well. A gold trophy being, uh... You know what, maybe this... Maybe I should have picked a guy with actually, like, top speed. Do that? Yeah, just, you, you just need a gold trophy on every cup. You know what, maybe this isn't the winning combination in 150. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, I think the ARA also gets harder in each speed. I'm, you know, I'm, uh, bad, bad show, bad show. Restart the stream, sorry. I'm, I'm oh, bad. no. Welcome, everyone. Hello. Hi, <laughs> welcome, Mario Kart, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> when you said starting, I gotta say it again. It's just such a visceral response. <laughs> That's how they're gonna open the next direct with Mario Kart 9. They're just gonna say, we're playing Mario Kart, bitch. <laughs> On like the highlights thing, that's what the news is gonna say. <laughs> I think the only thing you have left to unlock are just Rob and using every cart. Oh wait, I'm already unlocked. Um, you is it? Do you is it just three cards per character right now for you? Yeah. Okay, so uh, the next thing you're gonna probably unlock is you're gonna unlock an additional four cards for every character. What are those for? Are they, like, character-specific, or...? No, you just get four from other characters. Oh, cringe. Incredulous. Oof. Did you see what happened to Peach just now? Uh, what happened? She got hit by my bob -omb, but as she was in midair, a ghost stole her item. Sucks to suck. It could be bad at the game, Peach. Just so you know, for Rob, you're only going to get one set of four to use them in. Because you unlock them after beating uh, all the uh, new tracks in Mirror. Goodbye, Toad. Fuck. Also, got a new controller. Uh, it's an 8-bit Doe 2 Pro. Or Pro Two, I don't know. It's one of the, it's called one of those things, but uh, it's uh, basically a PlayStation like DualShock controller, but with a SNES layout. That's very nice. good thing to me, folks. It's very comfortable. Shockingly, I mean the SNES controller is a pretty comfortable controller, so it's similar. If you wanna, if you're able to see it on stream at all, this is what it looks like. It's very... Uh, I just have the stream open. So. Oh, that's fine. Don't worry about it. I'll show you a picture later or something. <laughs> I can also just look it up. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You said 8-Bit Doe 20 or something? 8-Bit Doe uh, Pro 2, I think it is. You'll you'll see what I mean. It's literally like a DualShock with a SNES. Yeah. 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 I like the headline on the official company's website. 8-Bit Doe Pro 2, more pro. <laughs> oh, that does look like a very comfortable controller. Can confirm it is a controller. <laughs> Thanks, Maddie. Yeah. The, f the fucking... Uh, the fucking... What's its name? Blooper. The blooper in Mario Kart is busted when it comes to AI. AI just, like, lose all meaning after... I know, I, I don't know when it got introduced, but I know one at one point they introduced the thing with blooper where it makes uh, driving, more sli like, slightly more slippery. Oh, that's okay. in this game. Oh, is it? Okay, that must, been, that must have been a thing in all of them, and I just didn't know. Yeah, they, they've, they've toned it up, as the games go on. Yeah. But yeah, it is a thing in this game. Hell yeah. First place, let's go. So you don't need star ranks. I thought you needed at least star. Uh, I can... I'll, I'll look up, do you need star level? Do you... Need... 
Because if I didn't need star, I really caused some unnecessary stress for myself. <laughs> Toad, there's no way you're actually catching up to me right now because your top speed is like half of mine. Let me get a mushroom or two. I'm not seeing anything about needing one star on Grand Prix. Alright, that's good at least. It's just weird to me. It's like, why, why do they have the star ranks? for the Grand Prix then if it doesn't yeah, matter for, but like bragging rights online because it'll show up next year in, in online races oh okay gotcha I think it's more just like a bragging thing yeah that's yeah that makes sense but you do need one star on the mission modes to unlock the secret final world. Shit. Oh, I was wondering where the blue shell was. There it is. Thank you. I love it. I'll take six. Mm -hmm. There was a moment uh, earlier when I was replaying the game where uh, I basically had to deal with uh, the fucking that that thing in Mario Kart where like you're just you're having a good race, there's no problems, you're cruising along, and then every conceivable thing that can hit you does. Uh, oh, yeah, Mario Kart. Yeah, yeah, it's good. it's called Mario Kart. You might, you might have heard of it once or twice, right? But, uh, but yeah, like I I just. I was very demotivated after that. I was like, you know what? I don't, I don't, I don't want to play Mario Kart. <laughs> Maddie's got a point. Why does Mar Mario look so pissed on his render? Uh, you know what? That's actually kind of a thing on all Mario artwork. If you look at his eyebrows, he's like always a, a little bit angry. Boring, huh? Boring God. Oh, fuck. He can swear now. <laughs> Wait, you're saying thing. God's name, is, God's name <laughs> is a swear? Yeah. <laughs> Maddie, but he got his arms crossed looking at the camera. He probably just killed a man. <laughs> Oh, I think she means uh, prop the render on your stream. I thought you were talking about the one on the uh, the little face on the bottom screen. That's my bad. Oh, well, you know he he kind of look he look angry there too. His eyes look like red. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the DS was not great. <laughs> you might but be yeah, shocked to know. It does look like he just committed a hit and run, and he's really proud about it. <laughs> Honestly, that render kind of looks like something you'd see on a GTA cover. Oh. <laughs> You're so right! I hate how accurate that is, because... <laughs> GTA 6 takes place in a fictional version of uh, Brooklyn. G GTA 6 is just Mario Kart DS remastered. <laughs> GTA Mushroom King went. That's when Maddie said. Maddie. Maddie. Oh, I, I couldn't think of anything. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything that wouldn't be like kind of rude by accident. <laughs> Maddie's a good girl. Yeah. You know who, you know who isn't? Donkey Kong. Uh, don well, okay. You're right. <laughs> okay. 
You didn't do anything, Maddie. You're fine. <laughs> What'd I do? You did everything. Uh-oh. Yo, shouts to Mario 3. Nintendo loves it. Okay, to be f Again, this was at a time when Mario yeah. 3 references were normal. Yeah, this one I like. I think this stage, is, this track is cool. I, oh. Fine. Oh, oh there... I what, what? Why are we name dropping? Because you're Maddie. Maddie. Same. Like with an exclamation mark. Uh, earlier, one of the uh, Wario quit being a dumb fuck. Okay, uh, one of the, <laughs> I was I was racing on this track in 50 cc. Okay, and I was like. Uh, I'm just like cruising along. I'm fucking smoking these goddamn CPUs, right? No problem. And then <laughs> on lap two, I notice that in this section here, like right here, uh, there's a, a star man just lying in the road. And I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck? I was like, I hope no one gets that. I'll grab that on my second go around or my third go around. And on the third lap, it was still there. I grabbed it and just hopped over all those hills at the end there. <laughs> I was like, great, I win. Was there like a lightning or something at the on the first round or something? I'm not sure. I mean, there um, might have there might have been, but like that was that was really or, quick. Whoever had the star might have been hit by a bullet or someone else with a star. Yeah, true. I'm surprised the AI didn't hit it though. Oh fuck this game. That wow. red shell slowed down. Wow. Oreo in his cool as fuck car. And now he's dead. Oh, fuck. I like how each lap got <laughs> fucking slower and slower. <laughs> if only because, uh... Wait, even on the second lap, I took that, like, really good shortcut at the beginning there, you know? Uh, yeah. I don't know. Go to track alert. Go to track alert. It's, it's alright. Fuck you. No kidding. I just hate that if you touch the wall, your momentum dies. Well, that's not the track's fault. That's the game's fault. No, it is the track's fault, because you got in the narrow-ass corridors. True. Okay, it's I will say this one's a lot. I, it's probably more fun in Wii because I'm thinking about this track how it is in Wii. Yeah, in Wii it's way better because they like widened it up to accommodate the 12 player thing, but also yeah. like it's just you know it's wider. That's automatically just the better version. Exactly, Maddie. The Wii version does slap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I see any criticism in the chat, I will ban you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Damn, moderator power. <laughs> You, you criticize item balancing one time, and I swear to God, no. <laughs> if y'all, <laughs> we're gonna make a Mario Kart Wii Discord server where Mario Kart Wii item discussion is its own channel. <laughs> mods, mods, too many bods. Damn. I don't know if rope for a compliment. Yo, I got a bod. It's not attractive, I but I got one. <laughs> like, I, I, have, I have a physical body. That is correct. I'm just, I'm just a ball of gas. I'm just, just a ball of gas? Yeah, I'm just a ball of gas that floats around and can talk. What 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 character is that? Isn't that uh, Kimchi from Chowder? Like, <laughs> it's a character in gas. It's just like a... Know. It's just like a ball of gas that just goes pfft. Yeah. It's not even a funny joke, it's just a, a literal fart cloud that talks. Shouts to Chowder where the creator of it made himself a character who was like a god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Maddie says, and I'm Maddie. You are Maddie. Yeah, I don't know. Might need to do cross examination of that. <laughs> Cassidy questions whether or not the authenticity of Matty. I am yeah. Chicken Nugget. No, you're Maddie. We just established this. I don't know. Uh, they could be a Chicken Nugget. <laughs> yo, she might. 
<laughs> we, we can't prove that, so, you know. <laughs> Honestly, that would be something that would happen in Ace Attorney's Gun Shoe, thinking one of the witnesses is actually a chicken bucket. Yo, Stealthy! stealthy. Okay. Eight months of hype, let's go! Thank you. Hogger. I appreciate you, Stealthy. You're a good boy. Playing a carding game, it's pretty crazy. We we play drive game go vroom. Exactly. I'm gonna make an actual kart racer called Drive Game Go Vroom. Drive Game Go Vroom nine win. So, is Mario Kart Tour Mario Kart 9? Uh. I know some people hate to say that, but, like, I think it is. Maybe. I don't know. I, I feel like you don't use all your cool new characters on the mobile game unless you really considered it a new game in the series. Yeah, and they also use, like, a bunch of old tracks. Like, it's just a giant cluster like all the best tracks yeah then again would we consider Fire Emblem Heroes a mainline game despite how much love they give that game you know um yeah and same for Animal Crossing would we consider a pocket camp a mainline game and for, for Fire Emblem I can answer no it is not considered one uh but for Animal Crossing well I mean the series didn't have a lot to do before it, so you know. It's just Pocket Camp gets way more love than the actual new mainline game, so. Pocket Camp is still getting updates after what, three, four years? I'm shocked. Does that game still, like, make money? I think so. I know like, I... like a lot of Animal Crossing fans who play it to death. I've, I've unironically never heard anyone talk about it but you. And even then, like, you only talk about it in passing, not in, like, uh, I still play this capacity. No, I don't, because it just felt like Animal Crossing, but heavily monetized. Yeah. <laughs> is it that NASCAR? Yeah, that's true. That is NASCAR, actually. Yo, I did pretty good. I'm glad Nintendo isn't making any more new mobile games. Yeah, they said that, didn't they? Uh, I I know at one point there were uh, the rumors of the Zelda game, but I guess they just you know eventually they're like you know what this is like not like we're not we're not seeing Fortnite shit on our mobile games and we're you know people are constantly just like tweeting at us like gotcha your gotcha game sucks so yeah. they said in like 2019 or something that they want to pivot away from mobile like they'll still update the games they have but they aren't making any new ones. Yeah. I think most of the ones that are that are around are not handled by Nintendo themselves. They're handled by like second parties. Yeah. Like I remember a while back I learned N D Q made Pocket Camp, which is wild to me. What? Yeah. That's, that's an N D Q project. That's weird because it's like, you know, even if it has like gotcha shit, it's creative and different it's weird it was just like new leaf it's just new leaf but on a phone <laughs> so the, the, the nintendo just handed these guys the assets so they said hey put it yeah. put it on iphone <laughs> they gave them the amiibo festival assets and they're like here make a game yeah i mean you got the assets you already made them in hd you might as well do something with them true can we can we talk about Amiibo Festival? There are people who are like, oh, it wasn't that bad. And I'm like, did you... Have you ever played video games? You've like, played Amiibo Festival. You're... To, to describe it as not missing much is an understatement. You are missing yeah. literally nothing. That game provides like, nothing at all. Like, I watched, like, reviews and I knew the gist, but, like, I... I <laughs> I've been reading so much, I'm like, why would I buy it? Especially since it's like a billion years now since it came out. I did play a bit of the survival game or whatever. That... Oh. Dog. Stop. 
Stop dog, dog, dog bark. No, dog, no. No! Oh no, you have Help! Help, oh, hi, hi, Summer. Oh, hello, Box. Oh, hello. It's all right. We're doing okay. I win. I win. <laughs> Nintendo bad, up due to the left. <laughs> what? I don't know. I don't, I don't know what cryptic mess. Wait, how did I do better on the third lap despite falling off a cliff and hitting multiple things and a blue don't shell? Worry about it. All right, all right, Ooh. video game. I don't trust you, but this is how it is now. Oh, people are making noise. Hello, hi. I love people making noise. Stop making noise. <laughs> Alright, there we go. We're making progress, right? Nope, not 50. Yeah. We're doing it. We be doing. Did I ever tell you that as a kid, I thought Dry Bones was a dead Yoshi? He has I a shell. He has yeah, a Yoshi sh has a shell too! Oh, no, he has a saddle. That's a very different aesthetic. Whatever. I thought... Okay, I was also like eight. Okay? <laughs> My first time seeing Dry Bones was in New Super Mario Brothers Wii. Okay, you know what? That's not like a like visually. That's probably not the best version of Dry Bones. So like, I feel you. Was I forget Dry Bones was in Mario Party Eight? That might he was. That, okay, that was also one of the first places I saw him. Or you know, I only saw him from the front because it was profile picture. But yeah, I thought I thought it was a dead Yoshi for the long, for a while, and then I realized it was a dead Koopa. How are they? Why are they going faster? I have a star. I literally have a star. Amazing, <laughs> bitch. Going off ramps. I don't give a fuck. I know. <laughs> about, I think about when Mario Kart 8 came out, and I. I used to sometimes get uh, electronic gaming monthly from like Walmart or whatever, and I remember someone gave Mario Kart 8 like a, a 5 or 6 out of 10. What? Clearly because they're like, oh, it's just more Mario Kart and there's a fuck ton of babies. Uh, I mean it does. I don't I don't like the roster of that game. I think it's one of the worst the ones, but... Yeah, the roster fucking sucks. Yeah, the roster's the worst part of that game. The best I mean, Mario Kart roster, in my opinion, are either Double Dash or Wii. Uh, I'm gonna disagree on Double Dash, but, you know, I respect it for what it is. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, Wii is definitely the best one. I think Wii is the most enjoyable, uh, but, you know. Okay. Luigi, just fuck off, dude. Come on, get out of here. Luigi. Luigi. Louis. Louis. If they just, Lincoln. if Nintendo just confirms that they're like, hey, we're changing Luigi's name for copyright reasons, and his name is just Lewis from now on, I'm going to be very upset. <laughs> the year of Luigi is now ended. <laughs> when are they going to, I hope they do, I, I want to know why they did the year of the Luigi. It's like, they obviously didn't make the games for that. They, I, like, stuff just line up like I don't yeah I think they just had like a couple games that were Luigi centric and they're like oh we can do this for marketing yeah and then they made uh, Dr. Luigi which came out after the year of Luigi or whatever yeah that's true uh... I saw that save state don't think I didn't what I don't know what you're talking about <laughs> I, I, I did buy a copy of this game. Actually, I don't think... Did I mention that? Uh, so, when I when I first got my... Goodbye. Uh, when I first got my DS, it was... I want to say my birthday in, like... It, it was my birthday in 2006 because Sonic Rush had already been out. And that was a 2005 game. Um, but, uh, I got... I want to say the Mario Kart bundle with like the red, right? Um, and that, but then also I got uh, 
of all the games I got, I got Sonic Rush and then Feel the Magic. Uh, and I got Feel the Magic because I was like, oh my god, all the mini games look silly and fun, but the cover art is just like a horny lady. And I'm like, oh no. How old were you? I, I was a teenager? Oh, okay. I, think. I was like, five. I, wait. I, I think. Yeah, I was 13. Yeah, I was T like for five. T yeah, T for teen. I'm, I'm good. I'm legal. Okay. I didn't get a DS until like 2007, 2008. I got the white DSi bundle with Bowser's Inside Story. Oh, that's a good one. Wait, Bowser. No. Wait, was Bowser's Inside Story 08? I thought that was 09. Oh, then, yeah, I think it was like my 9. It was, oh, it might have been 2010 then. It was, it was like my. I don't know. I think it was my ninth birthday. I got the white DSi bundle and I also got Scribble Knots. Gotch. Two, Maddie says 2008. Oh. Then, yeah, I think it was definitely like my eighth or ninth birthday. I, I swear it was like 2009, 2010. And then I got like Marker DS uh, a while, like a, a little bit later, I want to say. I remember mm -hmm. I bought it. I bought it in Super Scribble Knots to tell. Mm -hmm. I think that was the next birthday. Uh, Maddie hey. got the yo the red DS light. I didn't even know they made one. Uh, of course, they made like twenty eight models of that fucking console. So yeah, yeah. I didn't get into DSs until the DSi. My sister had like DS light, but that was before I got my DSi. And then like a year or two later, I got the um, Mario Anniversary DSi XL that was like a maroon color. Mm -hmm. That was like the same year the 3DS came out. Yeah. Mom um, was like, I, I couldn't get you with the 3DS, but I got you a bigger DSi. And I was like, okay, that's cool. <laughs> Yo, that's chill. I, I think with the uh, with the 3DS, I had gotten my uh, then girlfriend, uh, Renatia, from the server. Um, I, I, I got her a 3DS shortly after launch. And. Because they had no fucking games on it yet, uh, Street Fighter and Nintendogs, I think, and then a pre-order for Paper Mario, which at the time we didn't know was bad, but you know, that became what it did. But uh, and then I think she eventually got me one, like at the end of the year, and I I don't remember what if if a game with it though, I think. Oh no, because sure, I think we we both got each other 3DSs, but uh, for her, she, you know, she didn't have income at the time, and you know, uh, so like, it was just the console, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, so I, but what I had done is uh, I had conveniently gotten us Pokemon Black and White one, so we played through that, right? And I was like, there were like rumors online that like, oh. It has like functionality with the 3DS or whatever the fuck, and it's like, it, nope, it does not. Spoilers. <laughs> yep. Good. Fuck you, Daisy. You don't get to pass I got, me. I got a 3DS for my 12th birthday. I got it and Luigi Mansion Dark Moon a little early, and then mm -hmm. for, on my actual birthday, my mom got me Mr. Layton and the Miracle Minions. Oh, nice. Fun fact, the first game I ever pre-ordered was Azran Legacy for the 3DS. That was the first game I ever pre-ordered. Yo, shout out to Azran. What a cool dude. Played, th cool <laughs> played dude. through... I <laughs> played through... I pre-ordered him. It, uh, what? I pre-ordered him, specifically. No. Oh, wow. Is that how you're gonna tell him? What? Tell him what? I was making a joke. You got you got something secret you gotta let everyone know? What are you talking about? <laughs> What do, you, what do you say, Cassidy? Why would you pre-order Azran? Give me a joke. Um, I don't know. Azran's a funny guy. Stop. I, I know. Stop. I'm just teasing. Sorry. Okay. But, uh, what was... Oh, first game I ever pre-ordered. Shadow <laughs> the Hedgehog on GameCube, baby. Let's go. Tell them why you pre-ordered it? Huh? Are you going to tell them what made you pre-order it? Uh, uh, I was a dumb Sonic fan who was so hype on how gritty and cool Shadow was. <laughs> like, the power tell you it's like really good or something. Oh yeah, the fucking... Okay, I got fucking tricked by the Nintendo Power review that gave that fucking game an 8 out of 10. Like, I already hate number reviews as it is, but like, it, 
you know, Baby Rob didn't give a fuck. He saw 8 out of 10 in Nintendo Power. Like, whoa, like, they love this game. This game must be sick. God, I hate that fucking game. That game is trash. <laughs> the fucking... I'm gonna read that to see what they, act, like what they actually wrote. I'm fascinated. I'm pretty sure they're, uh, they're, they even, like, uh, had an official response, like, in a later magazine that was like, yeah, we rated that too high. Like, they have, they put that in a, in a magazine, like, in a reader question. They were like, hey, why did you rate Shadow the Hedgehog so high? Are you actually high? <laughs> like, <laughs> and the reviewer was like, my bad. <laughs> you know what's the saddest thing about Nintendo Power? Hmm. Their, la their last two issues before they went defunct were about looking optimistically to the Wii U's release. Eesh. Oof. <laughs> they later. ended on the for the Wii U. Yeah, later, man. <laughs> I remember one of the... In, in, I think the second last issue they were... Oh, that's something that I always think about is they reviewed Rhythm Thief for the 3DS. Mm -hmm. And the dude mentioned in it that was like, I love this game, but I don't think Sega's going to be around for uh, many more years, so I'm going to like it while it lasts, or something oh. like that. Oh, like, no. Like, it was going to go out soon. Does does he have, like, some inside info that no one knows about? Was he hearing about, <laughs> like... No. Like, what was, what was the behind-the-scenes of that fucking article? <laughs> I, I also could be misremembering it, and maybe he was talking about like how they don't. I, he might have also. I, he also mentioned like they don't do. They don't revisit IPs a lot. That I might be getting memories mixed, but that was it was something like that. Mm. Yeah, Fucking he was like really down on Sega for some reason than that. Fucking Nintendo Power. I remember. Uh, I forget which issue it was, but they uh, there was a period of time where they like teased whatever the next issue would be about. Um, yeah. And, and one of them, they had a moon. And I was like, oh, a moon? Like, oh, what could it be? And I thought, you know, because I'm fucking 10 or whatever, right? Like, I'm, I'm thinking, like, of all these cool IP it could be, and it's going to appeal to me, and I'm going to like it. And it was a Castlevania game. I was like, no one yeah. likes Castlevania. Garbage franchise. Circle of the Moon, then? Huh? I'm guessing the Circle of the Moon? It was it no it it was uh I want to it was one of the DS games that's all I remember. I don't remember which one though. It would have been around 2008 to 2010 though. Yeah, I only oh. read Nintendo Power for the last few years because obviously I didn't know about them when I was like six. I found them when yeah. I in middle like early like late elementary school early middle school before right before they like went out. I'm trying to think. Uh, I don't think I had a subscription to them. Or maybe I did? I didn't. I just got every month I would, like, every, throughout the months I would check, like, Walmart, like, their magazine section. And when it they I would actually, like, buy it. Yeah, I, I don't know. I have a memory of having a subscription, but I don't remember having a lot of issues. Like, yeah. So, I'm thinking maybe I did just, like, buy them from Walmart and stuff? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I, I do remember having the uh, the Sonic Chronicles cover. Mm -hmm. uh, the Sonic Chronicles issue. I've, if, fun fact, I've beaten that game 11 times. Hey. Why are you like this? <laughs> uh, I don't like you have a lot of games, but still, I <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, you know, as a lot of them your other games. Two two thousand eight, Rob was really struggling for high quality gaming. Okay, <laughs> like <laughs> what I, other DS games did you have at the time? I I mean, I had a three sixty and a Wii, so like I had you know pretty much all bases covered there. But like, I just I don't know. Like I, I, I just rushed eleven times. What? I played Sonic Rush 11 times. I mean... Uh-oh. Oh, no. Did someone say Sonic Chronicles? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. People people be hating on that game, but I like that game. I don't care what yeah. anyone says. It's funny. Never, ah, never played it. I know Bioware made it. 
And it ends on a cliffhanger. Yeah. Still haven't beaten it. Oh, I mean, that's fair, though. Like, not a lot of people have. It's been, what, 14 years? 13 years? No, 2008. It's like 12, 13. 13 years. Wait. I didn't even get first in every race and I still got gold? Fuck. It's just too much of a pro gamer. Yo, let's go. But yeah, I beat that game like 11 times, and it was... I, I have no regrets. You had Bowser's Inside Story. You could have... That's also an RPG. I mean, oh. I did I did have that too. And, and, you know, it was... You know, it was fun. But, you know, I'm a Sonic fan. Not a Mario fan, so... Well, okay, I, I guess I'm technically a Mario fan by, like, technicality of, like, having played most, if not all, the games. But, like... I wouldn't call myself a fan, if that makes sense. I mean, if you go through every Mario game, you'll probably like a good chunk of them. Yeah, I like them. But, like, I don't know, I'm much more of a Sonic fan than I am a Mario fan. We're racing on Flan. That's real, real talk. This entire stage looks like, uh, what is it? Like those peanut butter topped with chocolate, like cake, like uh, desserts. I'm thinking about flan, which is like custard with caramel on top. Oh yeah, it does look like that. You're right. You're right. Which I only know about because Nintendo references it sometimes in their games. Wait, really? Yeah, it's, it, I think it's a bigger. It's like a. I'm not gonna say. I know it's big, like a big thing in Japan. Like you can get it prepackaged in Japan. Oh, you mean? Okay, gotcha. That's what you meant. I thought you meant Nintendo references the fact that the stage looks like Flan. No, no, no they reference Flan itself. Yeah, Flan itself makes sense. There's a Final Fantasy uh, enemy that's uh, oh, yeah. literally called Flan. Yeah, I think I know. Like Kingdom Hearts Three has like collectible Flan monsters. Probably that's like one of the out. things I know about Kingdom Hearts 3. <laughs> I don't know no anything spoilers. about that game except the fact that they like really screwed it up. No spoilers in chat though. Don't no one say anything. You know. Yeah, yeah, no spoilers, please. I played the first Kingdom Hearts and I need to go back and do the rest. I want, I gotta get the Dream Drop Distance because that one has my favorite Disney movie in it. Tron. No. <laughs> Tron. <laughs> Why? It's a good movie. That's my favorite Disney movie. You know what? That's a that's a pretty good movie. I'll I'll give you that. Oh, is that like the right age where like all the like weird like late nineties two thousands Disney films are the ones that were I'm into? Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, have fun. Uh, for some reason, my Discord is popping off and I need to know why. Okay, sorry about that. Shell and I'm in first. Let's go. Get fucked, Bowser. The acceleration in this game is just slightly too high for a lot of the characters, and I'm really wondering, like, if that's why Mario Kart Wii is more reliant on your uh, your 
your top speed and stuff. I need to be better about that. I always forget about the flower patch there. Oh, there we go. Okay, great. Unfortunately, I still need to do the uh, fucking mission mode, too. I didn't play through any of that yet. Well, I, I did, technically, on a previous stream, but I didn't replay all of it after losing the save data, so... Gonna have to redo all the, all the missions, too. And I think with those, uh, Cassidy mentioned that uh, I do need to get uh, star rank on those, which will take just slightly too long for my taste. I don't know how I'm still in second after all that. Okay, another blue shell. I'll take it. Oh, well. Mm. comes another one. That's three. It's three in just this one race. This is Mario Kart Wii? What's going on? first in all the races to get a gold so I can I can live with that I just need to do really well on Rainbow Road
Yep, there we go. I got Bowser screwed over there on the loop. There we go. That'll be bad vibes for them. Bing like, this. Oh, well, hello. Hi, welcome back. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. What were we talking about? That's a great question. Chat, what were we talking about? I was just shooting. I, I, I honestly wasn't talking a whole lot. Just kind of talking about uh, what I'm doing. And Chat, looking, looking engage. At, Cassidy, why are you yelling? Why are you yelling? The chat needs to talk to us. Uh, I don't know if they have to. They don't have to if they don't want to. Chat, be funny. <laughs> be funny. <laughs> Maddie just chimes in. I'm Maddie. <laughs> Best joke ever. Only joke. Yo, there you go. You love to see it. Seven different cards. Let's go. Monk, like a monk. No. God damn it, Cassidy. When are they going to add the imposter to Mario Kart? Alright, so. That's good, that's good. That's all. You know what? That's, actually, that's not bad. No, not that one. No, not that one. Ooh, kind of that one. No, the item stat sucks, though. Stinky. Uh, wait, is. Streamliner, the best card in the game? I don't know. Oh, wait, I didn't even look at all the Luigi's. <laughs> I was gonna say Jeep, Luigi, and the Jeep. Why'd they give him this one? Is, is it because he's green? Don't yeah. tell me it's because he's green. No, but Luigi do be farming. <gasps> oh. Ooh, who's I... that for? Oh, teaser. I like it. Let's go. I do appreciate that's like legitimately a teaser for like a character you haven't unlocked yet. Please. It's his ball. It's it's my balls. <laughs> Rob balls. <laughs> Rob balls. Rob Balson. <laughs> oh no, they gave Peach a tank. She's not fucking around anymore. <laughs> She's fucking pissed about Bowser, dude. <laughs> Bowser's taking his kingdom down with her own hands. Culture Gust 4. Oh no! Oh no! Oh. They're mobilizing. <laughs> They're mobilizing. Oh. Toad with the drip car? Yo, Toad in this is kind of cool though. I like I like that other than this one maybe. And yeah, I can kind of see this one, but other than that, they gave him the most... The, Two funniest fucking cars you could have given him. Yeah. That is my favorite thing about this game is that uh, after you like beat everything, you can use every car for every character. That's such a cool thing. Yeah, it really is a cool thing. Yo, this it one's kind of cool though, seven, right? Like, yo, he's he, he went for that cheap car. <laughs> oh, Ooh, who's that? <laughs> Rob Ligus. <laughs> Lick my balls. <laughs> He's hanging out, dude. He's chilling. Oh. Uh oh. Uh. I might. I might do zipper. Zipper looks kind of good, right? Like. Yeah, and Wario's fucking balling in it. Two Wario's chilling, man. Yeah. Put Bowser on a bike, please. <laughs> Bowser in this fucking thing is the funniest shit ever. <laughs> I love that his legs can definitely not fit in there at all. I like that uh, almost objectively the 
this is better because of the drift alone. Oh, yeah. Bowser. What did they give my girl? Alright, B Dasher. Okay. I mean, B Dasher's alright. Alright, that one. Uh, she already kind of has that, but sure. An oh. egg. Okay. Uh, what? Man, they uh, they kind of screwed Daisy on this one. I'm gonna be real, like. Yeah. What do they give dry bones? Oh Ooh. shit! Shit! This might, <laughs> this might be good. They put him in a vegetable. <laughs> a cucumber. Cucumber. Oh no! Didn't mean to hit that. Marshmallow. Let me get one. You see, like, why would I take this one when the item stat on this is so much better? Don't worry about it. I don't think the standard cards are ever meant to be, like, used. They're just there to pad. But, like, stat-wise, this is still really good, you know? Like, it's pretty balanced. What? What? This one just has overall higher stats. Why would I not take it? What? Yeah. Oh. I don't know why oh. Waluigi and the Brute is really funny to me. Which, uh, which one? Oh, uh, this one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is, well, you know what? It kind of fits, though. You know? Like, it makes sense. It kind of looks like he's in one of those, like, like those like little cars for kids that they drive in the backyard. <sighs> it really does look like that, doesn't it? Did you know they made one of those that was a Mario Kart 8 cart? What? Yeah, it's like one of those like little jeeps for kids, but it's shaped like a Mario Kart cart. Hmm. I saw Toys R Us in like 2018 or 17. Alright, you know what? I gotta do it for the meme. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be his form- this is gonna be what he looks like in Odyssey 2. <laughs> he's gonna have robot legs and shit. Yeah, he, he's got- he's really into sci-fi this time. <laughs> something up and something new. That's his thing. He's always do. He's always into something. Off, off. I'm not. I'm not a hondo on this one at all. Remember when Bowser was really into hot tubs for ten minutes? <laughs> what? Super Mario Sunshine. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's true. He was in a weird mud bath, but it was like slime. Oh Mario, my family's on vacation. Oh. That's so funny. Just him talking normal, and then he goes straight to the sixty-four screech. It's like when you're playing uh, playing Smash, and like you know he has those shitty lizard grunts that I hope I wish they got rid of, but because mm. like that those aren't good representations of the character at all. But you know, Mario. Uh, Mario. Showtime. Uh. Showtime. But, uh, I, I, the only bit I love about them giving Bowser, like, kaiju voices is, uh, his, uh, Star KO scream, where he, he's, like, makes a high-pitched wail. <laughs> like... I love him, like, <laughs> Galaxy and Odyssey, Bowser will talk in like grunts, but if he says a character's name, he says the name. I will go, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. Mario. You know everyone does that, right? Mm, what do you mean? Everyone in the game does that. Oh, do they? Yeah. Well, I'm a dumbass then. I love this trick. Yo, triple red in first? I'm chilling, dude. Fucking balling. Something both. Oh no, Mustache Gamer coming up with something hilarious and cursed, which means I need to hear what it is. I'm too busy looking at the cows. Or is. It, fun fact, they're not called cows, they're technically called Moo Moos, I think. They're cows. Yeah, but their Nintendo name is Moo Moos. God damn it, Nintendo. Oh no! Mustache gamer. Oh no! Oh no! How the fuck? 
Three fucking blue shells? Are you kidding me? Or two? Yes, but we weigh. I guess. Of course you give Waluigi a fucking red shell right now. I feel like... You always rag Three! On <laughs> you always rag on Wii's item balancing, but DS is like no better. You know, DS is way better. Oh. Okay, you know, I don't like this car. This car sucks. You got hit by three blue shells, and Waluigi destroyed you with a red okay, shell. Okay, but there are there have been more races than not where I don't get any blue shells. I'm just saying. No, no. I think the blue shells are fine, and they're great. No, <laughs> It God never damn. made me angry. God damn it, Cassidy. Just don't be in first and you won't get hit by them. Everything oh, that. right. That's that, You know what? That's a good point. I should have just considered what, you know, that. No, what you gotta do is trail behind in second, lift first place, get hit by it, and then go in front and win. <laughs> that's the strat. Just play chicken. <sighs> Fuck it. Damn, you... That's why I fucked you. God fuck! Stop drifting too close to the edge. <laughs> Robert! I feel like that car's drift is just not doing you any. any no, I'm, I'm. I just. I hate that it's a cube. Why is it a cube? Because this is a SNES track. No, I oh, meant this. Uh. For support. Well, it's not doing a great job. Honestly, this card looks like off. Looks, this card just looks like someone made it in their garage in like two hours. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, is that not what a cart is? I get, yeah, you're right. I wish they. I would. I, I, when, I hate whenever you go go karting. They're like, don't bump into each other. But it's like that's the fun. No, no. <laughs> I, want I want concussions. I want to commit road rage. I want to commit multiple instances of raging. You know what they should do? They should put a uh, bumper car technology into go karts. Oh, that'd be cool. So then I can bump people. They should make, like, actual Mario Kart tracks. What do you mean? Like, in real life? Yeah. Like, make... Just, just make Figure 8 Circuit. Farm. You know Which, what? I'd love to see professional go-karting. Yeah, see? That's what I'm saying. Or just give NASCAR a cool track layout. I guess that's what F1 is. F1 has track design. The world just needs better world design and lore, let's be honest. God damn it, Cassidy. The fucking world map design in Earth fucking sucks. It really does. Alright, so... Put giant mountains it... in the middle of America. Uh -huh. So, is Mario saying take it easy or take a this? Uh, I would assume take a this, but it kind of sounds like take it easy. Yeah, take it easy. That's that's what I that's what it sounds like he says, right? It sounds like, but I feel like the intent is take take it this. Then again, we also heard, you know, for many many years, take a day. It's I don't know if it's take a day. Take a day. Take a day. Uh, for years we thought it was uh, thanks so much for to playing my game or so long gay Bowser but like it's not either I never thought he was saying thank you so much for to playing my game I just thought he was saying what the text said mm. the text always just said thank you so much for playing my game yeah but there's like very clearly another syllable in there that doesn't need to be that's how Mario does his Italian accent um, well, he... what, do you, what do you want from me well, he does a bad job, and he needs to not be in the movie. Uh, and Sonic Heroes, when you switch to Sonic... Oh, oh, when you switch characters, Sonic sounds like he says, Gibby go! Yeah, it's supposed to be here we go, but, like... Sonic! <laughs> if, you, 
What the fuck? What the fuck? I think the is friends are good. Fuck you. Damn. Like the friends. The friends are fine. It's the it's the it's Sega that sucks. I like Vector. I like Charmy B. Fuck you. <laughs> What's the other one? Uh, SBO. En en enchilada. No. Enchilada! Empanada. Yo, Empanada the Chameleon. Let's go. <laughs> you know, you the Sonic cast is just a menu at a Mexican restaurant. You can't just say that. That's we had, enchilada the, we had Knuckles the Enchilada, and we had Empanada the uh, whatever he is. The Chameleon. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, we can turn every character into a Mexican dish. Okay, what's... A churro bees? Exactly! <laughs> so what, what about Sonic? What is he? Hmm... I'm trying to think of the... Sonic... Sausage... I'm getting there. No, I don't... I don't buy sausage. <laughs> sausage the hash brown. There we go. Oh, no, no, no! Super Mustache Gamer got it. Salsa the Hedgehog. <laughs> Fucking Kales. salsa. Kales can be tamales. Tamales? Like... Yeah! Miles Tamales, tamales? Prower. <laughs> Have you ever never tamales? They're delicious. So good. They're alright. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I love tamales. So good. But I also just love corn flour. Corn? Yes. Steak. Steak. Steak tamales, exactly. <laughs> God damn it. Fuck, I really want tamales now. <laughs> <laughs> Order it on DoorDash. Good, but I, I only have like 50 bucks. How long does that have to last you for? I don't know. I was supposed to get paid at the top of the month, but it's been five days, so... Oh, uh, you I... can check your account then. What are you looking at? No, remember my grandpa just pays me, but he hasn't mentioned pay yet, so... Oh, just talk to him then. You know that's impossible for me. I'll, I'll do it then. I'll, I'll, I'll DM him. And ask if she knows what's up. Yeah, Is I'll DM... I'll DM your grandpa and be like, Hey, <laughs> where you at? Yeah. Honestly, that's, the, that's why I think this track is so cool, is because you can drive into oncoming traffic. I re yeah, it is cool for that. I do appreciate that. It's fun. It's very weird in Double Dash. If you're on 50cc, there is a dividing wall. Mm -hmm. Weird. But, n but not in this game. If you're on 50cc, yeah, it's still like just this track. Yeah, uh, Mario Kart 16 with Double Dash did that a lot, where the 50cc version would have, like, a wall in a place to make it easier. Like, Chaco Mountain in 64 on 50cc, there, there'd be a fence on that little cliff. So you didn't fall oh. back. But, but you know that big U-turn you do? There's, like, a yeah. cliff so you don't fall into the... There's a fence so you don't fall into the water or the track. Yeah. Below. Oh, another Dr. Egg flan. I, I want to try flan sometime. It looks so good. It's it's basically like pudding. That's all it is. Yeah, it's just like a, a, a vanilla custard. I don't know what type of custard. It's just custard, and then they have caramel on top. Oh no, the custard is the custard is also caramel. It's a caramel yeah. custard, caramel topping. <laughs> Stealthy says Doctor Egg McMuffin. I do like eating Egg McMuffin. Egg McMuffins are like a little too good. Did you? I always thought, like, when it's, like, egg white and yolk, that always tasted faker to me than just a, the yellow stuff. But I learned that uh, the one that is, like, an actual egg white and yolk, that they cook. The, the folded over egg they have is a prepackaged thing. Yeah. It's so weird to me that one they make in the restaurant and one they just microwave. Yeah, you would figure they, you know, just, like, make it all the same thing, right? So... Dr. Sam and Eggs Benedict. <laughs> Isn't that Dr. Strange's actor? Shit, you're right. What's that dish that's like, you have a bagel, cream cheese, and salmon on it? 
Oh, I, I know what you're talking about. What is that called? Uh, I've never had it. Hang on. I really want to. Hey, Troy. Hey. Yeah, what's What What is it called when it's like a... What is it, Cassidy? It's like a salmon sandwich. It's, a ba- it's an open-faced bagel with cream cheese and salmon bagel? on it. An open-faced bagel with salmon. It's, salmon. it's a bagel with locks. A bagel with locks? Yeah, it's That's called it. locks. Yep. It's smoked salmon. It's called smoked locks. salmon. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, now I want smoked salmon. Fuck. Just order DoorDash. Smoked salmon in so long. That shit hit different. Real talk, like, some, uh, playing Great Ace Attorney, no spoilers, uh, has, a, a like, upset me greatly because I, <laughs> I want to try, like, crispy fish now, like. <laughs> What's crispy fish? Is it just, like, fried fish? Yeah, like a, yeah, like, just fried fish of any kind, with, like, a crispy exterior. Gotcha. Fish is so fucking good. I love fish. Never been big on crab, though. Crab's, like, okay to me. Oh, see, I'm kind of the opposite. I like them both, though, but I'm, but like I'm, I'm kind of a hundo on like shellfish. I do like. I don't know. I think it's just like for me with crab, it's so much work, and then there's not too much flavor in it. You know, like there's a bit of flavor, but I wish it was stronger. Uh, is crispy fish related to Shalom's name? No, it's uh that detective guy. That's that's why I mentioned Great Ace Attorney. It's the detective guy. Yeah, I do like shrimp. Yeah, I, I love shrimp. Yo, shrimp is nice. I've had, like, store-bought shrimp cocktail once. I remember that being really fucking good, where it's just, like, shrimp in a sauce. Oh, yeah. You're telling me a shrimp fried this rice? <laughs> what? Oh, what is that a, a reference to? So it, it's a dumb joke where it's like you order, sh- they're like, oh, there's shrimp fried rice on the menu, and then you reply, oh, a shrimp fried this rice? <laughs> who, who? Who says that? It's a dumb joke that I've seen a million times on Twitter. <laughs> so stupid. You tell I me love it. This rice. You're telling me a pig fried this rice? <laughs> Shut up. There's no way a cow fried this. <laughs> it's so impressive. You're telling me a, a chow made this main? <laughs> what? what? Chow main? God, you're the worst. Yeah, must have human detective is Sholmes. I don't know why Rob said the detective guy. That is who Sholmes. No, no, uh, not detective. The inspector, whatever. The, inspector. the the guy who literally eats fish and chips at all times. Like, oh, I don't know if I've seen him. I'm thinking of the one who's like. Uh, I'm not fucking. Guy. How how do you not know who I'm talking? Gregson, Gregson. I don't know who that is. I've only played the first two cases. Oh, he's in the third one. Wait! Second... No, he's in the second one! I swear! He's it's in like, the second or third one, for sure. in the second case. There's barely any characters in the second case. Oh, wait, he's not in the second case. That's the one on the boat. I forgot how awful that one is. Fuck that one. Ugh, fuck that game. I hate that first game. That game sucks. I'm so... <laughs> fucking... Sorry. Go ahead. What? <laughs> I, I, going. I need to go back and do more. I just... I, I didn't like it the second... Uh, I don't want to... I'm, I'm worried about saying what I was going to say. Oh. I mean... I mean, you don't even know... Like, it's do not, you know... It's a spoiler for the second case. It's like a gameplay spoiler for the second case. I mean, gameplay is different. I think that's fine. I just don't like that there's not, like, any trial in the second case, you know? Yeah. It's just investigating. Yeah. And investigating is the lesser of the two halves for me. Yeah, the same. I I can't stand the investigation scenes of any Ace Attorney game. I just I get bored. I hate when I when it feels like I should be progressing, but I have to click on one tiny thing. Yeah. That's the thing I don't like. Same. I'm fucking pixel hunting in a game, and at that point, and I don't like that. 
And, like, yeah, you get, like, gags and stuff like that, but, like, if you miss one little thing, it's just like, fuck you. Yeah, just searching for a heal in a haystack all the time. But, uh, in general, I just, I hated that first game. And I, I started the second one and got to case two and, like, read a bit of the dialogue in it and... Like, I can, I can promise you this. I like case one of the second game more than any of the cases in the first game, so. Damn. It's, it's already an improvement in my book. I just need to go back to it, but, like, it's really hard for me to, like, since I had such a bad experience with the first game that, like, I want to keep going. But, like, apparently the story gets really good in the second game, and, and, and it requires a ton of the setup that's in the first one, so... Yeah. And and no specifics on that, by the way, but. Yeah. I have a weird relationship with Ace Attorney because I love it, but I'm always slightly salty that it's more popular than Lay In. Uh, I I you know I I, I feel you. I, I'm the same way with like uh, I'm sure SMT fans are the fucking same way. Like. Like we're 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 both like happy and upset that Persona like just blew up as it did, right? Because like, because that means you know Atlas gets more money. That means they spend more on making more games and stuff like that, like bigger budget games, right? Uh, and now we have SMT Five finally, right? But yeah. but also Persona's all people fucking talk about. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. like, so it gets frustrating, I'm sure. It's like I'm glad there is a, like a point and click puzzle game that's really popular, but it's not the one that I like the most. Yeah, right. Oh my god, did you see Bowser's storm and T fucking second? He's coming, boy. He's coming for that ass. <laughs> yeah, right. He fucking hungry. He, he's after Odyssey. He's like, you he living on the moon, motherfucker. <laughs> Spoilers for Odyssey. Yeah, right. <laughs> or you've never played Odyssey. If, if you haven't, that's your fault. Uh, I don't know if I agree with that, but if you have, it's been. Um. Sorry. That's not what I agree with. So therefore, I don't want to hear it. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, ki oh, I'm kidding. I'm not right. actually it's like that. Here, big, Mar big Mario is on the sign. We did it. <laughs> we. Oh yeah, that's right. There is a baby in this game. Using artwork from a completely different game. What's that? that is that all just from Yoshi's Island? Yeah, it's. I, I think it's like the one of the ending screens or something like that. It kind of, it always kind of bothered me a little that the eight version kind of removed a lot of the Yoshi Island references. They really did. They turned it into like a theme park, and like I get it. That's literally what it is. But like. That's all. That's what they. That's all they did to it. You know, they just made it a theme park now. Oh, like a generic Mario themed theme park. Yeah. I also hate that it's the more densely packed. I like the idea that this is like a the one in the original version is kind of like a more like spaced out, just like a fair almost. It's not like a full blown theme park. Yeah. Right. There's nature. <laughs> Maddie comes back in. Whoa! Is that the still streaming Rob? Yes, and Cassidy. I'm Cassidy? I don't know about that. Steak. Steak. When For are smash. Steak to smash. <laughs> what are they going to put my dinner in smash? <laughs> Yo, I love Save This Zero Slot. That's my favorite track. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. I just don't like wasting time waiting for menus and shit. I'm just such Banger an impatient alert. person. That's okay, but I gotta say, banger alert. Yo, real talk, like, I don't like a lot of the SNES music, but, like, this song just hits different. Super Mario Kart's got some bangers, and no one talks about them. It, it's got a couple, but, like, I don't know, they all feel kind of, like, samey to me. I don't really like all of them. I have opinions about your opinions. <laughs> <laughs> I think all Mario Kart music is bad, actually. Wow, what the fuck? Fuck you. What about Mario Kart Wii? That's got a banging soundtrack. 
Yo, Mario Kart Wii does have a banging soundtrack. Ash doesn't like Mario Kart Wii soundtrack, though. Yeah, well, Ash can... <laughs> no, I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> <laughs> can what? Can what? Please finish that statement, that awful statement you were about oh, to I say. I really don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he just said it was cut. Uh, Ash just said that, uh, for him, he was kind of let down by it is all. And I don't know if I agree with that, because I think it's a fucking banger no matter what, but, you know. Yeah, right? And then Coconut Mall! How the fuck do you hate that? Rainbow Road! I mean, Rainbow Road's, like, always a banger, though, right? Like, well, except Road. 8. Except 8. Yeah, it, it just feels like, yeah, you heard a Rainbow Road song before. Here, here's another. Yeah, it's like the new Super Mario Bros. of Rainbow Road songs. Damn, it's like it's, it's like it's like really safe but like it's not you know bad you know honestly that that game's rainbow road is the epitome of what i don't like about eight track design but anyway <laughs> <laughs> i mean there are like cool shortcuts in that one though you can like ride off the ramps and yeah, shit is there is a kind of but, like it, it it's just it's just as hallway like as a lot of it's the most hallway like of the tracks you know. Yeah, that's fair. It doesn't feel like I'm driving in a place. It feels like I'm driving in something someone made in Mod Nation Racers. <laughs> fair. Oh, Fuck oh, you, oh. Luigi. Luigi passes me and throws the red shell behind him. What a fucking asshole. Super Mustache Gamer said Mario Kart Wii soundtrack is like Sonic Hero soundtrack to me. There are no bad tracks. You know what, though? Like, real talk, Sonic Heroes got plenty of bangers and no one talks about them enough. How do people don't talk about Sonic Heroes, like, at all? That's probably because it's kind of repetitive and fine. I wonder like, it's not... It, don't get me wrong, though. It's not bad, and I still like it a lot. But it, it's a very repetitive game because you're playing the, the same, like, chunk of zones over and over with different voice acting. That's more or less it. I really need to go back and play a lot of the Sonic games. Hell yeah. I've only, the only ones I've beaten are Mania and the Forces. Ugh. And Rush. Forces was because it was on PS Plus and I was morbidly curious. Well, you didn't need to be. I had watched a lot of it already, but I wanted to play it myself. I'm gonna be real, I only played it for the character creator. I mean, I feel like most people did. I feel like they, I love that, the character creator was such a fun idea. And I, people who were all like, oh, cringe, fucking OCs, gross. And it's like, you were taking all the fun out of it. Fuck you, Bowser! Fuck you, Bowser! <laughs> he got sniped by that blue shell. <laughs> Yeah, get third, you stupid lizard bitch. I I voted for King Kong. <laughs> what does that even mean? Uh, like, you know, I'm I'm saying like King Kong versus Godzilla. I voted. Oh. Uh, like, uh, I still need to watch that. Oh sh oh shit, we should watch that. I own it. Oh shit, yeah, I haven't seen it. <laughs> Let me just stop the stream. We'll watch it right now on stream. We get DMCA immediately. Yeah, I, 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 I literally just like the logo pops up and they're like, nope. Yeah. I love the, the two sides in chat. And Patty said, hashtag Bowser did nothing wrong, and then Mustache Gamers, fuck Bowser. <laughs> we have a war going on in the chat, and I'm all for it. People in this world. Real talk though, I'm a Bowser. No no joking though, I am a much bigger Godzilla fan than I am a King Kong fan. So I haven't seen like old King Kong films, but I really like the one like I really like Kong Skull Island. Oh yeah. Skull Island was fun. Yeah. It had one of the most wholesome endings I've ever fucking seen. No spoilers <laughs> though. <laughs> Go we'll talk the, the movie. They're fucking good. I think the writing in that movie is very contrived, though. Like they just, 
it, it's a very like corny ass movie, but that was like yeah. the point. Yeah, but like even if it's the point, you know, it's it's like when people say, "Oh, pseudo fifty one games are supposed to be shitty and bad," and it's like I don't, I don't think being shitty and bad is a style. I think that's being shitty and bad. Like, I think Carl was like shitty. I I thought it was just like a little overly cheesy. Yeah, I'm 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 just make I'm not comparing in the sense that like I think it's bad. I'm just saying. It's corny, and even if it is corny, I, I think the villain in that movie is really badly written. But it is fun, and that's the important part. It also had some great shots in it. Like, there were some beautiful shots in it. Real talk, whoever does the fucking... Like, anyone who worked on the cinematography for the MonsterVerse movies knows what the fuck is up. Like, <laughs> they're killing it. One such gamer in the chat, in terms of large monsters, I prefer a Waylord. Yo... Waylord's big. Oh, yeah. In terms of, like, large monsters, I do really like Mothra. Just in terms of design, I love Mothra. Mothra's very cute. I like Mothra. Go watch the yeah. MonsterVerse movies. They're good. Yes. E even, even fucking Godzilla 2014. It's not, like, the best one, That's but it's fun. Awesome. I had a great time watching that. That's what I'm saying. It's a good time. Shoutouts to uh, my my ex fiance where I got up and screamed in the theater when it when the finale happened. I do like that. Out of like I haven't obviously I haven't seen Godzilla vs Kong, but out of the three Monster vs films I have seen, I like that all three had their own unique vibe to them. Yeah, that's true. It didn't feel like uh sorry I scratched my nose. Uh, it didn't feel like a like a Marvel thing where they felt kind of like. Like, yeah. there are like every time you see a Marvel movie, you're like, okay, it has these elements in it every single time, right? But, like, with MonsterVerse movies, it always had, like, a different flavor. Like, it was always evolving and changing, much like the monsters From that are in the movies. Right style. Yeah. Maddie, I'm going to watch video games instead. Uh, Twitch.tv slash RMNX. <laughs> Check them out. Yeah. <laughs> you can watch video games all the time. I play lots I'll, of games. I'll sub to them and give them your money. Yeah, you should do that. I, I so would appreciate that. To play as moderators. No kidding. Oh, shit. As if you would ever take money from me anyway. You're right. But won't play Persona 3, oh. shake my head. What are you talking about? I've play Persona 3. What are you talking about? If you build up a million channel points, you can request Persona 3 and I'll do it. Many points. That's No one's getting that. that that's why I put it up there. <laughs> like, I like, could have made it a little... Cause like, I have games I want to recommend that aren't, like, big games. I, I know, I just... The, the idea, I have 240. Tragic. Well, see, I have... I have an infinite amount. Hang on. Wait, you get infinite channel points for your own channel? Fucked up. You can just request yourself to get play a game. You're right, I can do that. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there we go. 5. What was that? I only have five and a half thousand. Oof. I'm tempted to redeem it to request Billy Hatcher and the giant egg. Yo, Billy Hatcher is tight. I like Billy Hatcher. You can also just play Billy. Like, I feel like people should be allowed to just ask if you're willing to play a game. Yeah, I'm willing to play Billy Hatcher at some point. <laughs> I, see, my my thing is like, I feel bad about requests, right? Because the I took two requests or a couple requests, a couple from you, and then uh, Smash Matt requested Everhood, right? And I took so long with Everhood that it like really upset me that you know I just didn't get to it in time, right? Like in a timely manner. And eventually yeah. I played through it, and Smash Matt was there for the whole thing, right? Um, but. You know, I, I, I just, I felt bad about it, and I want to avoid a situation where I put someone in a situation where they're like, why why isn't, why why aren't they playing the game? Why aren't they playing the game, you know? Yeah, like, 
feel like I'm just gonna save mine for meme games because that's funnier. Also, Maddie did a um, highlight my message. New crispy pretzel chicken fries at Burger King. Crispy crunchy pretzel outside tender juicy white meat chicken inside. New crispy pretzel chicken fries or try original chicken fries only at Burger King. Thank you, Maddie. Did you just copy paste the fucking press release? <laughs> Rob, how would you feel if the next thing I redeem whenever I get a million points is Mario's Time Machine? Uh, I, I... I hate you. <laughs> I hate that you choose so to be the way you are. Mario was missing, though. We had so much fun. Yeah, but I also had a hangover the next day, and it fucking sucked. <laughs> oh, I'm not the one who told you to train. I mean, that's the only way to make that game fun. There was no way I was going to suffer through that fucking game normally. I plus, plus I oh. plus I got that funny clip where I asked Doug Bowser to give me a billion dollars. <laughs> I, I thought it was really funny. Uh, I saw recently there there's like a line in uh Mar Mario's Time Machine that criticizes Thomas Jefferson for having slaves. Oh <laughs> you know, shit! Trying to abolish slavery, and the dude who was saying the line was like, "Frankly, I think he should practice what he preaches." Oh. Damn, roasted. Uh oh, Mustache Game is about to post a copy pasta. I'm scared. Shout outs to uh, Bats. <laughs> Yo, shout outs to Bats, dude. Why were they green in the world and then turned purple? That That's always weird to me. I think it's fine. Shout out to Rob. <gasps> I'm Rob. That's me. Yo, Hello. Pretty cool person. Yo, I am cool. That's me. Oh my god. You get on if you're cold. God damn it, Cassidy. What? I'm just trying to help. I'm trying to help. <laughs> shout out to Big Bertha. Yo, shout out to Bertha. Doing a big job. <laughs> Must have been more simple lips. <laughs> I like how, like, that in itself is just a joke that transcends the community that it was a part of. Yeah. I think it's really funny, because th it's mostly a thing like the SM64 speedrunning community, but he doesn't even speedrun the game anymore. <laughs> that makes it so much funnier. He just does, like, ROM hacks and stuff now. Special event is my favorite Mario Kart game. Damn! Oh, you forgot to change the game. No, I didn't. I know I fucking didn't. I did it twice. This isn't a special event. Whatever. It, it's a special event that I'm back into streaming. Oh, are you saying it's doing that thing where you try changing it and won't let you? Uh, no, it let me change it, and I it just oh, told me. Yeah, to which doesn't display it sometimes. It's weird. Yeah. It's all because Cassidy is here. Oh. I push you. Cassidy Anytime is Rob a good girl. Mario game, I will be here. No, <laughs> Everyone in the chat should let Cassidy know how special and cool she is. I, I, I vetoed this decision. I, I don't. It's my channel. You say, if anyone else says I'm special, you will be timed out. Don't, don't you dare. I won't time them out. I'll do it instead. <laughs> I will time you out for six, four, twenty, sixty-nine seconds. What? Uh -oh. Bowser. Yo, what? another banger. Yo, Sky Garden is unironically one of the best Mario songs. Period. Don't at so me. Funny, I hate, I saw, I, I, there's like this one channel I follow that will like post like whatever new Mario Kart Wii custom tracks are out, and someone took this track and just made it look like Cloud Top Cruise from 8, and it made me so depressed. That's awful. I hate what the modders try and do with the GBA tracks. Just let them be how they are. Why do you gotta make them look different? Well. Oh no, oh yeah, you're right, Mustache Gamer, your copy, your copy pasta didn't go through. 
fuck? Oh, it probably didn't go through because of spam. Uh, oh, so... that's true. It might have been considered spam. Yeah, so if it was super long, uh, maybe shorten it a little bit. Uh, yeah. Or so... Is that like a Twitch, like Twitch automatically does that for really long messages? I mean, I have it set up to avoid like overly long messages anyway. So like, yes, so... it's technically Twitch, but like, I have to have that on there just in case. The crispy pretzel chicken fries wins. <laughs> Maddie stays winning. Yeah, so whatever you post most of the gamer, it didn't even get to me. Like, it, it was just oddly taken down by whatever settings Rob has. Someone on uh, YouTube made a remix of what this would sound like in Mario Kart 8, and God, it's phenomenal. Yeah, I know that guy. He doesn't really market stuff anymore. Well, he sometimes does. But his remixes are so fucking good. Fuck you, Luigi! Do it. The Christmas I'm wrestle really chicken. Tired. I'm so hungry. You should probably order dinner. I don't. I don't know if my yeah, my mom might have plans. I don't know. I don't think they do, or they would have messaged you by now, right? We don't. We'll do, we usually eat dinner after five, and it's four. Well, I'll ask. Mmm, fine. Figure that shit out, homie. Get dinner. Get dinner. Oh, I almost... I, I typed, did you has dinner plans? Uh-huh. <laughs> Does you have dinner? All I've had today is some crackers and neutral green bars. Don't say crackers. Like, what do you mean? Like, club crackers. Don't say crackers. Okay, Robert. It's kind of racist. You're kind of racist. No, I, I, I'm not anymore. What about right now? The 13-year-old Rob was very much an asshole, though. I can... 13-year-old was an asshole, except me. Except me. <laughs> I was a dumb shy kid who just played their 3DS. In July, people across the street uh, like to what? Like fire firecrackers, you know, you put them on the floor. You light them oh, up. oh, I was, I was like, no, I was not seeing the connection to who, like, what that was referencing, and I was like, oh, crackers, right? Okay. Crackers are good with cheese, mustache humor. That's facts. Or some salami. Wait, what kind of cheese? Ooh, that's a good point. I'm not like, because like a very specific a cheese is required for crackers. I don't know. I feel like you can get cheddar or Kobe or some provolone or Swiss. I don't think yeah. it matters that much. Yeah, that's true. Like Swiss? Mm. I love me the white cheeses. Those are the ones I like a lot. I love me some Swiss. I love me some Mott's. I love me some provolone. Uh, Wensleydale? What is that? That's a type of cheese. Oh, that they got the copy pasta to go through. Yeah, they uh, shout out to the sponsor of today's stream, Raid Shadow Legends, one of the biggest mobile role playing games of 2019, and it's totally free. <laughs> Ow! Sorry, hang on, I hit my foot on something. Adrian said, "If I wanted to rob a bank to buy cheese, I'd ask for a safe cracker." <laughs> I didn't get that until I read it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Yo, I, I want to say I know I harp on eight a lot, but I love what they did with Yo Yoshi Circuit. They like they made it look nicer, but they kept the layout the same. Yeah. Yo, I got a gold and a B. Mirror they class. Added, mm -hmm. They also had a cool shortcut where you could uh on the like sp the like uh little spike part, you know, where it's like the small like half circle part. They added mm -hmm. a shortcut where you could speed through the past those piranhas. Oh. That is cool. Yeah. You can even do it without a mushroom on 200cc if you hop at the right time. 200cc, though, I will say I love 200cc. That really opens up 8, in my opinion. Yo, that's so weird. They flipped the lighting. What do you mean? 
Okay, so let's oh. look at Mario as he rotates. So the left half of his face is dark. Like, it's darker on the right side of the screen, right? So, but when you flip it... No. You see what I mean? That's the lighting, cursed. Yeah, the lighting changes. That's so funny. Oh, did you not unlock anything for doing retro? Uh, the mirror cup. That's it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Mustache Gamer uh, was trying to make a reference to Wallace and Gromit, because Gr Wallace likes monthly Dale cheese. Ah, gotcha. It's almost like it got mirrored. Yes, thank you, Azrin. I understand. You're right. Uh, for mirror mode, they probably just flip the whole game besides UI. Yeah, that's true. I wish they flipped UI, because that'd be funny, but it would also not be accessible. <laughs> So <laughs> but I think it would be funny if they flipped all the UI. Flip everything, because I say so. Can I be honest? Mirror mode feels like a cheap mode to me nowadays. Like, I'd rather have, like, a reverse mode or something. Yeah, that's true. I would probably prefer something like that nowadays. I'm invisible. No one can touch me. Fuck you. Rob, how does it make you feel that bloopers, they don't shoot from their tentacle, like, near the tentacles, they have a little mouth right under their eyes. Yeah, they have like a Cheerio mouth, and it looks gross. Awful. Yeah, Mustache Gamer, uh, the, the reverse tracks and the trick tracks and tour are pretty cool. I don't think... Yeah, I don't think Tor really does mirror mode, like, at all. I mean, it probably has a couple, at least, right? Yeah, like, there's probably a couple places that they do, but they usually just do reverse mode and trick mode. Reverse, just play the track in reverse, and trick mode adds extra ramps and glider ramps and stuff. Yeah. Fuck you, Yoshi. Ooh, that's a fun idea. Mr. Dish Gamer said, I mentioned that a trick version of Baby Park would have the race leave the regular track and race around the park. That'd be a fun idea. See, theme parks are such a cool idea for a racetrack, but I feel like Mario Kart never does it to its full potential. Like, they tried with Water Park and it just, I don't know, you're in a loop for half the track. Yeah, wa Water Park is not, it's not great, I'm gonna be honest. Baby park gets close, but you're not. You're still not in the amusement park. It's more of just a background. You're like a part of a ride. Yeah. That's it. Like a single ride in the theme park. Yeah. I also just love theme parks in general as like an aesthetic. It is a cool aesthetic, though. Fuck. That's probably. I feel like that's probably because Monkey Ball Two had a theme park world. I played that as. A, I always saw it a lot as a kid. Probably where that is came from for me. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know that, Azrin. And DDR Mario Mix did better. You were on a roller coaster during a Double Dash remix. That's fun. Oh yeah, uh, the song's called Roller Coaster, and it's a uh, remix of uh, I want to say the Mario Circuit theme. Ooh, I do like the circuit theme in that game. In general, DDR Mario Mix has, like, an unhealthy amount of good remixes. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that until, like, more recently, because, when I, like, a few years ago, I thought the game was mostly just, like, classical music. Oh, no. That, I mean, there's still a lot of that, obviously, but, like, that, <clears throat> for the most part, it's Mario music. And then they have a, and, and they have a, the, uh, of all, of all the things they reference, the Famicom Disk System BIOS screen music. Nice. I know there's like a remix of a Mario Party 4 5 song in that game. Yep, and a Paper Mario Thousand Year Door song too. Nice. But they, they didn't even pick like an iconic theme from that game, they picked Miss Mouse's theme. You know, the optional party member. But Miss Mouse is cool, she's got a cool theme probably. 
And no, she, she, no, no, don't get me wrong. The song is really good, but like, and and I love me my, my deep cuts. Uh, like, I'd be a hypocrite if I didn't say I appreciate a deep cut. But like, if that's the only, if I had to pick only one song, I would not pick Miss Mouse's theme. I'm now imagining like a disco version of Rogue Court, and I want that. Oh, that would have been so good! And Miss Mouse are still items from opponents. I think that's what she did in the game. Yeah, yeah, Miss Mouse can uh, steal items. That's her whole thing. <laughs> Hey, Murray, I really need to play Bug Fables. Oh my god, you do. Yes. It's on Game Pass. It is. Go play it. If you, if you were even mildly disappointed with the direction Paper Mario has gone, Bug Fables fixes it. And then it also improves on the original formula. That, okay, that's what I want to hear, because I, I do have criticisms of, like, Thousand Year Door. Yeah. Bug Fables fixes that, in my opinion. Most of it. Say, like, I'm, not on the, I'm not on the modern Paper Mario hate train. You already know that. No, I I, I know that. And, and don't get me wrong. I hate Sticker Star and I dislike Color Splash. Uh, and I have no opinion on Origami King because I've not played it, obviously. But, uh, you know, it's just, it, it's just... It's been kind of upsetting that I lose out on a Mario RPG series yeah. because... And now that Mario & Luigi's dead, I'm... 100% out on Mario RPGs. Especially with Origami King, because I know you didn't play it, but I did, and it's so close. It is so close to being what we wanted. But, no, if they had experience points, it probably would have been perfect. Fuck you, oh Yoshi! <laughs> um, Mustache Gamer, you're not, I don't think you're in good company there. Me and Rob both hate Chris I think Sticker Star is honestly one of the worst games Nintendo has ever made. Period. So, it, <laughs> probably not the not the time or place to go into a full discussion about the intricacies of why I don't like it. But we we'd be here all fucking day. <laughs> I I got it at used to GameStop, ignoring Game Twins review. But I was like, oh, it's probably not that bad. And then, yeah. oof. I couldn't even. Uh, I I, remember I got to the Forest World. It didn't know what I was doing, and then stopped playing it. Hmm. I got close. I got like 50 to 60 percent done. I want to say. That's true. As ran the ring system also, like, isn't close enough to the original formula. But I, 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 I think, I think if the game had at least experience, it would have like the a fan opinion would have been a lot more tempered. See, that's the thing. It's not just the fact that you know it doesn't have experience. It's a progression system and like importance to battles that's the that's the main crux of the issue yeah. right it, is that battles don't feel important because it mu like in sticker star like in color splash and like i've heard from origami king you're just doing battles for like whatever the game deems as important quote unquote like currency or items but you get coins you get more weapons right but you spend them in the battles to do the thing and it's like yeah. it's like what's the point i could just not fight and still make a net profit you know like it, it... fuck yeah. you mario you fat shit i hate you Ugh. yeah i have very i have very complicated opinions about like origami game. i like it a lot but i think there's a win it could have there's a lot of issues it has like minor issues yeah uh, like I really uh, like the story. I really like the music. It's just there's a lot of places where it falls. And and we, we you know what? Me, I think me and you can both at least agree that you know Sticker Star onward soundtracks are still killer. Like there's Incredible. nothing. Y yeah, there's nothing wrong with those soundtracks. It's just you know, the game. <laughs> origami origami King soundtrack makes me feel a, a certain way. It's oh my god. Those fucking boss themes? Oh my. Okay, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> uh, <laughs> boss themes make me feel so good. But yeah, anyways. But, uh. But yeah, Bug Fables, uh, to get back to that a little bit, is, uh. It still has a little bit of a backtracking issue, in my opinion. Uh, but it is nowhere near as bad as Thousand Year Door was with it. Um, it's nowhere. Yeah, because. 
Closing your door, fucking hell. The back, almost every chapter is backtracking and it sucks. Yeah, and then f chapters four and seven are the worst in that game when it comes Which to backtracking. Is that the deserted island? Uh, so four, uh, just for everyone. Uh, four is the uh, the creepy town, and then oh. and then uh, seven is the one. Chapter seven is literally traveling around the entire game again looking for one guy. I I so when I was playing Thousand Year Door, like replaying it. I got to the deserted island, which I think is chapter six. Mm -hmm. But even then, like having to go back and forth through that one forest, the, it sucked. Yeah. But. But. No. They can hear that. Oh, is Island Five Azran? Is that the one where you get the bob bomb? That's what. That was the one I was on. Was where you get the bob bomb pack, and that's your new partner. Oh, 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 yeah. That's uh, that's chapter five. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's uh, the the pirate one, right? I don't know if I ever mentioned this, but as a kid, I didn't. Uh, I found I don't think I even got to the castle in chapter one. So I was too dumb to figure out the moon, like the sun puzzle. Like I didn't. I don't think I understand. You get to click A on them, and I I thought that like the thing with the contacts was what I had to solve as a kid. I didn't realize that was like just saying you can't go this way till later chapters. Oh, huh. But then I, I I found I got a copy of like years ago and I replayed it. I was playing through the game about a year ago and I got to chapter five, but I didn't beat the boss on chapter five. I I was in like the cave. Oh, okay. So you were like kind of close then. Yeah. Yeah. I, I should. I I I've heard the train is a really good chapter, so I should go back. And you know what? Like, the train is honestly one of the best chapters because of, like, it does something really different, and I like that. So, I think you would enjoy the chapter, that chapter a lot. Especially as, like, an Ace Attorney fan. I, weirdly enough. Like, obviously you're not, you know, <laughs> fucking doing court cases or anything like that, but, like, it, I, I think you will enjoy it. One of the, I want to... A really weird chapter to me is the Glitz Pit. Like, I love the concept. I love, like, the area. It's just having to do 30 fucking battles. Yeah, like, the concept and the idea, like, are great. It's just, like, how do you execute that without, like, making it bad? <laughs> <laughs> Azran, I miss when Mario had court cases in Prexy Sunshine. <laughs> Sunshine is a fucking trip, and I love it. Objection! Overrule! <laughs> Can't just overrule it, that's not how court works! <laughs> it is now, fuck you! Fucking island has no laws. Speaking of Sunshine, remember when, like, there was, a uh, before Odyssey came out, you could clearly see, uh, Delfino Island on the map, and then they just removed it for some reason? Yeah. Hang on a sec, and I'm gonna, I I'm gonna test something low? real quick. The Globe and Odyssey still has it on it, so it's really weird. Oh, it does. But not the like big globe map, but the globe on the Odyssey itself that you can like throw Cappy at. Yeah, I get what you. That mean. has the, they didn't like the look like the geometry for Delphino Island is still there, and I think the texture is too. Yeah, I get what you mean. Uh, can everyone still hear me? By the way, I did some editing with my mic, so it should sound a little different. Yeah, you're a little quieter for me, but I can still hear you. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm trying to make it so background noises are picked up as easily. Cause, okay, everyone can hear me. That's good. <laughs> nope, Rob. I can't hear you after you edited your. F fuck you. Luigi's <laughs> 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 mansion. Lewis's house. Yo, got a house. He finally paid off his mortgage. <laughs> Dude, Jess Lewis paying off his mortgage. I'm so proud of him. Okay, my mom texted me a while back. We're having chicken and salad for dinner. Yo, nice. I mean, it's not quite the things you were hoping for, but, you know. No, it's fine. I, I need to be eating healthier anyway. Yeah, there you go. I like That's chicken good. and I like salad. I like the two things separated, so together it works.
My mom made burgers the other day, and I forgot how fucking good homemade burgers taste. They taste oh, so yeah. much better than a restaurant. Oh yeah, for sure. See, that's the thing. I've never really liked like grilled burgers or steamed hams, as they're called in some places. I, I know, you know, upstate New York kind of does that, right? But, uh, like, I, I just, I can't stand, like, grilled, like, gourmet burgers and stuff like that. I can't do that. Yeah, but, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I love burgers, so. Well, th well that's the thing. I, I, I do like burgers. There, there are plenty of burgers I enjoy. It's just, it's very hard for me to enjoy a grilled burger for some reason, and I, I can't quite place it. I just... I guess I don't really like the grilled texture of it. That's fair. I think doing it in, like, a pan on the stove is better. Yeah, that I can deal with. That I'd be cool with. But, yeah, when the, when it's actually grilled, it's very difficult for me to enjoy. Barbecuing in general, I don't know. Like, you always get a weird char taste to it, and it's almost always better to just do it in a pan on the stove. Azran said, what? What? what are you wanting? What did we say? I mean, I probably probably because I said I don't like burgers. Oh, because I said I prefer stove. It's so weird. I don't know. I stove patties taste really good to me. I do it in a pan. Well, mamma mia, mamma mia, <laughs> mamma fucker. Do you? Do I what? Stupid oh. inner key. <laughs> Yo, I still got a gold? What the fuck? Yo, it's pigs. Yo, the base of the tree looks like a flan. What? The base of that mushroom tree kind of looks like a flan to me. <laughs> Yo, this car, though, is like, stat wise, I'm a hondo on it, you know? Um. I don't know what grill. I don't know enough about grills to answer that question. Uh, Azran, to answer your I question, I don't. To answer your question, Azran, I don't like either. So. I don't mind like barbecues and stuff. I just think it like doing it on a on a stovetop is like just it's easier, and I like I don't know. Mm -hmm. I think it's just an easier way of doing it. Yeah. A barbecue is more effort than I think is needed. Then again, I'm I'm also I like personally I'm the kind of person who's just like I want my food now. Like I just want it to be done. That's how that's how I feel. A stove is much quicker. You put it in like or some butter or some some oil or whatever. You cook it, flip it, cook it again, you're done. Oh I meant I'm even worse about it. I just microwave it. <laughs> oh that's good. I mean, don't microwave a raw. No, 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 not not burgers. I'm not that fucking stupid. Like, okay. but like, I'm the kind of person that's oh, like, yeah. oh, do I put time into making a decent meal that I'll actually enjoy, or I don't know, put a fucking pizza in the oven and just call it done? It's honestly, how I'll be like, do I make a sandwich or do I just eat some crackers or microwave something? It's almost always the latter. When I could just make a sandwich. It's like, I don't know, I don't want to get the ingredients out. It's too much work. But I'll put I'll put I'll put uh pizza rolls in the fucking microwave. Yeah, same. Even though that's like technically not how they're supposed to be eaten. I cook them that way, and that's how I prefer to have them. I don't like when they're crunchy. Oh, I prefer them being crunchy. But sometimes I'm I lazy and I'll just be like, eh. It's a it's a pizza roll in the microwave kind of guy day. I think for me it's like when you put it in the I don't know if it's just a weird thing for me, but when you put pizza rolls in the oven, it feels like the 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 filling loses a bit of flavor. Yeah, I can I can, I, I see that. Oh well, loaded from zero slot. My favorite track. Look, look I I don't want to. Yeah, it's fine. I just think it's funny that it covers up one of the track names. Yeah, I tried to look up a way to, like, get rid of the text, and other than, like, editing, like, the actual source code, I, <laughs> which yeah. I cannot do, uh, I, there's, like, no way to do it, I guess, and it's, that's dumb, and I hate that. Yeah. Like, just give me a display message on or off, like, 
Yeah. But I don't think they update the uh, the emulator I'm using anymore. But this is the most like feature rich one that exists at the moment. Spoilers: I'm playing on an emulator. Guys, they're playing on an emulator. Did you know? Get get the lynch mob. We're gonna get him. Oh no! Uh, I saw one of my mutual. This is just random. I saw one of my mutuals. They post like their list of what they want. Um, Game Boy like NSO lineup to be day one, and they included Mario Land one and three, but not two, and that made me feel weird. Like they had Mario okay. Land and Warrior Land, but not Mario Land two, and it's like, yeah, Nintendo would do something stupid like that, but I need Mario Land two at launch. See, that's the thing, though, is, like, at least with Mario Land 2, 3, it's Wario Land 1, you know? Yeah. Like, there's a reason for that, at the very least, you know? Yeah, but I feel like with Nintendo, they would just put all three at their launch. Because didn't, like, NES have Mario 1, 2, and 3 at launch? No. 3 was not oh, at wait. launch. That's fucking stupid. What? Yeah. I hate Nintendo. <laughs> Ezra just posted a bunch of flaming picnic baskets. Yeah. The best thing NSO did was give us All-Stars and not make us pay money for it. Yes. Thank God for that. But All-Stars yeah. is good. Yeah, All-Stars is good. And my... I mean, if I'm ever playing those games, it's probably the All-Stars version anyway, so... Exactly. Although Mario 1 has some weird-ass backgrounds. Yeah, well, Mario 1 in general just doesn't really fit the aesthetic like the others because, like, it wasn't made with those aesthetics. Yeah. But, like, I love the way 2 looks in All-Stars, though. Oh, yeah. 2 looks great. And it's wholly unique, too, which is nice. Like, I mean, obviously they use some assets, like, from, like, each other, right? But, like, for the most yeah. part, it's pretty unique in its asset usage. Yeah. I also love that Smash, when they made a Mario 2 stage, they used the All-Star assets. Oh, they did? That's actually cool. Yeah. Hey, Jess, that's okay. She said, uh, sorry I didn't join sooner. It's alright. Oh, yeah. She Well, she was at work, so I, I get it. You're yeah. alright, honey. We're chilling. Glad they modeled that dock down there, even though you can't see it while driving. <laughs> They like what put it on the map. Uh, when when you're in that alleyway section, there's like a dock on the map, but I'm pretty sure you can't see it while driving. Oh, weird. The map they put a little much. They put like a bit too much effort into the map. Like, <laughs> I appreciate it, but like, someone was definitely like just using their off days to put some more love in. <laughs> That's true. They were too busy making this killer-ass game. Mm -hmm. You'll see it when we go up here, like to the right there. There's just a dock there. Oh, that's true. That's oh, really and there's strange. another one. But you can't see those at all. I'm pretty sure. I doubt they're even modeled. Yeah, they're probably not. You know what I appreciate that I wish uh, other Mario games did. So this is this is called Delfino Square, right? Obviously, you know Isle Delfino, right? Yeah. But this doesn't look like anything from Sunshine. No, it looks like it's an entirely different, like, place. That's what I'm saying. I wish more Mario Kart games did that, where they literally take, like, places that exist and just made it a whole thing, you know? Like, like its own thing. Because, like, you know what they could have easily done? They could have easily turned regular Delfino Plaza into a racetrack, you know? Like... Yeah. Like, they, obviously they would have tweaked it a bit, right? But, like, for the most part, that could have actually worked as a Mario Kart track. Yeah, Old Marker, like, loves to do where they take general things from recent games, but then do whatever they want with them. I really much prefer that over, like, here's specific reference to blank, or this, or that. <laughs> like, I feel like Kart doesn't really do that, but a lot, like, I feel like, like Golf Does It is doing it, and I don't like it. Yeah, they, is, uh, is the New Donk City track just one-to-one -one New Donk City? You mean the golf course? Yeah, it's literally just one to one donk, and they put some holes on it. Great. I mean, that I mean that has merit on its own, right? But like, I don't know. Yeah. I, 
but the way they did it made it made it feel where every all almost all the holes felt the same because they're all a par three. Yeah. And I get it. Every Mario Golf has had a just par three course, but I don't know. I hope I don't know. the rest. I hope the rest of the DLC isn't like that too. If there even is going to be any, you know, Nintendo. Well, they said there are courses, not just the one. Yeah, but like, I don't trust I hope, them. Yeah, I mean that's also fair. Can't blame you there. I kind of wish they just did what World Tour did, where they just gave us old courses. I think that would have been cool. But but you also World Tour if... already had good base game courses to begin with. Yeah, true. You know what they would have been cool actually is if. Uh... Okay, so like, they have like. Con constant free DLC that are like old courses or maybe like modes like the mini golf uh, from the original Mario Golf on yeah. 64, right? Or, 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 and then on top of that, they have like a season pass that's all like entirely new stuff. Like, yeah. like that would have been like a cool model, right? Like, yeah. Because like we got some cool stuff in the base game, right? But like, like aces it was kind of lacking so it would like oh hey we're gonna you know pat it out for free with old stuff but like you know some new hotness you can you know like 20 bucks here's a like like a bunch of new courses and stuff you know yeah i i just wish the courses felt more like they were in the mario world you know because like it the same thing as aces where they're they just feel like they're ripped from like a real sports game you know yeah, that's true. Uh, it could be like Mario Maker Two, where uh, where a word being plural doesn't matter. Oh, that's also true. <laughs> uh, yeah. with, where they said, you know, oh, th like themes, uh, quote unquote. It's like just three D world, I guess. I can tell. I I fully believe that game was rushed to market. They had plans for a Mario Two theme, but then the game sold poorly, so they just turned it into a power up. And, and when you say sold poorly, you mean like relative to what they wanted it to relative sell. Relative to what Mario games usually do. Yeah. Because they, they, they sort of funny. treat they sort of treat Mario Maker as like a mainline game, despite the yeah, fact they, it's like a creative tool more than anything. They want it to sell as good as other 2D and 3D Marios. Yeah, but, you know, it only sold 5 million. To put it in perspective, New Soup Deluxe doubled that. So, yeah, New Super Deluxe is at like, I can check, but I, it's pretty fucking high. Yeah, it's like 9, 10 million, easily. And that isn't a knock on quality, right? Because like, Mario Maker 2 does have like good elements to it, but like, oh, literally the... Yeah, well, uh, Mario Maker 2 is awesome, but like... The really only like big new, big big new thing is slopes and 3D world, right? And like, not the one yeah. thing people were asking for, which was Mario Two. Yeah. And it's like really I, weird they went with 3D world and not Mario Two. They also added a bunch of cool new items, but they feel less customizable than all the stuff that was in Mario Maker One. Correct. It just feels like they threw a bunch of ideas in. And then they were rushed to market, so they just released it as is. Yeah. Like, the updates help it a lot. Like, the big update they, they did in 2020, I think, really helped rounded the game, but it was too late. Yeah, for sure. Because they had a was... bunch of shit in that update. Yeah, the, the, well, that's the thing. The 2020 update felt like, hey, we had this sitting in the back room and we just needed to release it. Yeah, because they had, like, couplings, they had world maps... Um, a bunch of other shit I, I'm trying to well, think about. Well, that that whole world mode, right? Like, that yeah, was really like cool. the world mode. I will say it's not a, it's not super fleshed out, but it's still cool. Yeah, it's like a cool like concept, and they could probably flesh it out in a sequel. But the problem is, like, if they do a sequel again, they can't half-ass it. But at the same time, it's like everyone already has Mario Maker two, so like, why not play that one? You know, like, I feel like. Like I you feel would like really Nintendo have to might do not want to do Mario Maker again. I think they might just want to do another Game Builder Garage or something. Yeah, probably. That makes sense. 
But even then, like, I feel like Game Builder Garage came and went because you can't share your levels easily, and that's such a detriment to a creative game. Yeah, it really is. Like, and they do that with every creative game, too, which sucks. Like, Smash is the only one where it's easy to share content yeah. with each other, and that game isn't even about the creation tools. Like, <laughs> Yeah, that game is just a fun side thing, and they'll let you post whatever the fuck you want. You can post titties as long as there's a black bar over it in the thumbnail. <laughs> but that black bar can fall away when you start the map, and Nintendo does not care. That's hilarious. They only care about the thumbnail. It's always kind of depressing how well New Soup Deluxe did. Uh, also, some tools uh, in Mario Maker 2 are exclusive to 3D World. Yeah. One of the others, which is annoying, plus having to restart your level from scratch if you switch themes. Yeah, that's... That's well, another it, big problem. It really is. And, and like, I, I feel like they could have easily done, like, a, oh, hey, we're going to get rid of the stuff that isn't in this theme, just yeah. to let you know. So you your tra your course will look a little, you know, fucked up until yeah, they you, just like, like, fix hey, it. They'll be like, hey, the exclusive items are going to get deleted, but your training stuff will stay. Yeah. Like, your I, base I'm level structure is here. I'm guessing what it is is that like Mario like the assets from the main themes in 3D World are completely separated and like the engines are separated so it's a weird they literally can't be shared or something. Yeah, that that makes sense. Just uh just from what I saw that was mostly just because not because Nintendo didn't like it, it was because people were mass reporting that one of the stages that had that Oh yeah! Oh, that's that's true. Yeah, it it was just because that one stage got mass reported for some reason. Yeah, it was just a bunch of stupid assholes mass reporting that one stage. Because because if you go Nintendo's right moderation now, is not great. If you go right now to Smash Ultimate, you can still find those stages. Yeah, although maybe not because your stages get removed after three months, no matter what it is. Oh, okay. Well. Maybe, maybe not then. It depends really on how many have been made. <laughs> they probably have a very limited server space, I'm guessing. Because they delete everything after three months of being on the server. Yeah. Which, I guess, makes sense, right? They don't want it to be, like, an endless stream of... Because, like we said, it's a side thing. It's not the main thing, right? It's just annoying when you see a cool stage in, like, a video and then it's gone. When you try and find it. True. Um, I found a report from May that said Deluxe is uh, sold 10 million. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, well, there's the answer. And remember, that was a game they literally didn't even have to touch. That was just the exact same content, and then an ultra easy mode added in, and a removal of a uh, normal character. According to this article, it's in the top 10, like, best first party selling. Oof. It was the 10th ever first party Switch game to break 10 mil. See, what really upsets me about that is like. It's like. They didn't even advertise that game, did they? Like, I don't. I, it might have been in one direct as like a highlight, but it was very quick, and then they released it. Yeah, the, like, we knew about that game, like, what, two months in advance? Like, yeah. they that game was like shit out so quickly. And we found out that, like, if you... I, I want to say someone, like, data mined the eShop or something like that. Um, they found out that game had been done for, like, a year. Like, they'd just been sitting on it. Like... Which is so weird to me, because they had knew Marmic was coming, so why not release it earlier than that? Right, that's what I'm saying. Like, you could have literally just, like, done a shadow drop at, like, E3 or something. Like, it, it would have been, like, a really cool thing, right? Like, yeah. granted, you know, of all the games to do a shadow drop, why that fucking game of all things but you know Mario Maker 2 sales as of March this year it has sold around 7.15 mil so 3 mil less than Deluxe which is upsetting yeah oh you know what uh, they probably didn't do want to do it like a shadow drop thing for that because didn't Mario Maker come out around E3 um it yeah. was like it was June 2019 uh, yeah, that was it was like June twenty fifth, I wanna say. Or twenty sixth. Yeah, it was Nintendo, like late it was mid late Nintendo June. Loves their summer Mario games. They love rushing those. It happened to Maker 2, it happened to Golf. 
And that's the thing. I think I mentioned this on the uh, the GBG server. I think people are a lot more forgiving of Nintendo games, despite the fact they have so many quirks and issues uh, that like really hamper the experience. Because like, the like like objectively speaking, I wouldn't call Mario Maker Two a bad game, but like, it's a game I have no interest in going back to. You know, like yeah, I'm, it's just like, an all right game. Yeah, it's an all right game. And, like, that's that's upsetting for what is supposed to be, like, <laughs> such a high-quality company, you know? Like, Yeah, I, I was having this thought the other day, but um, it, it's, it sucks that the biggest video game IP being Mario has, gets, it just gets to sail by while lots of smaller IPs have so much love and care put into them. Yeah, exactly. And that's what I'm saying, Liz. Like, I'm not even talking, like, because the original conversation was about, like, older Sonic games and stuff, and, like, you know, people can shit on those all they want, uh, but, like, I, people are oh, go back nowadays and they're like, oh, Adventure 1 and 2 are jank and shitty games, and it's like, did have you not played Mario 64 and Sunshine? Like, those are jank too, dude. Yeah. <laughs> like, the, like, I'm not, I'm saying neither are, like, none of them are perfect, right? Like, and and this, this idea that, like, they, like, that all their games are like flawless or something like that like i don't know i just i don't like that idea because like you said there's a lot of smaller games out there like you know C celeste for example right celeste would probably love to have sold fucking eight million copies or whatever right but you know it didn't because it's not mario <laughs> I'm actually curious about Celeste sales now. I was also thinking more like middle tier IPs. Like, off the top of my head, I was thinking like Ratchet and Clank. Like, I heard Rift Apart had so much care put into it, even though it's not going to sell Mario number level, level numbers. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. Yeah, Wario, you saw my fucking red shell. You didn't want to pass me. You saw it. Come on, do it, bitch. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Apparently, in, in, sometime in 2019, Celeste has sold a, a million. Um, I'm guessing it's around a million, a, one and a half mil right now. Yeah, that, see, and that's weird, because think about how big that game got pushed. Yeah, that game, like, is one of the biggest indie games now. Yeah, but that's the thing. It's a big, it's big. Like, it, it, it was at the Game Awards competing with fucking Persona 5 and Breath of the Wild. Like, oh, uh, next two... year it was a 2018 game. It was a tw wait. Who was it competing with then? Uh, uh, it was competing against like God of War, Red Dead. Oh yeah, God of War, Red Dead Two, and Smash Ultimate, right? No, no, yeah, no. It, that it was up there for Game of the Year along those. Okay, Actually, wait, I don't so... know about Ultimate because it was December. S oh yeah, Smash was it, Smash came out the next day. What am I talking yeah. about? I'm smoking like, crap, anyways, but whatever. Anyways, Celeste went up, went up against some pretty fucking hard competition. Yeah, but the fact it was even fucking nominated was the big problem. Well, the yeah. problem, the big thing, right? Yeah. But it only, it's only, I'm guessing it's only sold like 1.5 mil, probably. Yeah, that, see, and that's just crazy for me to imagine. Like, with how much people talk about and praise it, you would think it'd be higher. Yeah. Actually, I'm actually curious about... Let me check Undertale sales. Undertale is probably... I want to say at least three. Like two to three. I'm going to say. Um, I can get Steam data. I'm not seeing like like unit sales, but I'm seeing like a, this one article is claiming Toby Fox made twenty six point seven million off Steam sales alone. I mean that's quite that's a, a bit. Lot. So then again, Steam, like that, Steam gives a higher cut, right? Than most it other gives you like two thirds cut. Yeah. Apparently, it had one point three mil in twenty sixteen. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna estimate for Undertale. I have no like 
expertise on this, but I'll guess it's like at five, six mil nowadays. Yeah, it could be. But also, yeah. it was a fucking juggernaut when it came out. Yeah, that's also very true. And it still didn't sell as well as U Deluxe. <clears throat> People I fucking can't... love cheap huh? junk food Mario. I don't get it. The, the, see, that's the thing. It's like we're. N I, I'm sure neither of us are saying Mario has, has ever really been bad, right? Like, we obviously have our opinions on Sticker Star, but, like, for the yeah. most part, every Mario game is just really solid, right? At the very Mario worst. Mario is at least fun to play. Right. Like, e even if I'm not, like, a f big fan of, like, Odyssey or Galaxy 2, like, those aren't poorly made games, right? Like, so, like, it's just, you know, stinks people don't play other things. <laughs> They just go with brand name because brand name good. Yeah. Also, a lot of like people who only played video games in the eighties will see a new two D Mario and be like, "Oh, okay, I'll buy that." Yeah, it appeals to uh, people who are just like they know the name and nothing else, right? They don't read reviews or anything like that. Yeah. It's weird because like two D games usually sell worse than three D, but Mario is the opposite. No, Odyssey outsold. Uh, oh, did it? Yeah. Oh, Odyssey yeah. Very I... much outsold it. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Odyssey has 21 mil. Never mind. Yeah. Odyssey fucking crushed it. Uh, I guess I'm thinking more like. I know uh, New Super Wii did better than Galaxy 1. Yeah, that's true. Well. But that was also the first two D console Mario game in since World. So, uh, oh, Jess mentioned. Uh, well, and like it feels like I'm surrounded by Xenoblade fans in that series. I think is oh with two broke like one million sales for one game, and th is, well, that's the thing. Xenoblade two, I think broke like one point five recently, and then. Uh, Definitive Edition slightly outpaced it because it's better. <laughs> but uh, overall, like, yeah, Z people talk about Xenoblade all the time, and that's not a name in gaming at all. <laughs> like, like in mass yeah. appeal, in mass appeal, you know. Guys, you'll be all happy to hear. Ring Fit Adventure sold better than U Deluxe. I mean, I'll, I'll take that. That's fine. I'm, I'm cool Greenfield Adventures with 11.26 mil. Whew. Which is funny because it's more expensive than a normal game. It's like 70, I think. Yeah, but I think it, it it kind of appealed to both like more core gamers like us, and then the 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 whole like fitness aspect probably appealed to lapsed Wii players. You know what I mean? I'm so. De I see Animal Crossing New Horizons being the second best selling Switch title, and that makes me the most depressed. <laughs> that just makes me think it's going to be like, okay, we'll put more craft and more bullshit in the next one. Well, see, that's the thing is like, I don't know. I, I, I feel like maybe they'll. Whenever you think Nintendo is like, gonna just. I don't know. I, I think they, they probably will, honestly, but, like, I have a feeling they do know that, generally speaking, fan reception and retention of the game is very low. That's true. They might be thinking, like, if we do, like, the same type of game again, no one's gonna, it's gonna do way worse. Correct. That's what I'm saying. I just, I don't know. I like the first four games. You're, like, you're just out on the countryside and just living your life. You're not, like in full control you're just having a good time in a in a small village that's what i like yeah the whole i don't i don't i'm not a i like tropical settings but the, i feel like the whole island setting kills the animal crossing vibe for me yeah i i because like the whole the whole thing of a, like a crossing is like it's, it's referring to like you know like a, a train yeah like a train right like in or I don't, or any I don't kind even, of like land vehicle. Yeah, and it's like I don't even think those get mentioned in New yeah. Horizons. They're it, it's a literally called animal forest in Japan. <laughs> and there's a severe lack of forests. Yeah. 
The whole point was you're in on like a mountainside village. I will say though, there's a small part of me that is really happy an N64 series is as big as it is. Because you, because usually it's like the NES series that still live on are the ones that sell fucking thirty million, right? So. Yeah, a lot of the new IPs Nintendo had around then aren't around anymore, like Wave Race. Um, what else is there? Pikmin is kind of around, kinda, sorta, maybe. Yeah, it's, Pikmin's it's like here, and and you, and Pikmin uh, Three Deluxe is like really chilling, right? So. Uh, yeah. Like it did surprisingly well. I almost called F Zero an N sixty four GameCube series, even though it isn't. <laughs> Yeah, it was SNES, which, you know. But, like, I feel like when people talk about F-Zero, no, th no one thinks about the original one. Even though it's good. I like the original one. It's fun. But it doesn't have a uh, multiplayer, which <laughs> fucking is stupid. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. It, oh, okay. I guess stars get oh. rid of your item roulette. That's great. Yeah, they do. They do be doing that. They do be fucking you in the ass. <laughs> That's this game in a nutshell right now. Did we mention this? There was cussing on this channel. What? Oh, I just I, I didn't know if people were gonna be like, oh, she said bad word. <laughs> and no, I I feel I I mean I've said worse shit on stream probably. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I we really haven't had do. any trouble in chat yet. What was that? I'm glad we haven't had any like trouble in chat. Yeah, you know, it, it's. I, I think there's a small part of me that it, like maybe that's the reason why I took like a mini break again was, uh, because I was like kind of worried about that stuff even after I got my new PC, you know. Uh, yeah. But you know, it's been chill, like no problems today, right? Yeah, I remember uh, before you took your break, there would always be like a bot or two every stream. It was weird. Hmm. We always took care of them, but still. At least whenever I was around, there would be like a bot be like, click here for free money. <laughs> it's like, oh shit. Oh, for free real? money. Free, free V-Bucks? Let's go. Yo, $19 <laughs> Fortnite card? <laughs> <laughs> I, I love that because it's 19.99, not 19, but it just called it 19 dollar Fortnite card. It's funny to say it. Oh yeah, I did. You saw right when uh, recently they just stole Among Us this whole thing. Yeah, and they even called but, it imposters. Yeah, and I love that the Twitter account a day after that happened, they just tweeted. So how's your guys' day been? <laughs> You know what? Fair, social media manager. I hope your day is going better now. Yeah. I don't think they were super angry about it. They were just like, I think, they didn't post anything on the official account, but like the actual like devs said like, we're totally up for like crossovers and stuff. If they had asked, we probably would have done it. Like. And they could have done it. It was literally free advertising. Yeah, like the Fortnite could have just I've done a contract with them, but no. And they know they knew they could get away with it because Inner Sloth is a very small studio. Yeah, and even if they have a ton of money, they they can't fight Epic Games. Yeah. Being popular can only do so much in the legal world. <laughs> but don't worry, in the court of public opinion, they'd very much win. <laughs> Epic Games, I feel like, they've been getting fucking... They've been losing so much goodwill recently. It's not like it'll matter, though. Yeah. There are plenty of kids who don't care about that kind of shit. And, That's true. And like, either either out of ignorance or just, like, they're assholes. Like, so, like, you know, they'll, they'll keep making tons of money off of $19 Fortnite cards. Yeah. I probably won't be giving Fortnite any money anymore though i don't know i'm just kind of tired of it yeah i don't know i mean I, I played it a bit and it was you know it was fine i, I just did fun, but epic games sucks and they they barely even update they barely even like introduce new stuff to the game anymore anyway 
I mean, do they need to? Like, that's that, the... They, yeah. yeah, they do, like, they do their battle passes, but they, like, what they always do is they change the center of the map and nothing else and barely change, like, any, like, mechanics or anything. That's boring. Yeah, because, like, in the first, like, chapter or whatever, before they did the reboot thing, they would always, like, do something really crazy every season. For better or for worse. Right. But I guess, you know, that's not really lucrative because they can just not do that and make shit yeah. some money still. Yeah, like, I know, like, season 9 and 10, they introduced, like, some really wacky shit, like, mechs and shit. And I think they lost a lot of money because of it because people hated it. Like, the idea is cool, though, right? Like, but... Yeah, it's just they, they introduce a lot of overpowered stuff. That's why they did the whole, like, reboot thing, is they wanted to get back to basics. Well, and they added Rick Sanchez. Uh, why? And Morty. I like that because Morty is short, they had to put him in a little, like, mech to make him fit the, the hitbox. Uh, I thought, wait, I thought Morty, they made him like a bat. Bat? Yeah, I thought he was like a weapon. He, maybe. I know that they added him as a skin. He's not in the battle pass, but they added him as a skin you could buy. Rich. But he has like a weird, like, tiny mech. That's just big enough to fit the hitbox. Did you see they got Christopher Lloyd to do something for Rick and Morty? What? Christopher Lloyd who played the guy. No, I, I know I know who Chris Lloyd is. I'm not asking about that. Yeah, it, it, they did a, a little teaser of him and a kid playing Morty, and they were playing like Rick and Morty. That's cute. In a live action. The kid was, um, he played one of the kids in, um, uh, uh, It. He played one of the kids in that. Oh, nice. And then he plays. I don't know what the promo was for. I think it was just for an episode or something. Yeah. Yo, know, I am not doing so hot on this race. Honestly, I was a little surprised to hear that Christopher Lloyd was like still around. You know. Oh yeah, like he he's pretty old, but he's you know he's kicking. Yeah, like wasn't he old when they made Back to the Future? Uh, yeah, he was. I want to say at least 40s or 50s. Yeah. And they got him because Rick and Morty was originally a Back to the Future parody. So right. they wanted to get one. They wanted to get at least Christopher Lloyd. Yeah. Anyways, Rainbow Road. Yeah, I'm not doing so hot on this race, honestly. It's all right. I feel like this is one of the harder Rainbow Roads, in my opinion. I think it, I think the difficulty overall is just fine. It, for me, it's uh, the uh, because of how like the physics work. Ah. What? Yeah, the like I think this one is just it's a little tough with the physics. Also, you yep. can get really fucked on the loop and core screw if you get hit. Oh yeah, that's definitely one of the biggest things about this course is. Uh, Getting hit on the loops or corkscrew, uh, really just, you're done. I feel like Double Dash, DS, Wii, they all had rainbow roads that were a bit tricky, you know? They felt like a real challenge. Yeah, for sure. And then 7 went all out with the big long one, which was cool. And then 8 is easy as fuck. 8's just fucking bad. Yeah, the Rainbow Road, Road specifically. Yeah. I I love that eight they have three Rainbow Roads and all of them suck. <laughs> N sixty one one is fine, but like it's too short. I wish it was a two lap track. Onkis Sedonkis. I did it. Oh, did you win? You won! You did it! Good job, I'm proud of you. You did it. Wow, fantastic, amazing. Did it. Woohoo! Yeah. Got a C. A C for Rob. There we go. <laughs> Rob on the cob. Don't, don't what? say that. Don't say that. It's so much worse. 
<laughs> what? Oh, you got him! Yeah. Look at him. Look at this boy. Oh, shit. Oh, yo, the, hang on. This might be the one I use. This is pretty good. Fuck. Uh, that drip is not too hot, though. Why the egg? Why egg? Why not? Why yo, tractor? Yo, robot be farming, though. <laughs> the robot be farming. They, they weren't kidding when they said they were taking our jobs. <laughs> the robots are farming now. There we go. Yeah, look at those goals. <laughs> You're sliding my I, you I'm gonna hate, stop. I, just, I, hate, I love I that hate. it perfectly covers the third track name. <laughs> Jess is like, congratulations, you can play yourself. Rob is so cool. Both the person and the robot. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. You're alright. Damn! I will, I, I will say Rob was one of the coolest characters they added to Smash, in my opinion. Real talk, like, whenever they did, like, the, the retro character thing, like, the, Game & Watch and Rob the Robot are definitely, like, the f best ones, in my opinion, of, like, because I, I know, like, the whole, like, Duck Hunt Dog meme and whatever, but, like, I don't know, just, like, it's cool that, like, Legacy Hardware got to be a character, you know? Yeah. I like Duck Hunt Dog, but I feel like they could have gone a bit more out with, like, more out there with the moveset. Also, give him his actual laugh, fuckers. <laughs> What's this fucking weird heaving shit? Yeah, that's, that's the thing. They, they tried to emulate, like, uh, what is it, Muttley or whatever the fuck his name is? Like, the. Like, he has, like, a real laugh, and it's like, no, just. You yeah. should have given him the. Or whatever it been, the... Honestly, it would have been so cool if he was, like, a pick. Like, he was made out of. Like, it was his actual sprite, you know, that moved around and shit. And he had a yeah. bunch of, like, hit noises. And, like. Like, could. How funny it would have been in his reveal trailer. Do you remember the Duck Hunt reveal trailer at all, or no? I remember it. I remember, like, that, that like, you could see the person with the gun in it. Okay, so, so the whole thing was, like, they're playing Duck Hunt, right? And it, like, goes in the game, and it, like, shows this beautiful, like, grassy knoll that Duck Hunt takes place in. Yeah. And it's, like, in CG or whatever, right? And then, uh, like, the 8-bit characters, like, they jump out of their 8-bit forms and into CG, right? It would have been hilarious if the Duck Hunt dog did the same thing, but he just remains as pixel art. Oh my god, just like Kirby in the Brawl reveal? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, it, to emulate oh god, the that Kirby Brawl. That would have been so... That would have been great. Yo, I kind of like this setup. This is, like, really good. <laughs> And then our retro character for Ultimate is, like, Simon, I guess. Uh, no, well... I, I think he moves, like, the 8-bit sprite, but that's about it. Well, I mean, he, all his animations and stuff are, like, very much from Classicvania, right? But, like... Yeah. Um... Well... Who did it... I guess, technically, K. Rule's the retro character, but, like... Hmm, I don't know. Are we? If I'm, I don't know. It's it's weird. I don't I don't know if Ultimate really had that. You know. Yeah, I was trying to pick whichever one felt closest, but none of them like are truly like. I just felt like Simon was the closest because of the way he's animated. Yeah, that's true. I wouldn't. I don't know if I'd consider Piranha Plant to be the retro rep. Uh, Piranha Plant's definitely, like, a joke character, but I would put Piranha Plant in the same category as, like, Jigglypuff and Pichu. Yeah, that's more where... I don't really consider him retro, because he's in every Mario game, pretty much. It's not like... It's not like, uh... Rob or Demon Watch or Duck Hunt, where they're kind of lost to time. Even Simon, to an extent, Castlevania was a bit, like, lost to time for a long time. I mean, it arguably still is, since all the, all we got are the show and the collections. Yeah. I'm trying to think, like, whenever they do the next match, if they actually do another retro character, who would they pick? 
Like what? Waluigi. Like Nintendo thing is lost to time. Waluigi. It's not retro. <laughs> Waluigi. It was created in 1998 or something. Never been back until now. What if they upgrade the sheriff assist trophy to a fighter? The what? The sheriff assist trophy. What if they gave him? Oh my an god! If they fighter? if they bring back fucking sheriff from like TV game twenty eight or whatever it was called, like. Yeah. I love like a space invader as a fighter. That'd be fun. Uh, there's only one reason I'm kind of down on that idea. Activision owns Space Invaders. I thought it was Taito. Oh, is it? Is it Taito? Am I? Am I just a big idiot? And this whole time I thought, what am I thinking of that Activision owns? I'm not. They own. I think Activision. Uh, hold on. Who owns? Space Invaders. Taito owns Space Invaders. Okay, okay, we're clean. Then yeah, Space Invaders, get him in there. I'm trying to think. Did it, who bought Midway? I'm trying to remember. Uh, Warner Brothers. Okay, so the, the, I'm not sure what I'm. Activision. Space. I think. I mean. I mean. I think... Oh, wait, Activision is also Space Invaders? I'm so confused. I guess Activision I mean, did work on some Space Invader games. I mean, they, they've had their hand in a lot of, like, licensed IP, so maybe they do have, like, some sort of, like, ownership of it or something. Activision made Space Invaders for the PS1 and then Oof. N64. I think there might have... I don't know. Yeah, so... Yeah. It's not a forgotten character exactly, but I think Ryu Hayabusa from Ninja Gaiden deserves a spot. I think a lot of people still associate him with the NES games. That's true. That's true. I don't know. I, I feel like they're way more about the reboot games now than the NES I, games. I mean, what they would they would probably do a Simon Belmont thing, right? Where it's like... Maybe, like, design-wise is more reminiscent of the classic, whereas, you know, a lot of the moveset is from the newer stuff. Because, like, yeah. what the fuck are you going to take from the NES game? <laughs> you know, like... Also, I got triple star on that, just, like, really casually. Let's go. Um, I'm still trying to think of a good, like... Nintendo retro rep that they could do for, in the future, but I'm not you, you mean like you mean like first party then? Yeah, first party, and it's like something they have not used in a million fucking years. Hmm. Earthbound. Shit. Are ice climbers a retro rep? Yeah, obviously. Even so, at the time of even at the game. time of even at the time of melee, they were like 15 years old and had one game in their series. I guess Game & Watch was the more relevant thing because they had those Game & Watch remakes on Game Boy. Yeah. Um, let me think. Okay, let me look at old ass NES games. I'm typing in old ass NES games and hopefully that takes me where I need to go. <laughs> Rob? <laughs> Oh no, what did you type? I, I did old ass NES games and it gave me uh, an article that's uh, classic NES games you've played but can't remember the name of. <laughs> perfect. That's the perfect article for what we need. These throw a bunch of third party stuff though, so maybe not exactly what we're looking for. PNC Serve Designs. I'm trying to think of like, oh, Boy, you know what? Off. You know what? Star Tropics. Huh. Shit, you're right. That'd be perfect. Although that was, even though that was made in Japan, that was only released in the West. I mean, who cares? Oh, yo, Jess, she knows what's up. Maybe the protag of Marvelous, the first game Awanuma directed. I mean, they uh, Nintendo does remember them. Their spirits are in Smash. 
I, I was looking at that article, and another cool one they could. Do, I don't know if they'd ever do it, but a boy in his blob would make for an interesting fighter. Oh, that's true. That got a remake on Wii, I want to say, right? Yeah, and it was like all hand drawn. Yeah, it looked really cute. I typed in Marvelous, and I got a, a comedy drama series in Marvelous Inc. Oh, okay. So it's called Marvelous and Other Treasure Island. Oh yeah, it's, it's got. The, I, okay, yeah, I, I I recognize the spirit. I I see the spirit they use. I recognize it now. Yo, can we give a shout out to Al Numa? He seems like a genuine and cool dude. Yeah. A while back, I saw this fun picture of him. I want to say in like Germany or some somewhere around there, and it, it was yeah. like in 2016, and he's eating just a big ass pretzel. Yo. I eat big ass pretzels. That's relatable. I mean, the giant, those giant soft pretzels are delicious. Real talk, though. You joke, but like, yes. They're so good. Now I want one. Damn, Daisy sniped my fucking red shell? Yeah. Daisy's fucking hauling ass. Daisy said, I don't give a shit about the speed limit. I'm actually playing with you right now. That's me. Goodbye, Robert. No. <laughs> Oof. I love the um, modern Mr. Blizzard design with the little bucket hat. It's really cute. Fuck. I threaded the needle. I know they they were in, they were introduced in sixty four and they were literally just a snowman. And then Mario Party or somewhere else gave him the bucket hat and scarf. Yep. Banana, that's what I wanted. Yep. And, oh, yep. Jess said, or Prince Richard from For the Frog in the Bell Tolls. Oh, Prince Richard would be tight. Fun fact, uh, Richard also makes an appearance in the Oracle games. Yeah. Does it? Yeah, okay. I was thinking, wasn't it Link's Awakening, but I think you're, you're right. It was Oracle. No, it's it's both. Oh, okay. But I like the Oracle Don't games. Never, I, 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 I never played Awakening, so... You've never played Awakening? Nope. You should. DX is so good. I know. I'll get to it. I got I got plans for Zelda, so, you know. What, what are your Zelda plans? I got plans. Zelda. Don't gotta worry about it. I got plans. You should play CDI. I can. There is a PC port. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I regret asking these things. <laughs> I mean, a PC port exists. I can do it. Fuck. I don't want my, to do it. My favorite cutscene is the one where Zelda kills that the dude, and he's like, "You killed <laughs> me!" And it cuts her, and she's like, "Good." <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> oh shit! Just said upgrade the dude from Sim City from a sister trophy to playable Doctor Wright. Oh, uh, see. I don't know about that because I think Nintendo's officially like a little weary on using that guy because they changed his name in the remake, uh, the Link's Awakening remake. He still has his name in Smash though. Yeah, he has his name in Smash, but the remake came afterwards. True. And I, I think they couldn't they couldn't say he's from SimCity because that's no, they just, did. You're, you're wrong. What? Oh, they did. I'm, what? They, I meant they like they couldn't like pull other stuff from SimCity if he was a fighter, like they for a stage or music. Oh yeah, they would just not have anything to do with him, like other than the fact that they made the character. Just, just, just. Eh, I'm sure Link's Awakening is fine. It probably has just a bunch of small issues. Ugh. Yeah, Link's Awakening is fine. Uh, what, which which version of Link's Awakening? The remake or like both? I, or I've only played DX, but I liked it. No, I, I, I meant I, oh, I, I meant Jess specifically. Sorry. Oh, uh, Jess, oh, which but... version did you play? Because if you played Stinky version, then that may be why. Yeah, if you played the Switch version, maybe that's why. <laughs> All right, 
PX is great. I, I'm a huge sucker for like any handheld games the way they do art styles like Game Boy, DS, GBA. Mm -hmm. I love the way games look on those consoles. I'm just a sucker for handhelds, and I'm kind of bummed that they're essentially dead. I mean, yeah, Nintendo is like all you got now, but if you don't like their output, then you're just kind of fucked. And I, I'm, not, I'm still not getting, like, games made for a handheld. I'm getting a console game on the go. Yeah. Not exactly what I'm looking for. <laughs> Can we talk about how they put an electric car guitar in this song in 8? Oh yeah, well I mean they did that for most of the soundtrack, right? Oh yeah, I just I, I just like it. I think that's fun. Luigi just chucked that bomb into the theme park! Oh no, Luigi, oh no, the CIA is gonna get Luigi. My God, Rob would put Rob with his fat dick out here. <laughs> I win. <laughs> Give me that gold. Give me the gold. That's all yeah. the bomb in the stadium. Did you see what happened, by the way? Yeah, she got like blue shelled at the last second. Like literally the pixel away from what it was. Yeah. All right. Give me that. Wait, can you go back really quick? What's up? It, go look at Rob's render. It's blue eyes there, but his model has red eyes. We don't talk about that. I hate the red eyes. They're bad. I mean, it makes sense though, right? Hmm. I don't like. He looks evil, and Rob shouldn't be evil. I think he should be evil. I mean, he was kind of evil in Brawl, so fair. <sighs> I mean, he, he wasn't it. he wasn't evil. He was being blackmailed with the true. Gen, with the genocide. <laughs> true. Rolls fucked up. I like how this track was not made with the gold mushroom in mind. Yeah, I know. As a kid, it always it tripped me up when uh, spoilers for Brawl, I guess when uh. <laughs> Abu like has those chains in Master Hand, and then he rips them out, and there's like blood actually coming out of Master Hand. Oh yeah, that was like really fucked up. There's a kid be like, "What the? There's blood in my Nintendo game?" <laughs> Cassidy lost her shit when she found out blood exists. I remember it took it took my mom a lot of convincing me, convincing me to let me play Smash because it was rated T for Teen. Oh. And she was heavily, she was heavy into. Only, she only went by the rating. Oh, poor thing. I was thing. like, but it got Mario, it got Pikachu! It I think the Pikachu. only... The only time I ever had problems with ratings... Uh, sorry to the guy at Target, uh, who... I, I tried to pick up a copy of... Uh, I, I want to say it was Modern Warfare 2, uh, when it was new. Um, and the guy... I You know, I told the guy at the counter, I was like, hey, I want to go grab a game. And he's like, oh, okay, cool. You know, he comes over here, he's like, oh, what are you looking for, kid? And I'm like, yeah, Modern Warfare 2. He's like, can't sell you that, Chief. I was like, mm -hmm. I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm 16, just give me the fucking game. And he's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> he, he's like, no, I, I, I'm not going to sell it to a kid. That's fucked up and wrong. Not, his excuse wasn't that legally he had to, his excuse is that it was morally not okay. You were and one I, year under the age rating. <laughs> Yeah, I'm one year under the age rating, Chief. I, I'm not gonna change in ten months or three months or whatever, right? Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be exactly the same person, and I'm just gonna make fun of you. So <laughs> that's the only difference. And, and he, he's like, no, I refuse. I was like, cool. So <laughs> my dad's on the other end of the store. I, I tell him to come over here. I was like, hey, have him take the game out of the case for me. And so. My dad goes and buys the game, and I'm standing next to him the entire time. And, uh, <laughs> you know, the guy's pissed as fuck, you know, scanning the game, and, you know, my, my dad's paying for it and everything. And then as I'm walking away with the game in my hand now, I, I just look at him and I just laugh at him. I'm like, yeah. 
<laughs> uh, this is your fault, dude. You should have just given me the fucking game. You wouldn't look like an asshole. And I think I turned out okay, eventually. Like, what turned out okay eventually? Like, as a person. Oh. <laughs> like, like, playing Modern Warfare 2 didn't fuck me up. <laughs> like, I think I'm okay. Yeah, you're, I feel like you're a better person than you were back then. Yeah, back then, I, I well, I mean, granted, I'm still an asshole, but at least I'm intentionally an asshole now. You're an asshole to the people who deserve it now. Yeah, for the most part, I feel like that's true. Every now and then, you know, you get in your own head about stuff like that. You know, how you treat people and stuff like that, right? But Sometimes you gotta be a dick when people won't listen. Oh, yeah, but there are some people who fucking more than deserve it, and it's just kind of like, I, I feel like I want to hit you. Like, you know, yeah. like... Sometimes you want to punch a dude. But at the same time, it's like, you know, violence doesn't really solve anything, so you just gotta <laughs> just ruin them in a Twitter comment, I guess. Violence solved World War Two. <laughs> Am I, I wrong? World, I can't believe World War Three is gonna be fought on Twitter.com. <laughs> Am I wrong, though? No, you're not wrong. He stopped very... Hitler with violence. Shoutouts to uh, the devs of, uh, what is it, fucking Wolfenstein 2 going hard on the whole punching Nazis is okay. <laughs> and then, like, I think, like, even the devs were like, people are upset about this. Did, did you play a Wolfenstein game? Yeah, right. <laughs> like, do, do you not realize what you do in this game? Like, like the, the entire time it has been nothing but actual murder of Nazis. Like, that is the only purpose of this game. That's the whole point of the franchise. Like, and granted, it's a very silly and fantastical take on it. The final boss of the original game, spoilers, is Hitler in a fucking mech suit. Like, and, yeah, it, and it's his... Kill him. Yeah, but it, it's like his head in a fucking jar. Like, it's not meant to be taken that seriously anyway. But, like, <laughs> bro, I don't know why you're like oh we should respect others opinions it's like bro i'll respect your opinion on oh, mayonnaise I'll, I'll respect your opinion on mayonnaise i'm not respecting your opinion on whether or not you think genocide is cool like <laughs> damn she's got the point she says i mean twitter is what got us a bit worried about world war three starting lol that's true that it did start at the at 20 remember beginning 2020 everyone's like oh no world war three is gonna happen because some dude got shot yeah, that's true I don't remember the dude's fucking name. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I, I, I've, had, I've, I've had to stop following a lot of, uh, like, like IRL news because, uh, yeah. like, or specifically like YouTube channels dedicated to covering that kind of stuff because it was just mentally not a good place for me. You know what? I was thinking earlier. I was thinking about what other things violence solved. Violence help does help gay people get more rights. Yeah, that's that's also very true. Same thing for slaves. That violence helped that. Violence is cool, kids. <laughs> don't don't say that. If you're facing injustice, punch them. I don't I don't know if I should entirely endorse that. I feel I feel like you know, maybe Wait. check your. Oh, I'm kidding. <laughs> I, I I would I would strongly suggest you check every possible avenue before resorting to such a thing. <laughs> but if violence is necessary, don't be a pussy. Do it. Say, can't say that, Cassidy. What Twitch gonna do? I don't I don't use my account on this hell site. <laughs> <laughs> What's the little rocket man, Jess? Rocket Man? Rocket Man's a song by like El uh, 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 the dude. You almost name? said Elvis. No, uh, Elton John. I almost said Ellen John. I thought Elton you John. Said, I thought you said Elvis. No, I, was, I almost said Ellen, like Ellen de, de Grievous. <laughs> <laughs> Ellen de Grievous? Yeah. I don't think it I don't think that's the name. But mm. it, I think it you is. Know, I'll, I'll, I'll support your endeavors of attempting to understand people's names. Ellen the General Grievous. 
<laughs> what a way better film series that would be if Ellen DeGeneres played the villain. Oh, fuck. I love General Grievous because in the movies he's in them for like 20 minutes. Oh, is he like not in them? He, he, they meant like he's brought up as a plot point. Uh, Ben, uh, Obi Wan Kenobi goes to see him, they fight, and then he kills Grievous, and that's about all he does in the films. Oh, well, good for him. <laughs> Grievous, from what I've heard, Grievous is the people love him because he's in a lot of like the Clone Wars. Uh, I see. <laughs> Sonic says, if the only way out is violence, don't be a coward. Exactly. I don't I don't think he said that. I can I ask this. That's what he's gonna say in the next Sonic game. Is he gonna say that exact quote? If he does yes. cl- if he does clip this, I will pay anyone watching this right now a hundred dollars. If he actually says that exact quote. Jess, you heard him clip it. As if you'll take the hundred dollars anyway i don't you fuck you <laughs> just trying to help mm. <laughs> Speaking of money, if you're yeah, watching this please buy super monkey ball banana mania coming out in october and when i say watching this by the way i mean literally like live like i don't mean the twitter clip that's eventually gonna get posted yeah, just me and Jess. We'll get money. Yeah, basically. And whatever bot may be lurking. Hey, bot, you want $100? Hey, hate raid bot 29 says no. <laughs> <laughs> just calling it a hate raid bot. Like, as it, like unapologetically, like, it could be caught... <laughs> like, as if Twitch would like, stop them anyway. No, I'd be like, hey, thanks for popping up. You will now be banned. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. Thanks for letting us know you're here. <laughs> Shoutouts to Poop Track. That's what we're on right now. Is it me or, <laughs> like, I've never really liked the texture work on this stage. Yeah, it's... I don't mind all of it except the out of bounds. The out of bounds looks weird. Yeah. Or off road or whatever. I love the salsa music though. Well. That's Why is cool. salsa the name of a food and a song, a music style? I mean, why does Boogie refer to dancing and snot? Because the UK fucked up. The UK fucked up. They invented it! You can't prove that. They're the ones who call it boogies or whatever, or bog- bogers or whatever. Bogies. Bogers! <laughs> they call them bogies, like in golf. I don't think they call them bogers. That's. <laughs> it's Boger. Boger is my favorite Pokemon. I'm, oh, <laughs> I go to McDonald's oh. for a delicious, fresh boger. Love me the double quarter pound b- burger bugger 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 why are they gonna add snot to smash why do you ask for things i'm surprised we haven't seen a single snot based move in uh nickel star brawl yeah that's true i don't think i don't think they're in though what do you mean oh oh just nope, clipped they, it. It got clipped. Check the Rob. clip. I'm not checking the clip right now. Check the clip. Rob, I'm watching you play Mario Kart. Yeah, as if anything really exciting is happening. This is the fifth time I've played this fucking track today alone. Don't worry about it. Fine. You got second. Someone exploded behind you and died a horrible death. <laughs> Good. I'm glad. <laughs> Wario dies in a freak accident while racing with its friends. Think of Wario. Please buy Wario where it gets <laughs> Only 50 US dollars. I don't know how many Canadian dollars that is, but it's probably a lot. Uh, I mean, they'll probably just make it 50 Canadian dollars, right? Like, 
No, because uh, a, a Canadian dollar is worth less than an American dollar. Ah. Uh. I can I can actually check what the conversion is. You could just go to the uh, Nintendo uh, Canada site. Ish. I don't think that's true, Robert. What? I didn't even state anything that was like true or false. You can do that. One one U.S. dollars equal to uh, one dollar and twenty five cents in Canadian dollars. Gotcha. So they're twenty five. Okay, so a fifty dollar game would be sixty two dollars and sixty nine cents. Nice. Nice. Damn, Wario's game has 69, 69 cents in the name? Wario fucks. Dude, Wario been fucking. He's fucking Ben? What? <laughs> Dude, Wario been fucking. Wario and Ben <laughs> have been hitting it off. Dude, <laughs> Wario is just like, Waluigi, I have news to tell you. And he's like, oh, that easy thing. He's like, I, uh... I met a guy, it was, uh, <laughs> we thought it was a one type thing, but it led to something very special. <laughs> it's just Wario coming out to Waluigi, and it's incredibly wholesome, he's like, I support you, brother, but, uh, can we go fuck with Mario while we play golf? <laughs> he's like, hey, sounds fun, wah. Oh my god, I just read what Jess said. Please buy Warrior, get it together to help pay for Wario's funeral. Oh no, you can't say that. I, I I haven't been able to read the chat because my game is on the left monitor, but the chat is on the far right side of the right monitor, so it's incredibly difficult for me to read. Uh, uh, I, I do be reading it. I do be reading chat. Sky Garden though, let's go. More like... More, more like a sex garden. Why are you this way? What do you mean? You want to go to sex garden? I, I have several questions of why I'm going, and I'm sex gone. Where you have sex? I don't understand what the, how you, what's the confusion. I <laughs> see. This There's... is your version of like when I say prove it. Like this is your version of that. Like I don't, I don't see the problem. I don't see <laughs> the problem. You go and have sex with hot men and women. I don't understand the problem. It's all legal. It's all consensual. There's no problem. I just sent Wario out. <laughs> when yeah, I Wario boost... funeral. Look at his icon when, <laughs> like, J Cassidy. When you go back to this, like. <laughs> Just go see, like, his icon when I boost it into him. He goes flying to the side and just uh, <laughs> Wario, Wario <laughs> falls to Earth in a freak accident. Jess, I don't think Sky Garden is a Sonic level, but Sky Sanctuary is. Yeah, Sky Sanctuary is the Sonic level. It's from Sonic 3, and uh, it's Sonic also... 3 Knuckles. Sorry, I, I don't know my Sonic that well. It's it's from that, and it's also a track in Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed. Yeah. Which, which by the way, it's hilarious that the All-Stars Racing Transformed tracks, uh, all of them except, like, two reuse assets. From what? Uh, well, I mean, Sky Sanctuary reuses generation assets, obviously. I um, but, uh, one of the tracks is, uh, Death Egg, which was a DLC track from the first game. Yeah. Yeah, there's, like, four tracks from the first game that are in there as a bonus. Yeah. And they all aren't great. Yeah, they didn't pick the best ones. <laughs> they just give the impression that that game has Mario Kart 8 
track is that? Also, the Zombie Day Amigo track they picked from the first game is fucking trippy. It really is. Isn't that the one where you like go in a portal at one point? Yeah, and then you're in a L. You you go through multiple portals, and each one is like a rainbow LSD land with a giant floating head of one of the characters in the background. Yeah. They didn't pick any of the monkey ball tracks for a retro track, and it makes me mad. No. <laughs> the new monkey ball track so they made is pretty good, so I'm not mad. I also love the one they have in Transform because the song is like a medley of a few different monkey ball songs. Really cool. Oh, oh yeah, that's true. In general, though, Transform was just like, firing on all cylinders. It was a great game. Awesome. It's too bad it only sold like a million copies. But it's still on Steam. You can get it on Steam. Get it. It's worth it. It's on sale like all the fucking time. Sonic games are always on sale all the fucking time. No, fuck you! They always have Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 on sale for like 2 cents. <sighs> And they always put that, like, Genesis Classics collection. Like, the Steam version of that has way more games, and you can mod them all. Um, yeah. And they always Steam go on different... sale for, like, two bucks. Like, for yeah, the whole on... collection. Because the thing, the one they have on consoles is just, like, the emulator they have on Steam with the games packaged in. Yeah. So on but Steam, the one... you, get, you can just get a bundle, a bundle, and then more Genesis games. Yeah. And then... What's funny is all those like individual games are just legal ROMs. Like those are just yeah. the actual ROMs of the games. So if you ever like need to emulate, if you ever feel like, oh, I want to emulate Genesis games, but I'm not like, I'm not cool on like the the piracy aspect. You can literally just buy f like fifty of them on Steam for two bucks. It's great. Yeah, and I'm guessing you can like then just take those ROMs and put them in another emulator if you wanted. Yes, you can. You can, like, open up your Steam file, like, directory, and just just take them out. Yeah, because I've heard the Steam emulator I have isn't the best. Yo, got all the cards! Get it! You're never going to be able to use them! Woo! What do you mean? Because we already did all the Grand Prix. Yeah, that really is, like, a... It's kind of a dumb reward if you consider the single-player aspect, right? Like, yeah. save to More slot from player, I guess. Oh, do I have to watch this now? Oh, hello? Hello? You know, <laughs> banging credits, though, so I'm not going to complain. You know what? That's true. Uh, I, I do still have to do the mission mode, right? Should we do that this stream and just finish up the whole thing, or...? Fine. Either way. Oh, the, I, the mission mode is going the other way in the credit. Premiere mode. You're driving the oh. other way. Wait. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's cool. That's a banger. It is a banger. Let's be real. I wish it was a track that looked like this credit screen, though. I want to race in that track. Yeah, like Sunset Vista or whatever. Yeah, and there's just like a city in the background. I love that. It is really cool. I, I like when like, we get unique uh, settings like that. <laughs> Shout out to... Um... Wii's credits where it starts on the Ouija su circuit but they just put it at sunset <laughs> it's really funny to me oh my god we're going <laughs> Rob you're speeding uh, he's zooming how, how long is the city it's a very big one he's just driving on the outskirts of New York drive oh no he's got the tank they're going to war Shoutouts to Tetsuya Sasaki. Shoutouts. Yo, shoutouts to the debuggers. Shoutouts to Super Mario Club. Uh, it's not actually a club. Misleading name. Oh, for for a brief moment, I was looking away from the game, and I looked over, and I saw Donkey Kong. It looked like he was running and swinging his arms, and I was scared. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, what are you doing? <laughs> I thought the person there said got 
Callahan. I thought it said Scott Coffin, and I was concerned. Oh, no. Yo, shout out to all these localizers. You're doing the real work. Yo, real talk. Real talk, dude. This is a banging oh, credits gosh. thing. This is a banging huh? game. This is a banging game, let's be real. Yeah, why are you guys slowing down? What's going on? We're just hanging out. I do like that the characters that are in the credits are the people, whatever characters you raced against in the Grand Prix. Yeah. Yo, Iwata. Miss you. The Mario gang is going to war. <laughs> we will take down Winston Churchill. <laughs> God. What, TK, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you eating, bud? You... <laughs> I think he's confused by Rob. He's like, what the fuck? He's like, what is this fucking robot, man? Yo, new title screen, though. Let's go. Bang your title screen. Saved a zero slot. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right, so let's check it. Uh, so it's all six of these in one bonus, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know what? Here, let's 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 see how long it takes me to do one of these. Yeah, we we did this one before, so we can just get this out of the way. Yeah. And I need to reach at least one star for these, so. Yeah. Going to war, Super Mario Warriors 1, dude, I would buy that day fucking war. Uh, if it's on Switch, I, I don't know. Actually. <laughs> what else would it be on? I'm just worried about the performance <laughs> after, after Age of Calamity. I mean, <laughs> fair. It's because, like, but... the first Mario Warriors 1 runs great. I don't understand what the problem is. I mean... Okay, but like, at least the first one runs well on Switch. I don't know how it ran on Wii U. Uh, first one, uh, it ran fine on Wii U. It, it you know, it wasn't great, it wasn't bad. Um, but uh, Stri Strikers ran just fine on Switch for for being a Switch version. Yeah, like it didn't have any of the insane problems that uh, Calamity had. And it's also Persona, so it's better. But, you know, that's I will say, if we get another Nintendo Warriors, I really want Kirby. I think Kirby fits a lot more than Mario. What? I don't know about that. Because Kirby, he can use it. You can use like abilities and like, I don't know. You're already wiping oh. out tons of enemies. Okay, when you bring up the abilities and stuff, that okay, that makes sense to me. I can I can get behind that. Uh, is AOC like in Breath of the Wild's engine? I have no clue. Uh, no, it, it is running on a warrior engine. But the problem is it's like wide open terrain. Uh, so you see a lot of like background scenery and stuff and it's all like 3D and they tried to push the uh, body count up super high and it's like... Yeah, I, I did notice in like previews and stuff there was a lot more enemies in AO, uh, Calamity than there was in original Hyrule Warriors. Mm-hmm. Alright, get a star, hit the cheap I, I need to play Calamity at some point, but like, I don't know. The performance really, I don't know. It really makes me not want to. Not not to be that guy, but, you know, it, it really... the the What I've heard of the story bothers me, so I don't want to bother. That's fair, but I'm worried that it's going to tie into two in some way. And then I'm going to get confused about stuff in two. I don't know what happens in the story. No, no spoilies, but... Yeah, no spoil. That's why I was vague about it. Like what from what I've heard, I'm I'm not a fan of what they. Did. I have a vague idea after because I knew there was a lot of people upset, so I have a vague <laughs> idea. But I love when people are upset. It's so much fun. Nintendo loves to make people upset. They do a great job at it. Fair, Jess. I just, I think, I don't think Nintendo would be super into Mario slaying thousands of Goombas. I mean, he he's done it before. I know, but like, Warriors game can be very like, I don't know. You're swinging a giant fucking sword. It's a it it 
it can be a bit violent. I don't know. I, I feel like they could make it work in a cartoony Mario style. No, they could. I just don't know. I don't know. I would prefer to see a different IP in the Warrior style. I don't really want to see Mario in the Warrior style. I think Kirby or like I'm uh, I think oh they already did Fire Emblem. Um <laughs> You sure did. <laughs> I forgot. Uh but yeah, I think Kirby would be really cool. Because like they already use weapons a lot in Kirby games. I think it it it, it fit better. Because in Mario games they usually don't use like swords or spears or stuff like that. Shout outs to uh Fire Emblem Wars being the first game on Switch that they sent out to die. <laughs> They really did, didn't it? Come out like a week before Odyssey. In America. When in did Japan. it come out in other places? In Japan, it was a month. That's way better. Yeah, it had like it was the September game for them. For us, it was kind of like Mario Rabbids, really, which was end of August, beginning of September. Yeah. Um, so... just that if there, it would be absurd, but I don't know. I, oh. It's. It's not something I'm interested in, is a Mario Warriors game. I would like a Sonic Warriors. That'd be tight. Oh my god, that'd be fucking sick. See, I Jess, isn't, one time. Jess isn't... Or see, or Cassidy isn't interested in uh, humans being hurt, but the second you hurt Cuddly Critters, no, she's all about I it. just... I don't want to see Mario in everything. I love I, Mario, but I'd I would rather a warrior, a Warriors game be a more... An IP that I feel like would fit the style more. Yeah. Also, remember one time I mentioned the idea of a Sonic plus Rabbids to you? And that was the oh coolest thing I ever had. Yes, I would actually cry for that. I would be so, like, 100% there. I hope that Marvel game is good. There was that gameplay reveal, and I'm a little concerned about the stuff they showed. Did you watch that, by the way? I didn't. I, I. I mean, I saw the reveal, but I didn't. They did a um little game bit gameplay like dream on uh the first. Oh, I didn't see that. No. Do you care about me telling you what's in it? Uh, I mean, as long as it isn't. Oh yeah, I don't really. So, the combat isn't like, from it's not really XCOM. It's like a card-based battle system. Oh, okay. I did. I did hear about that. Yeah, just you like make that. a deck, and you get like you randomly get abilities that you have to use. There's not going to be microtransactions, which is cool. I'm just I, I'm worried about the randomness aspect. There's also like um, there's also like a uh, life sim style, like building up relationships with the different heroes. Oh, that's cool. Like you you live with them and like hang out with them. But they made it very clear there is no dating. Uh, thanks well, for letting us know, question mark? Yeah, they were like weirdly like, they felt the need to bring it up at all that you cannot, there is no dating. Triple star, baby, let's go. Nine seconds. Let's go. He drowned and was never heard from again. That mm -hmm. took what? 10 15 minutes right yeah that was pretty sure sure short yo it was it was a nice shirt, shirt. Short, looked bitch looked, that shirt looked very nice i was very happy with it yo speaking of shirts i'm wearing a shirt it's like i don't know it's like a 70s i don't know how to describe it but it kind of looks like a shirt a camp someone at a camp would wear but as a <laughs> raccoon's face, it has, it has a raccoon's face on it and it says uh live fast eat trash <laughs> that's very cute I like that is it the same raccoon that's on your discord profile picture or kind of looks similar <laughs> no ju just that's it, yeah I, I won't have suspected dating either but in games where you build up relationships like that dating usually is an aspect yeah right like like Persona, Fire Emblem, and all that. They have relationship things, which can, you know, like friendship, etc. But they also have sometimes a dating or marital aspect. So yeah, like an I, I, the, the clarification on that is actually appreciated because that can be a thing in tactical RPGs or RPGs in general. So Any RPG with relationship mechanics. Yeah. Uh 
Oh, they got me with that sneaky magic coin. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna restart this shit. Back up. Yeah, I got that fucking sneaky There it coin. is. Yeah, th there he is. Yeah, there we go. Uh -huh. I hope, uh, if we're talking about RPGs and stuff for uh, Persona 6, please, for the love of God, do not do what Persona 5 did, where every female confidant except one you could date. And the only reason you couldn't date that one is because it was, like, plot-related. So, like, please make it like Persona 4, where you have female, like, social partners that are not dateable. Like, straight up, like, I, don't, I do not... Or in, in, that go that goes in general. Have romance partners who are maybe not female, like <laughs> like crazy concept. Um, if you I <laughs> I want to live in the world where I can date you, gay. That's the world. Yo, the best world, actually. I know the yeah. second that they port uh, Persona Five to PC. Modders are gonna, mm -hmm. are gonna go fucking wild with that game. God, fucking Am DK. I, I wonder if that's partially why they won't, because it's gonna be real. It's gonna be the fucking Wild West. Uh, see, that's the thing. We're still trying to figure out the modding scene that is for Persona 4 Golden. We're still trying to figure out how to add in new scenes. And people are, like, kind of getting close to it, but it's still pretty, like, it's a pretty glitchy experience. And it's not, like, you know, ready for prime time, I guess. Yeah. I like Jess, there should be not be an option to date your teacher. I don't know. I think I'm fine with the teacher. I see I'm I'm fine with the teacher if only because they're perfectly legal adults and yes it is weird, but like I'll I'll take my teacher over like I, I don't know, for, I, for me say, it I I'll say Joker and the teacher have more chemistry in that way. Than Joker has with on, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. The teacher and uh, Ren have a hundred percent like actual build up to romance over on, who is so fucking left field with her romance option. It is insanely bad. Yeah, and don't get me on, wrong, I I love on. on She's a great character. She -Hope. I'm I'm on should be with She Hope. A hundred percent, hundred percent with She Hope. But, alas, we can't have gays. Alice hates the gays. <laughs> but luckily, you know, the fucking, the director guy, the writer of those games, he's out. He's not working at that part of the company anymore. So. So much they turned him into drag. No. Oof. I know See, why a... they didn't make that change, but it's, it's funny to me. Yeah. It was really bad in OG5. I also think uh, the teacher Kawakami. I think she's just hot. So <laughs> I think she's a precious cinnamon bun who's just trying her best. Exactly, but she also doesn't take no shit. And she's also, but she's also not Futaba or Kasumi. But you know, Jess knows all about Kasumi. So, or at That's least, hot. or at least, no, <laughs> yeah, senpai. Or at least knows more about Kasumi than you do. <laughs> Cause, I know some uh, stuff that I probably shouldn't know at the point I am, but... Uh, but people can't shut their fucking mouth. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's not your fault, it's just fucking social media. It's fine. I Trust me, I like... Uh, so, when, me and Jess have been playing through it, right? And uh, I don't remember everything about the game because I'm not fucking perfect, but... You know, I'll use the uh, SMT wiki to, uh, you know, like, check on stuff like statuses or weaknesses, etc., right? And they just, they spoil so much shit about that entire game, just in article names. Like I hate wikis! So much for that. I, and I don't get it. Like, no one else spoils it, but the source of information for the game is going to? That's fucked up, dude. That's It's so fucked up. 
It's not fair. I, I'm no actual spoilers, but I fucking Horizon Zero Dawn. I looked up Aloy's name because I was like, oh, I want to, I want to know how to spell it for a tweet, you know? Yeah. And there was a spoiler in her first line on her wiki page that shows up on the Google search results. Oh. It's like what the fuck? I was just looking up how to spell her name. I didn't know if it was one L or two. Uh, one, right? It's one L, yeah. But I wanted to look it up just to be sure. Fucking dumb. Wikis. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait. Uh, back to Layton. The wiki on there is very good about hiding the spoilers. They have a big fucking warning that's like, hey, spoilers. Hey. Hey. <laughs> and they keep it into, like, the plot section of the ar articles. And they'll ha it's a big fucking banner that's like, bitch, play the games first. <laughs> oh, and Jess brings up a good point. The maid outfit helps for Kawakami. Oh, yeah. It does help. God, you're the... I'm always here with, like, romance options, because half the times I feel like the girls in the game will have more chemistry with the other girls than with the main character. Yeah, I, I don't know. I For me, uh, I was talking to... St funny enough, Stealthy and I were talking about this the other day in DMs, and he's like, you know, what would be better? A game that, you know, offers uh, just, like, a sprinkling of different romance options or a game that just you date whoever you want doesn't matter. And and I said, well, you know, if there's, like, a gameplay benefit to it, like, in Fire Emblem, like, there's a, a legit gameplay benefit to that, like, partnering certain characters together, uh, then... You know, objectively speaking, from a gameplay perspective, all options are good, right? But, you know, it would feel nicer and more natural if you just had a sprinkling of options, you know? Yeah. Like, that's kind of how, what we agreed on. I don't know if you agree with that at all, but... I'd prefer, I'd rather have it be sprinkling where the ro every romance makes sense. Yeah, that's, w that's what I'm saying. It's like, I I'd rather it be, prefer. like, natural and it makes sense. Like, they were all written in with it in mind. On on is a, a perfect example. She doesn't feel like she was written for romance at all. Weirdly enough, like yeah. So when her romance route comes out of nowhere, uh, like yeah, Jess did her uh, confidant the other day. That was all about the the one that bring that romance gets brought up, and I'm like, I'm I'm just like, you see how like confusing this is, and she's like, yeah, this is like. What? <laughs> I'm very honest, romancing on feels icky to me for plot reasons. It feels icky to me. Mm. I, I I just don't like the uh, spoilers for anyone watching this later of uh, for Persona Five. Um, not plot, but uh, for On's confidant specifically. Um, what really? What really bothered me is the context of which you romance her and her story like from uh kamoshida like like based on like her experience with it it feels really gross that out of nowhere joker's just like hey babe you know what i mean and like yeah, it's and always it's, it, it starts with you having feelings not her which makes it really weird yeah it's it's it, it's not you know talking about her and her feelings and how she feels it's just you should feel good because I'm here. Like, what? Like, I, and that's not, like, what's written, and that's not what they speak, obviously, but the it's the connotation that's there, you know? It's a little yeah. fucked up. Maybe it'd be better if they actually, if Joker actually talked. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> don't, don't mention that. Persona fans get Maybe. Mad. They all, they, Joker's, all, they always like, oh, Joker's such a, he's, like, cocky and nice, and it's like, I I'd wish like to saw see it. that. Yeah, I'd like to see that. <laughs> Whatever that character. What you game is that? In your like in your dialogue options, but that's it. Yo, shouts to this dude. Everyone forgets he exists, including me. Dude, he's doing his best. I'm proud of him. I don't know if I'm proud of him. He's trying. That's what I'm proud of. Ah, okay. 
When are we gonna get Super Mario 65? <laughs> the feel when getting with the shaky doctor feels more natural to one of the first party members. Oof. It's real though! Yeah, that is very real. It's like, I haven't seen all of Aunt's confidant, but her confidant feels very much like it's her story. And you're just yeah. along for the ride. Yeah, exactly. And you know what? That's like good. That's still a good story. Yeah. But like, it feels unnatural when you throw romance into it. Yeah, you're watching her grow as a person. From her choices. Yeah, exactly. Hell yeah. With, a lot of, with a lot of confidence like Kawakami or Takemi, you're going out of your way to help them. Mm -hmm. Whatever their problem is. I don't know. It does kind of feel like the confidants outside of party members are sometimes better written. But maybe that's because the party members already get a lot of screen time. Yeah, they pro they do. And then there's uh, and then there's Mishima who just sucks, like awful character. Mishima. Uh, Mishima, uh, the mm -hmm. the fan aficionado website kid. Oh yeah, that's the one I said his name wrong. He is so weird to me. I feel like there's a good story there, but like, I don't know. He's it's very, I feel it's like very poorly way, written is the problem. The way he's written doesn't reflect the stuff he went through at the beginning of the game. Correct. Correct. I'm glad they, they're going to hopefully have a new writer in 6. Because I love 5 and what I've played, but there's a lot of writing for it I don't like. Yeah, 5 in terms of writing is probably the most rough of the modern Persona games. I, I need to go back. I got stuck on that one boss, but I need to go back. Uh, which boss is it? I, I, I can promise you we're already past it. So. Alice. Uh, 4? Five, four, space. You're in space? Space. That's six. No, wait. You said space. Like, the mo- like... Type the it one in after Hawaii. Yeah, that's space. Yeah. That's not six. Yes, that's six. Oh, wait. You're right. I think that's five. I can't look it up, which sucks. Here. You said it's the one after Hawaii, though. It's... I'll, I'll just type it to you. Hold on. Yeah. I mean, you could just say it's the one after Hawaii. Is that what you... Wait, said? I just remembered one of the ones I was forgetting. It is five. Okay, it is five, then. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I was forgetting, um... I forgot the, the third one existed. <sighs> yeah, the one I'm thinking of is five. Um, I got stuck on the end boss of it. This is horse shit. Oh God! Excuse I'm me. gonna, I'm gonna start a petition. RPG should stop having bullshit difficulty spike bosses. Uh, <laughs> Tired of it. sorry. Uh, Persona Five uh, has, a, has a well, you know, the the one you I, got stuck on not. is the biggest one. So yeah, but I'm saying like every RPG has something like that. It feels like. Yeah, <laughs> Jess in the chat. Pretty sure that's the fifth Rob. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm sorry, I fucked up. Remember in Bowser's Inside Story, I was stuck on, I think, for a while, I was stuck on the uh, trash can fight. I remember that one being really fucking hard. You know the one I'm talking about. I just remember Bowser's Inside Story in general being pretty hard for me as a kid. Yeah, it's a pretty rough game. I never beat the final boss on my own because I couldn't do the button mashing. Oh... Yeah, that's fair. There's a lot of button mashing in that game. 
But I, my friend, my cousin beat it, and I just watched the ending on his DS. That's what I was just trying to throw doing that thing where you have to watch a two-minute cutscene every time you die from the final boss. Ugh. There's no way to skip it. Yeah, that sucks. Reach the finish before Yonch. Yompi. Wow. Yay. Yeah. That sound clip sucks. <laughs> ha! The most compressed bullshit I've ever heard. It is pretty bad. It doesn't matter what it sounds like. The hardest thing about Bowser's Inside Story is the button meshing to get all the puppy things. Oh, yeah, that's a lot. Uh -huh. I didn't even know about that uh, special attack until I was, like, really fed up with uh, the final <laughs> boss as a kid, and I went exploring and discovered it randomly. That's why. What? Oh, that's funny. Oh. Shout out to those block people. They're weird, but I like them. <laughs> And then they were just randomly shoved into Dream Team. Dream Team, I like it, but it definitely feels like, hey, you like Bowser's Inside Story, here it is again. But, like, way more padded. <laughs> yeah. And the 2D sections feel way worse. They're, they're well designed, it just, I don't know, I hate how they're spread out, you know? Yeah, I just I just don't like how big that game is. Like, it's so just like wide open, and there's so much backtracking. I, the part I hate I hate the most is the fucking desert. Oh, the desert sucks. That's where I gave up after I finished the desert. I'm like, I don't want to risk ever playing more of this, because if this happens again, I'm just gonna get upset. <laughs> and then they have you go back to every location before you can go to the Bowser's Castle. Ugh. Wait, so is this the Thousand Year Door of Mario and Luigi games? Fuck, maybe. <laughs> I do like that um, the Bean Bean people and Yoshis are in Dream Team, because it's like, oh, they're, come, they're visiting. It's like they're on vacation. Yeah. I think that's fun. Also, a weird thing they did was the... You know how in Superstar Saga they had um, people in spot... You know, like, Gyros and Animal Crossing? Yeah. Yeah, in Alan Superstar Saga, the mountain people were inspired by the same thing. Oh, okay. Uh, they were green in Superstar Saga, but in Dream Team, they made them brown for some reason. Probably just to distinguish them from the Bean Bean people. Which is interesting. Oh, yeah, remember when Bowser's Inside Story, they had a um, secret boss that referenced Partners in Time? Oh, really? Yeah, you can go to Bowser's Castle and there's a secret puzzle and then you can fight some shrooms. Oh, I forgot about that. That's cute. And it's still in the remake where it makes way less sense because they didn't remake Partners of Time. Oof. I love Mario and Luigi. So Good much. Game. But I think it's mostly I like Bowser's Inside Story a lot. Like, I like Superstar Saga, but... Something about it feels weird to me. I don't know. Which it definitely one? feels like Superstar Saga. It definitely feels like the first one, you know? Yeah, that's true. Also, I don't know if it's just a remake thing, but I hated that most of the gear you got were weird. Like, oh, we're going to bu bust this. We're going to buff this stat really high, but nothing else. Like, all yeah. the gear felt gimmicky. Yeah, that, that's pretty much the the... I don't think the original did it as much as the remake did, but, like, they did it a lot. Yeah. Also, I, it, it kind of sucks. They have a bunch of cool side content that doesn't really feel necessary because of how easy the game is. And your reward is always just more beans. Jess, do you like beans? I like beans. Oh, Rob, you want to talk about menu shit that's annoying? I hate in Super Star Saga. Every time you want to make a coffee, you have to watch the same 10-second animation. Oh, yeah, that's true. 
hate that. But it's still a fun game. I like the world they made, and I like the writing a lot. It's just, it, in terms of mechanics, it's a little lacking. Yeah. So there's a lot of mini games, but those are whatever to me. Mm -hmm. That's true. Mm -hmm. I need to play Partners in Time at some point because that's the only one of the five I haven't played at all. Uh, it's you know, it's fine. I'm just curious, you know. I, I don't know yeah. if I'm gonna love it, but I want to play it. Yeah, it's a fine game. There's nothing like wrong with it. It's just kind of flat, you know. Like yeah. the humor, the humor is just slightly not as funny, but like. And the writing's, like, a little too dark at times, but, like, they don't really, like, dive into the darkness of it, if you get yeah. what I mean. Yeah. From what I've heard, it definitely seems like they were trying some different things, and it had to come out early for the DS, so not everything went perfect. But then Bowser's Inside Story came along and fucking knocked it out of the park. Yeah. And then Dream Team was like, hey, you like you like that? Here's more. Added. Oh, Jess, when, uh, I'm not even saying finish. I haven't even, I've never opened Partners in Time even once. I've never owned it or anything. It's even being Paper Jam. But I, I did get like halfway through it. Paper Jam is such a weird fucking game to me. I wanna, like, I feel like, I don't know. The fact that it's so generic in its world really hurts it. Yeah. Because everything else is still good. Like, the writing is still good. Like, the game, like, the gameplay and using Paper Mario in the battles is fun. It just all but, feels, like, kind of soulless. Yeah. Which goes for a lot of Mario games around that time. And I don't know, still on the Switch, but that's... I won't go into that. Yeah. I mean, I think, you know, the series is in a better spot than it was back then, but... Because, like... Yeah, I... Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, like, yeah, it's not Solus aesthetically, really, anymore, but it, it feels still feels Solus to me in, like, the quality of the product. Yeah. It's like, it's like it's like in the Wii U days the games felt a bit soulless, and in the Switch days it feels like the corporation is soulless. If that makes sense. Yeah, I could feel that. So damn sterile in its world story and characters, but mechanically yeah. as great as always. Yeah. Donkey Kong. DK has some big oh. ass teeth. He's got the big ass nuts. <laughs> He's got big nuts. He scratches them a lot. There are a lot of nuts. <laughs> no. I, I I can't wait for for the new Donkey Kong game and the the opening fucking opens with DK scratching his nuts. <laughs> he scratches his butt and smash, and now he scratches his nuts in country. He's butt and smash. Uh yeah he uh in the uh, K roll trailer. I love that trailer. It's so good. And I like that the banjo one like plays off of it. Yeah. I remember when I saw it was watching that E3 and they did that. I was a hundred percent sure it was gonna be Dixie and then they threw us for a curve. See, the only reason I didn't believe it was Dixie was because uh it feels weird they would begin with Dragon Quest and end on Dixie Kong. That's fair. Cause not that... Kong is his favorite pastime. Oh no. Yes. <laughs> he he scratches his nuts an awful lot. He needs help. Get him some. Get him some. Get him some, <laughs> some powder. He yeah. needs. He needs to stop scratching his nuts. Stop. He's starting DK, to bleed. Put your hand down, bud. Okay. Grand Croco should voice Donkey Kong in another game. 100%. He should. I, I, I'm, surpri I'm surprised they didn't give him a voice in uh, DK Adventure. I mean, he has a standard voice. Yeah, like but like, yeah, but like, 
It's not a voice, you know, like Grant. He, ha he has a voice actor. He doesn't have Grant. His nuts are red. The, there oh, is no. red is his tie. They're bleeding to death. Oh, God. Call the hospital. <laughs> call the doctor. <laughs> call a surgeon. He needs to fix his nuts. <laughs> I'm going to look up the voice stone. It's, it's like some Japanese guy now. Remember when Donkey Kong had a beautiful singing voice in the cartoon? Yeah, what's funny is the regular voice actor didn't do those singing lines. Yeah, yeah that's that's typical for Oh oh wait, no no no. I'm think I'm thinking of Sonic Underground. Sorry. DK did have the D no, I DK think he's talking about they're separate. Also, you're right. It's just a Japanese guy who voices them. <laughs> I'll shower you with coconut cream pies. Can we talk about how the Donkey Kong Country cartoon has genuine bangers for songs? And no, I will not. I will not hear otherwise. <laughs> I want to say, uh, didn't I get copyright claimed on a song from that show? Oh, yeah, because I was like, hey, play this song. It's really good. And then you got copyright claimed. I was like, fuck, dude. They're looking for the DK soundtrack? Like, why? Robert. What? Donkey what? Kong and Big the Cat share a voice actor. Wait, who? Uh, the guy who voices Donkey Kong in Modern Stuff. He also voiced Big the Cat in Team Sonic Racing. Oh, that's funny. And Ganondorf and Ultimate. Oh, Why didn't he come back for DK? <laughs> and Dial in Tales of Bersia, Bersaria. What is this some One Piece character? What's the character's name? Um... Jozu. Never heard of him. Don't know. He's some big dude. <laughs> DK scratches nuts. Now he's dead. DK? Oh. Uh, DK? <laughs> oh my god. Rob? What? I found the best Donkey Kong picture. It better be a picture of him scratching his nuts. No, it's not. Let me it's save not... the picture, please. It's not. No. Uh, where's the picture? I need to see it again. Come on. Just take a screenshot of your I need, phone. I need or... Donkey Kong's nuts again. No kidding. Oh my god. Yeah, for some reason, it's not letting me see a picture, so I'll just screenshot it. You should show this on stream. It's great. I'm not going to. Whatever it it's is, a, I'm not going to. It's a good picture. All right, give me a sec. I put it on Discord. That's the Mario and Rabbids 2 where they gave Mario dual pistols. That, well, that was pretty cool, though. He's packing extra heat. Uh, I think I broke the That's, fight. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, actually. I don't know. Oh, Jess, we do not endorse that. What did she say? She said, didn't know this channel endorsed bestiality. I definitely do not endorse that. We want to make it clear to Twitch, we do not endorse that. <laughs> That's a great picture of DK, though. <laughs> you gotta show us. You gotta show chat. I can't. I can't just do yeah. that. I didn't know if you could, like, pull the picture out in front of your setup or whatever. I, I mean, I can, but, like, that takes so much work. <laughs> okay, then never mind. It's fine. Alright, reach the finish before DK. Or... <gasps> DK! DK, he scratches nuts. 
He's in a mountaintop because it's cold and it doesn't rile up his nuts. <laughs> he moved to Canada because he likes the weather. <laughs> it is beautiful out here with his nuts. He loves it in Quebec. He's not moving back. <laughs> Every now and then he goes in out he goes outside to see caribou. <laughs> <laughs> Caribou. Nature <laughs> woke. Caribou. <laughs> he D loves K. the importance. <laughs> Goes every week. Oh. Arrow has taken over the island. <laughs> Everyone is dead. It is DK's <laughs> fault. He tried to find himself, but instead he found a bad situation. Shit, I have to he do the boom boss to again. Funeral for 20 people. <laughs> the only survivor <laughs> was Winky the Frog. Oh no! The only survivor. I hate that they called him Winky. I think it's a great name. It just makes me think about buttholes. <laughs> I love thinking about buttholes. I'm glad they turned Winky into a grenade in the Mario and Rabbids. That's a shout out to Mario and Rabbids for actually giving the Animal Buddies anything for 50 billion years. Yo, he helped me. Let's go. Gave you a little push. Speaking of Doom Boss, I know there's an HD remake of Paper Mario 64 being made. Would you want to play that when it gets finished? Of course. I'm so pumped for that. It's really cool. I think it yeah. is literally just like a texture hack for the ROM, but it looks really impressive. Of course. Uh, uh, there, there, I was following... There, there are two of them because there used to be one that was in development but then the guy stopped making it eventually he's just like eh I'm good and it's like well this sucks <laughs> yeah I'm thinking, I'm thinking about when uh, Punch Out was added to NSO, and Mike Tyson was like, "I can't believe they made a new Punch Out without me." <laughs> it's like what? Dude, bro, they made one like ten years ago. Where are you at? Like, it's literally the game you are in when you edit it out. Uh, can you look up the the status of that project? Is it is it like good? I remember saw a thumbnail recently of Goombas. In it, but let me check. Paper Mario 64 HD Extra Pack. Currently on version 2.2. Yo? The the most recent video is from a week ago. Is it like the full game then? 2.2 sounds good. Like really good. It says public... Go away, ad. Please. Uh, it says public release date HD September 2nd. So it might be already out? Yeah. I don't know how in-depth it is, though. This this current... Uh... I'm trying to figure out if there's, like, a link I can go to to figure out how in-depth it is.
Do it with a harpoon. Finish before the red car. Ah, yes, red car, my favorite character in Mario. There it is, speeding. Fucking zooming, dude. I'm trying to find info on like our download link or something. No, I not find anything. Is there no like? Oh, we have the full game done, or? I'm not sure. And yeah, there's like multiple projects doing a similar thing, but I can't. I just found the YouTube channel for the 4K one. It definitely it seems look... like it's still in progress. Gotcha. Because there's definitely a lot of textures that aren't done. Mm. But is it like looking nice though? Like so far? Oh uh, yeah, it looks pretty. Good. Some of it, there's a lot of flat shading, but then I get fixed later. Mm -hmm. And that also might be like a technical issue too, that they can only do so much. I'll send you a screenshot. I'm looking right now. I'm looking at a, a goon boss fight. I'll send a picture of that. And I can also just send you a link to the guy's channel. Yeah. That works. It doesn't look like it's trying to emulate uh, Thousand Year Doors art style. Oh, that's mostly. cool. I kind of prefer that anyway because uh, this is a really weird, subtle thing, but I don't like what Super Paper Mario did with his design. They made his hat tilted more downward, and I really don't like that because it covers up one of his eyes. Yeah. Uh... Collect all 15 coins if you get squashed by a th squished by a thwomp, you fail. Yeah, it looks like a lot of like enemies and stuff are like pretty close, but they still gotta work on a lot of the environments. Gridge. Like not every character has the white outline around it yet. Ah. Uh, crudge. Break the item boxes. Yo, DK! Um, they, for Goomboss, it's the 64DS design instead of his original design, but I don't know if it's going to affect how you feel. Wait, what, what, is, what got changed now? Uh, Goomboss, he looks more like a 64DS design. That's fine, I don't care. I'm just, I'm, I'm glad he's here. <laughs> But yeah, I'll, I'll send you a link to the latest video. Okay. Thanks. But it, it's definitely still in development. Which is cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with like waiting on stuff like that. Because it's like a really cool project. Apparently it's about 8... The description says it's 800 megabytes right now. Oh, that's pretty beefy. Yeah. And I it's, can't wait until it's, it's fully textures. done... I can't wait till it's done, and the second they release it, Nintendo gets rid of it. Aren't... See, we all joke, but I feel like Nintendo's very selective with what they take down. Mm, usually, what they take down is remakes of their stuff. Yeah, that's fair. But if it's a texture pack, I think it should be fine. It's not a. It's not like a separate remake. You just have to have the game to make it work. Yeah, I guess that's true. Like, I know uh, the... The actual forum for Mario fan games made a post a while ago that was like, we've only seen like 12 Mario games get taken down out of the thousands. Yeah. And they're usually ones that are, they like impede on something Nintendo's currently working on or they don't like how it affects their image. Like That's... how they took down that uh, Peach porn game that was in development for 10 years. Oh. Well. You know, good. I get it, but like, I don't think anyone was. Any, I don't think any yeah. reasonable human being was like, "Oh, I can't yeah. believe Nintendo allowed this." It's like, also weird. Nintendo always waits until they're done. They don't like. They don't like when it starts. They ignore it. They only yeah. wait till they're done. Mm -hmm. Which I feel like might be them being lenient and be like, "Okay, we 
we're gonna stop you from posting it, but we'll make it, we'll let other people post it because I don't know. I feel like waiting till it's done means it's definitely gonna be on the internet forever. Yeah, well, that's what they did with like Metro Two, another Metro Two remake. They, yeah, like, you can get that anywhere now. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you can get that literally. Like it'd be like once it's on the internet, it's on the internet forever. Especially something as high profile as that was, you know. Yeah, they just take down like I don't know, like the person making it, which is weird to me. And that person ended up getting a job working on Axiom Verge 2. That's so cool. But yeah, I think the idea from Nintendo, as shitty as they are for what they do to fans, right? But like, oh, fuck, I have to do it. Oh, fuck, why is the retry button second? Ah! Oh wait, I can just, yeah. Um, the, uh, I, I think you're right in that they, like, let these things come out just so, because they know people want this stuff, but, like, at the same time, they gotta, like, oh, you can't be, you know, we gotta be legal bad guys, you know, like. Yeah. I think it's mostly just, we don't, they don't, if, if it, if it impedes on something they're making, they're taking it down. Yeah. Like, that's why Metroid 2 was taken down, because they were literally like, working on a remake of 2. Does that mean we're getting a future porn game? Oh, shit. I know, like, a while back they took down a Paper Mario, like, Maker game or something before Origami King was announced. Oh. Which was weird. Yeah, they, they said no one's allowed to make RPGs. <laughs> shit. Collect 50 coins while avoiding King Boo. I will do no such thing. Yeah, another one they took down was a Mario game that was parroting No Man's Sky. Oh, yeah, No Mario Sky or whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah, and that was probably because they didn't want to be associated with that mess. They didn't want Mario to be associated with No Man's Sky, I, I, I'm guessing. King Boo, what are you doing in Lava Town? Oh, goodbye, coins. You gotta eat his ass, Rob. Done. Eaten. Yo, speaking of King Boo, go play Luigi's Mansion 3. Good ass game. Yeah, really solid ass game. Like it a lot. On. I don't know why I they. Re should... It's so oh, weird they released it on October 31st. They should have released it a week before Halloween, in my opinion. Oh, why? Oh, because to like have that build was up. playing it in November. Yeah, that's fair. Also, it released on a Tuesday, which was very odd. What the fuck? I hit you. I remember this dude's hitbox being a bit funky. What the? Oh, you have to, like, drive through him again. That's weird. Oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Fucking fly. Get out of here. That's King Boo, not a fly. I'm kidding. <laughs> Shoutouts to, um, I don't play anymore, but Tor, they did a really cool thing where after they added King Boo, they later added a skin to make him look like he does in Luigi's Mansion. Oh, that's cool. Because a lot of people complain about his, uh, I guess, Mario-fied design. Where he just looks like a Boo. Yeah. Yeah, I, I prefer his more unique style. Yeah, I do too, but I think the reason they do it for spinoffs and stuff is like, I don't know. I, don't, I think they don't want that kind of spooky design in just a standard Mario game. I guess, yeah. Because they're still fine with the design. They use it in the Luigi's Mansion games. I think it's just a weird Nintendo thing of being like, oh, we don't want a horror thing in this game, even though I wouldn't think he's that scary. OG King Boo just looks cool. Yeah. It's not, it doesn't look too spooky. Okay. Remember oh. that... Remember that theory back in the day that, like, King Boo was a dead Bowser? Ooh, that, that would be... That's cool. Did that not amount to much, I assume? 
I think it was just a theory, but like it's never referenced in the games. But like a lot of people theorize that at least in the original Luigi's Mansion the idea was that it was Bowser's ghost. Because in the original King Boo says like, Oh Mario, you've always fucked with me and it's like you're, this is the first time we've seen you, my guy. Yeah. What are you talking about? And there's also he uses a little Bowser body in the boss fight. Oh, um, I, I know people are like iffy on Dark Moon, but the fucking the set piece for the finale of that game is so fucking cool. Oh, I, I never beat it. What what was the? You're like in this like dark purple like void, and there's like like furniture and st stuff floating everywhere. It's really cool. You're like in a whole separate like haunted dimension when you fight him. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's also the game where they were like, "Oh, who's the bad guy?" Even though it's obviously King Boo. Don't you like see him multiple times throughout the game too? Yeah, but he's like covered in shadow, and yeah, you can see him in the background a few times. But then at the end, it's like, "It was me! Aren't you surprised?" No. Also, Mario isn't mentioned at all until like. Four fifths through through the game, and you find out while looking through a, a can like a security camera, you see Mario is kidnapped. And it's like, oh, okay. Huh. Oh shit! I gotta fix that. Okay, hang on. Yeah. I love the like the scenery in Dark Moon. Like, I think all the different mansions are really cool. Like, I love the one that's like a uh, desert clock tower. That one's really. Cool. Fuck you. Also, Dark Moon's the game where one of the bosses is literally just stairs that a ghost possessed. Oh, you know, possessed stairs are very iconic. Yeah, like, they had the spider boss, which was a really cool boss, and then all the other bosses sucked the ass. I love fighting a wall of ice with a face. Uh... Remember when 3 got DLC randomly? Uh, yeah, but it got, like, multiplayer DLC, which was weird. Not, yeah. like, not anything anyone wanted. Yeah. I think they... I don't know, I thought Nintendo for single-player games would rather save all their ideas for new games. Al. Al, stop barking. Stop. Bad dog. I hope they add Al to Mario Kart. I hope Al chills the fuck out. Yo, what if they added Al to Nick All Star Brawl? Yo, if they add my dog to fucking Nick All Stars, let's go. <laughs> All right, hang on. He's he's being a butthead right now. Hang on. Butthead. If you if you oh okay there we go okay I'm gonna uh, hey uh I'll be right back. Uh, yeah, I will entertain. entertain the chat. Hi, chat. Yeah, Jess, it is pretty generic. You, like, I feel like you could have, like, I don't know. I also don't remember why. I played that game when I was, like, 13, 14, so. Anyways, video games. How was your day, chat? I don't know if anyone here is here besides Jess, but I'll just say chat. You got. I oh, hope chat had a good day. Bye, monkey ball. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first thing I heard coming back. That's great. Uh, bye, monkey ball. Uh, I I heavily recommend playing without the easy options. But if you need them, you're. More than one if you need them, it's though. fine, but I would recommend trying your best to play without jump and stuff. I'd recommend not using jump or slow-mo. But if it's too hard, I don't mind you. I don't mind slow-mo, but I, I, please try and play without using jump. Please. The levels were literally not designed for it. Most of the levels will just be jump over the level. 
Oh. <laughs> the way I will describe it is um, jumping in a monkey ball game is like the cape in Mario World. You just skip everything. <laughs> anyway. I tried to die for him. <laughs> Oh, Jess is getting it early. She uh, she's getting digital deluxe. Let's go. Getting it early. You get the good soundtrack. I'm oh, no, I'm kidding. The new soundtrack <sighs> is all right, but it's it's nothing compared to the original. And you get uh you get to play as a Saturn. That's tight. Oh yeah, that's true. The Sega Saturn console. You also get to wear pink. That's fun. I hope the early launch for that game isn't as bad as another Sega game. Cough, cough. Cough, be cough. Being beyond PS5? I will do it. I got an Xbox. Xbox. That's the most powerful thing I own, so. Yeah, I don't think it'll be glitchy, especially since we've seen a bunch of gameplay and there's been, like, no glitches. They literally post a level every day, so... It looks polished. Hopefully it comes out and it's not, it's not like, oh, these are, these are the only levels that worked the whole time. Yeah, if all the Monkey Ball 1 levels don't work, I'm gonna be very sad. Because those we've the, the the footage they've shown has been heavily leaning towards Monkey Ball Two levels. Yeah. Deluxe one levels and deluxe levels have been getting kind of shafted. Is two like the popular one though? Like maybe that's it's what it the is? most popular one, and it's the one that has like a story mode. The story mode in Banana Mania is just twos like copy pasted. Huge. Although. They're, they're making the cutscenes worse, which bums me out, but it's fine. Yeah, they probably had to cheap out somewhere, and I'm sorry they cheaped out there. Oh, like, they mentioned, like, on the blog, like, the PlayStation blog, that the idea is they were watching their past. Like, you could have just made it the old cutscenes then, if they were literally watching their past. You could have literally made it them watching the cutscenes on a TV. Yeah, that's true. That would have been funnier. Yeah, I wouldn't have minded if it was the exact same cutscenes, because the ex old cutscenes are great. They're really over the top. The main villain is a massive fucking creep. Oh, also I love, um, the American Twitter has been posting like a bunch of old renders that like we don't have good versions of, which is really fucking cool. Oh, that's cool. Like a bunch of them are, re are renders I've never even seen, which is awesome. I'm glad Sega's letting them do that. I mean, these were probably just, like, sitting in an archive somewhere, right? Yeah. So. That's what people are assuming, is that they just had them in an archive, and Sega was like, here, you can just post them on Twitter. <laughs> that sounded more like Morgana than King Boo. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know why they added Monster Rancher to Monkey Ball. Just whose idea was this? <laughs> they oh. heard what you said about the guest characters, and they said, "Fuck you." Here's another. <laughs> I, I'm fine with the guest characters. I just wish the rest of the game was marketed a bit more. Was marketed a bit more. Yeah, that's fair. Because, like the other day, they um. They posted. They officially announced the deluxe mode, which is all the deluxe exclusive levels, and all the screenshots. There's not a single monkey in a ball. It's just the guest characters in the screenshots. Okay, that's kind of fucked up, though. <laughs> like, we get it. Funny guest characters. Oh, and also, I don't know. I'm gonna put this out there for people who don't know. The guest characters are not usable in uh, party and mini games at all. You can only play as the main six in party games. That's really dumb. I people are thinking the reason is because uh, characters have like uh, special animations for mini games, and they didn't want to do those for all the guest characters. 
then don't have as many guest characters. That's my answer to that. Uh, see, I can't really agree to that, though, because I like the guest characters. I too, but if they're literally making it possible to use them in most of the game, then, like, it kind of stinks. I don't know about kids... most of the game. Rob, the party games are the most popular part of Monkey Ball. I don't... I, I don't... Okay, again, I don't think I can agree to that. Like, what? People love the party games. I'm not That's saying they don't. The are. Oh. I... I, I'm not saying they don't love the party games, but that'd be like that'd be like saying people bought Ratchet and Clank for the multiplayer. Like no, I know, but I'm saying I, okay. The fact that two of the monkeys can't be used in party games is really bad. Okay, yeah, that's kind of. You can't kinda, play as GM and Jet in party games. Yeah, that's kind of weird. If it was and, just and, the second characters, I wouldn't mind. But it, but it's even some of the monkey ball characters, which is weird. Yeah, that's the part that's making me mad, like, low-key upset. It's not a big deal, but, like, I don't know. Uh, Jess, I think Monster Rancher is weirder than Hello Kitty, because, like, Sega has a history with Hello Kitty. They've done a lot of marketing, like, crossover with Sega. Yeah. And Hello Kitty just really fits in with the other, like, monkey designs. She fits well. Yeah, but that fucking weird eyeball on a stick, I'm not, I'm not like on. Yeah, on. and I feel like the only reason it's in there is because there's remasters coming out, which I mean, cool, but I, I don't know, it feels like a really weird addition. Also, I hate there's people in the fucking every Monkey Ball Twitter comments. It's like, oh, I had this character, I had this second character, and it's like, do you care about the Monkey Ball part? I mean, we already know what the product is, I guess, is the idea, I right? I don't know. It just, it's annoying to see it under every tweet when the people are just trying to tweet about all the cool new modes. Yeah. I, gu I guess the idea is like, okay, like when Smash came out, no one was like, oh, are they going to, are they going to have like th this stage or that stage? It's like, yeah, we already kind of knew because they just told us everything, right? Like, you know what I mean? Like. No, but I don't think Monkey Ball should be a big crossover game. I think it should just be Monkey Ball. I mean, that's fair, I guess. I can agree with that to an extent. I, if it was just like Beat, Hear You, and Sonic, I'd get it. Because those all have history of RGG. Well, Sonic doesn't. But Sonic is Sega's baby, so. And just like a parent and their baby, they're very neglectful. Yeah, <laughs> well... The only thing they neglect for Sonic is quality, so... That's what I mean. They're... Uh, no, the parents are there, like, for... Out all the time, but they're very neglectful. Yeah, true. And what's weird is, like, everyone's like, so what's the deal with fucking Sega? We well, got all your other, like, subsidiaries, like, pumping out fucking gold, and then Sonic Team, like, it's a 50-50 shot if you get something that's okay. <laughs> yeah. That's always been kind of. I think like that's always been kind of the case with Sega, where like everything they do is great except Sonic. Uh, Son like I said, Sonic's fifty fifty. Also, DK. Oh my God, DK, what's going on, bud? You, you, you heard? <laughs> I remember this one being fucking really fucking hard as a kid. If I get a triple I star I'm, right now, um, I think I'm a dumb kid. <laughs> <laughs> I remember it being, like, really slippery. I mean, to be fair, it probably is, and I, I'm just so attuned to it at this point, you know? Shit, at games as a kid. But you know what? I was really fucking bad at games as a kid. <laughs> All five item boxes. You can't tell me what to do. Burn. Oh, yeah, uh, about Monkey Ball. You know, I think I'll send you, but there's, like, in the original version, the last stages of GameCube, right? Yeah. And then in, uh, in, in like, Deluxe, they turn it into a, a dice. They show yeah. that stage, and it's a dice. Okay, cool. GameCube might be in the Switch version, but I doubt they would do that. I feel like they want all the versions to be the same. Yeah, that, that's true. 
Okay, this feels like DK off auditioning to be a horror villain. Yeah. Imagine if I get in speed run because of Banana Mania. That'd be funny. I do want to speed run, but I just don't know what to play. Uh, I could I could maybe do Banjo Kazooie if I put in the time, but I don't want to. Oh. Oh. Maybe I should. I'd love to try a Sunshine speed run. That'd be fun. Yo, that'd be cool. There's some whack shit in that run. Oh, and Toad died in the ocean. I feel like most of them are you know, 3D games would be fun to run. Although I know 3D World has a weird thing where you have to act every time you go through like a like a like part of the game. I don't know how to describe it, but you have to like leave and come back because it affect it makes the save file do some weird stuff. Oh, huh. Because how the game works is like the world changes every time you get a a collectathon. You know, it's like a a seamless way of making the level change. Yeah. So there's like a thing where every time you uh, do a boss phase, like the five phases of the boss or whatever, you um, leave the game and come back because when you do that, the say the like progression goes farther, so you have more to do that you can do. Gotcha. It's weird. It's very interesting. Another cool thing about that run is that it's not like a linear run because I think near the end of the game you have to just scramble to get whatever collect uh, collectibles you can. So just whatever you're closest to, you gotta work with. Right. There we go. I said that was Bowser's Fury, right? Yes. Okay. I wasn't sure if I even said the game name. Uh, you said 3D World and Bowser's Fury, but... I meant the, just the Bowser's Fury part. That's a separate run from 3D World. Gridge. And they're separate games. Let's, I'm gonna be honest. Hmm. Yeah. They are. I still haven't played Bowser's Fury yet, though. Oh, it's so good. It's just Odyssey, but better. Honestly. That That's actually very enticing. Hang on. <laughs> like... Like, Odyssey is, like, st structure, but there's not a, there's no, there's none of those moons you don't like where it's just like, oh, you did a thing here. Every moon is, like, a small challenge. Or good. collectible. Good, because that's what I like in collect-a-thon platformers. See, that... I think that's why I don't really jive with Spyro, is is despite it being a collectathon platformer, I don't feel like I did anything. I I'm just like doing basic platforming and yes, the dragon the first one is that, and the and the dragons don't feel like collectibles, you know, like. What do you think I told you that two and three have a mission structure? Uh, I mean, that, you go to NPCs and they're like, "Do this thing, and I will give you a collectible." I mean that's that's better. I I could probably I'll I'll try them at some point. I guess if I have the, if I have them already, I'll try them. If I don't, I'm not buying them. So. <laughs> yeah, I will say one is very much a just chill, get the things. It's very much its own like. It's not. I don't know. Two and three are definitely more feel like a standard collector fun with just you have an objective you need to do. Yeah. First one's more like just explore these levels and find stuff. It's like a scavenger hunt. Nice. That's how the first one. I don't know. I think that's also kind of why I'm not as big on like I'm fine with Odysseys because I like scavenger hunts. So I'm I'm getting stuff. I don't really care how I got it, but I got it. Yeah, that's fair. You know what always bothers me about the urban tracks in Mario Kart? What? Um, they never have like an exit for the road. It's just the loop. Yeah, that's true. I can't sneak it off. That's fair, Jess. I wasn't saying it was like objectively better. I was saying for people who aren't as big on Odyssey, Bowser's Fury is similar, but gets rid of the things they complain about there is a lot of it feels like it does definitely feel like it's a bunch of linear courses put in an open world but i don't i again i don't mind that 
it kind of gave me a galaxy. It kind of felt like a bunch of Mario Galaxy galaxies put in one big open world. Which I now was. That cool sounds with. that sounds enticing. And the fucking the new music they made, oh, so fun good. <clears throat> oh, bangers. Also, everything is a cat. I don't know if that helps or hurts your desire to play it. Uh, uh, it doesn't help or hurt since I don't really. I mean, internet cats are cool. I don't. I don't really. I don't like cats. How would you feel if I told you the bullies have fur? It's kind of cursed. Yeah. And if it's raining, they have it's bullies with wet fur. Oh. That's, that's... Yeah, it looks awful, and I love it. Jess, I, I can't with you and your opinion sometimes. I mean, th that's fair. I, I know there are people who don't like Galaxy, and that's fine. I don't... I, I, I'm not I'm not going to die on the hill of Galaxy because I don't even care about Mario games that much. <laughs> like, honestly. I do. So, like, when people are like, I don't like Galaxy 1, I get, I get a bit salty. <laughs> that game like, is fucking magic to me. I don't know. I, don't I, just, know. I, get, I, I Go ahead. I, 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 at least you two both agree on liking Sunshine. How much? No, I'm kidding. How much does she like Sunshine? She <laughs> likes Sunshine. Like. Well, I love it. So fuck her. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> I'm weird. If I like a series or a game, I get really attached to it, and it's hard for me to listen to criticism. That's just how I am. Oh, see. That's the thing, like, I, I can stand criticism, but, like, when I feel it's unwarranted, then I get salty. Like, w yeah. like Sonic the Hedgehog, I get real fucking salty, real fucking quick. And that's how I feel about Mario. I don't know. I People love to criticize Mario games, and I'm tired of it. I've heard I mean, every criticism. I mean, to be fair, it's there's no lack of positivity about Mario games. But it feels like, I don't know, it's like, with, I don't know, if like Odyssey, all I hear is negativity about that game nowadays on Twitter. See? There you go. What's your first favorite Mario game? No. <laughs> Mario teaches typing. Mm, I'm, 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 I'm not talking. Uh, uh. It's weird to me that, Jess, you don't like, like, the, like sort of like the linearity of everything but your favorite game is probably one of the most linear mario games out there yeah like, like i feel like galaxy one and two is just is 3d world is galaxy one and two without the theming yeah and even then like galaxy 2's theming is sky <laughs> yeah do you like blue skies and that's it yeah right. Uh, to be fair, there's one course that takes place during a storm. One, one. There's one course that uh, it's a it's desert and it's nighttime. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of just blue sky levels though. <laughs> right. just... I I'm just thinking of that SpongeBob meme. Daring today, aren't we? <laughs> like... Just uh, try to be both open and limited. I mean. I feel like Galaxy, like, most, I don't know, they, I feel like they don't do it in the same level. Some levels are a bit open and some are a bit linear, but I don't know, I don't really see how that's an issue. Or this one that, wait, Galaxy isn't open? Like, when's There's it a open? couple levels that are open, but they're still, like, linear objectives. Wait, which ones? I miss uh, those. Beach Bowl, um, Beach yeah, an open you, level. Yeah, but you still have one goal, like, and that's it. Yeah. Like I the mean, two, the two fall themed level, like the honey hive and. If if uh, anything, if if anything, sunshine has a bigger problem with open versus linearity. Like See, that's true. I I feel because sunshine has like Bianco Hills. You can explore that whole village and do whatever the fuck you want, but there's no reason to do it. You're just going to the objective. And that's what Galaxy does. It's just yeah. It's just more yeah. even more contained. It's just a smaller sandbox. Yeah. Reach the finish before Mario. That sounds like a. I guess threat. with Sunshine, you have blue coins to go for, but 
Uh, yeah, you, you you have like optional routes to like, so you have some minor leeway, but like sunshine is incredibly like, you need to get like seven shines from every course, otherwise the game is just like. Have a Mario on every single world. Yeah. See, that's interesting. It's so interesting because like we all people are like, oh, I love the collectathons like, uh, sixty four and sunshine, but I argue the only true. Like the Mario games are 64 and Odyssey. Like I feel like Sunshine, like yeah, it's an open war area, but you're not you're not allowed to do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, and that and that's the thing. I think all of us can agree that we, well, maybe not not Jess, but like at least you and I, we like all the Mario games, right? Like to a certain degree. Yeah. There's and not it's just, there's not a single mainline Mario game I don't like. Yeah, exactly. Like we're. we're Oh my god, this King Bob up spray. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> the omnipresent, like mm, it's so it's so menacing, and I don't get yeah. it. See, I'm worried. I just love every, like most Mario games I play, so I, I start I, like I have criticisms, but they don't affect my opinion. If that makes sense. Well, well, they affect your opinion, but you still enjoy them regardless of, you know, said criticisms. Yeah. Like, I still love each game. Okay. The only, like, Melee and Mario's I'm like... The only one I'm, like, eh on is Mario 3, but I think that's... I don't know. I think it's just because I'm not a fan of a lot of the level design in 3. Mm -hmm. I, I still like 2D Mario, though. I love Mario 2. I actually think Mario 1 is really fun. And yeah, Mar I Mario 1 has merit despite its simplicity, you know? Yeah, it's simple, but I think it's fun. And then I fuck I love World. World is great. Oh, then... fuck this. Fuck this mission. Fuck this mission with a 10-foot no, pole. <laughs> this this mission fucking sucks dude I like look, at the, look at what i have to fucking do what is this bullshit I, I can't oh, even get up the fucking ramp this is good uh, okay there we go i guess my thing is i like big open worlds and sunshine that feel very natural and i love exploring them big galaxy it's linear but here or there there's big planets you're meant to explore and i feel no desire to i just don't love a lot of the galaxies Hmm. See, I think with the big ones, those ones are fun. Instead of like having a linear challenge, you're being like, "Oh, here's a big area. You gotta find the way to go." And I like that. You gotta find which way is the way to progress. Yeah. I don't know. Galaxy Two fixes. I will say, Galaxy Two. Structurally, it makes it like when they do a big area, it makes a little more sense because in Galaxy One, a lot of the big areas, like the places. The offshoots usually just give you coins or star bits. But, um... Hey! We don't... We don't talk about the observatory that way. Observatory, it, uh, okay, I need to talk about this fucking Hub World's Boring as Sin thing. What the fuck? The observatory is so, like serene it fits the vibe it's like a chill yeah. space place and then the hub world in the second game is a derpy looking mario face with a fat purple fuck on it like <laughs> i don't <laughs> like i i, 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 it, I it's like so the, i don't know it's so I, distinct it's so creative and different like i, I don't I, 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 people are always like oh but in 64 in sunshine the hub had stuff to do but i feel like in galaxy the whole point of the hub is supposed to be a break area it's supposed to be yeah, a place to chill and like maybe do like a couple star lumas but it's not supposed to be like a gameplay area yeah it's it's not a, like a level in of itself like sort of like how sunshine and uh 64 were you know just i think kind of the point is there's nothing to do it's supposed to be a place you take a breather yeah it, there's literally nothing to do because it's just to go from level to level that's it you know it's 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 a world map with free movement more or less you know like that's yeah, it's it's more supposed to be a place for you to chill uh and talk and to npcs and stuff and you and you have like side missions and stuff there too and you have the rosalina story bits which are interesting right like 
There's stuff. I love the storybook. Oh, yeah, I love the storybook. It's so good. There's people who hate it, though. What? Whatever. Just... I don't. I don't know. I, now I'm salty. I don't want to. I don't want to talk about I this am anymore. Salty. People. People always be dogging on Galaxy One. See, but that's and that's the thing. It's like, oh, Galaxy Two did it better, and it's like Galaxy Two just is so uncreative, though. It's just, it's just a linear Mario game with galaxy names and platforming, like. Yeah, it just feels like. It feels like what it was designed to be—an expansion, not a it, game in of it itself. Yeah, it, it doesn't. It doesn't feel like it expands on what Galaxy did right. It just is more Galaxy gameplay. It doesn't have like an identity, besides yeah. being more Galaxy. Yeah, it's just more Galaxy and uh, like ga just gameplay. Like, and that's it. Like, oh f fuck. Okay. Uh, let's... If you prefer going level to level, why do you like Sunshine then? <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't quite get. I don't quite get how, your how you feel, Jess. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm bad, just. I'm, I'm just. I'm just having a hard time understanding is all. Uh, and, and you know, to be fair, that's that for me and you, Cassidy. That's very difficult to. We're, we're not speaking right with Jess right at this moment, so it's like actually difficult to like assess like you know, the intricacies of what she's actually thinking, you know, because it's, yeah. she, she has to use the text chat right now and that's much harder to get your point across in than, you know, speaking v with your vocals, <laughs> obviously, right? So. Yeah. Yeah. No. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Hey, guys. Welcome to EB Games. <laughs> I will say, out of like Mario hubs, I really don't. I, the more older I get, the less I'm like into 64, just because like you do a lot of backtracking through it. And it's uh, like, yeah, if if you play it like the quote unquote intended way, there is a lot of backtracking. It's not fun. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, just because every section of it is separated and you have to go back to the center to get anywhere else. There's no way to, like, loop around. Dungeon has a great hub, though. I do like Delfino Plaza. Yeah, Delfino Plaza is great because it, it, like, feels like an actual place people live in. Right, even if even if it, even if the Piantas are kind of just assholes, like as people, like I I enjoy that it's like a real town that you're in. You know, like there's people to talk to. There there like Jess mentioned, there there are like fun little quests you can do and stuff like that. You know, yeah. like mini games, like the box shit. You know, although there is the um one, pick the fruit mission that fucking blows ass. The which one? There's like a lady with a little goal, and you have to kick fruit over the like canal. Oh yeah, there is that one. Okay, that one kind of stinky, oh, but it's... like, but there, you know, it's something you remember, right? It's like, it's yeah, cool. there's not like, there's not, uh, there, there's not too many star like shines to make it feel like it's overpowering the rest of the game. Right. Exactly. Michael like, Galaxy, I feel like they do a similar thing, but instead of the stars being in. The observatory there through the star lumas. Yeah. Which, you know, as characters are far less interesting than like Piantas or something, right? But. Lumas, but yeah. Well, well yeah. You, I'm just saying, like, as characters, the lumas yeah. don't feel like a population of people. They feel like star creatures, and that's all like, they are. They feel like children, which is what they are. Yeah. You're talking to a bunch of children. This mission fucking sucks, dude. Oh, you think Rosalina gets stressed out having to take care of a million kids? <laughs> For th probably, like, a long time, too. Yeah. Do you think she ever has to deal with a kid who isn't sure what they want to, what kind of celestial body they want to become? Oh, that'd be interesting. If they, if they had an aspect of, like, delving into the psychology of Lumas and stuff like that, that would be really good. 
yeah, the little bit we get is it really fascinating because like they don't seem upset about becoming inanimate things. They think they they seem like it's a, a very honorable honorable thing for them. Yeah, they're like really hype on the idea. They like, like they, they essentially it. die, but they think it's a, they, it doesn't make them upset. Well, right. It's not because to them it's not death. It's it's like almost their purpose. Like they that they yeah. feel like this is their purpose. You know. Yeah, and the story book delves it into a little when Rosalina sees it for the first time, and she's very confused and is like, why is this happening? Yeah. When the Luma she met becomes, uh, the planet the observatory becomes. Mm-hmm. And it's really fascinating. I don't know. I like when Mario, I don't know, a lot of people, I see people who are like, Mario should just be lighthearted, no story. And it's like, I don't know. I like when Mario delves into some interesting topics. And that's the thing. It's like the Rosalina shit's 100% optional. You never yeah. need to learn about that stuff, ever. It, it's <laughs> just some separate world building for people who want it. Yeah, exactly. It wasn't even, like, forced. And apparently Miyamoto was pissed when he found out about it, and it's like, good, yeah, get mad. There's a, quote, there's a quote from him where he's, like, really proud that he, there's no story in two. What a stupid cut. He's like, I nip that in the bud early. I no. see that's the I know, thing. When, whenever I know people are like I don't handle on the ending of one because it does also like one like one's ending is like pretty dark but like I don't know I think it's a good ending I mean yeah it's dark but like it's the end you've already played the game <laughs> like, <laughs> you know what I mean like I, I don't know like you, you did all the gameplay part well I don't know what the ending was supposed to be you know like Remember when you got 100% and there was that weird cliffhanger of the Luma in the ruined spaceship? Mm -hmm. What was that about? What were they wanting to tease? Do you think they had more story plans and then they got nipped? Yep. I guarantee that's what happened. Okay, sorry. I have to read what she said. I have to make sure I understand this. So, my thing is, uh, I prefer going level to level over a hub I don't like, question mark. Like, I don't know, a really good hub adds a lot, but I love the quickness of not having one at all. Really good hub is better than no hub, better than hub I don't like. The observatory doesn't inherently feel fun to go through, so all I think about is the time I can, uh, or it can take to go from galaxy to galaxy. So, in comparison to, this is basic. Okay, so that makes more sense to me now, that you would put Sunshine's Hub over, you know, like, something, like, cause, because get 64 and Sunshine have, like, real hubs where you're, like, doing stuff, right? But, I don't know, I, I still feel like there's plenty of stuff to do in the observatory, you know? So, like, I don't know. I, yeah. I, there's, like, little but, secrets to find, too. But I, I I do understand where you're coming from now, and I have, like, a better yeah. idea of what you I mean, get, so... I, I get what you're saying, but I don't necessarily agree with it. Right, because oh, we both kind of think Galaxy does, it, you know, it just makes the hub smaller, but there's still stuff, plenty of stuff to do. Granted, it, you know, like I mentioned earlier, the Piantas and stuff like that are very full of life like you know the whole hub of delfino is like a real place you know like i feel like i could actually vacation there sometime not that i would want to because they'll accuse me of being a fucking criminal but you know it... it's funny when you said they were assholes my first thought was delfino plaza is a uh, hawaii but with new yorkers inhabiting it <laughs> that's very true yeah we we understand now jess we're sorry if we like seemed like we were like attacking or anything like that we just it, it was it's hard to understand thought when it's written out as opposed to uh like you know or written out in like chunks of small bits you know all right uh i have my dinner's ready i'll be right back oh okay all right let's let's just get Fucking item box is...
pranking me right now. Okay. And, and like I said, Jess, we're, we're sorry if we, like, you know, seem like we're trying to upset you or we're getting, like, overly aggressive about what we think, you know? Because, like, like we said before, we, 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 we like all the Mario games, so there's really, like, no, like, malice meant towards it, you know? I think part of it is having secret stars with these unique missions in the hub itself. As far as I recall, the only real secrets in Galaxy's Hub is lives, which are kind of useless. Yeah, that, I, I guess that's true. Uh, there, there might be other instances of secret stuff that I don't remember, because it's been a very long time since I've played Galaxy, honestly. Oh, it's the one that travels all the way over there. Okay. Great. You'd love to see it. And I do want to... I, I do plan on playing... Because, uh, you know, I, I also have plans for Mario at some point. Right? So... You know, we'll uh, we'll get around to that when we get around to that. And I and I do want uh, you to join me if I ever get around to Sunshine, obviously, because I know you love sh Sunshine. So. Nah. I guess that uh, purple star coin that I'm looking for is our power, but. I, I do also want to, uh, what was that, what was that Mario Sunshine mod called that, like, added all that cool stuff to it? I can't remember. I can look it up. Oh, hey, welcome back. This one is getting my fucking goat right now. <laughs> It's called uh, Super Mario Sunburn. Yes, that's it. Thank you. I, I knew it was Sun something. We're probably going to go to Push Your Talks, just in case. I don't want anyone hearing me chew one. Uh, fair. Let me see. How did I make that work? Do you know what button it is to do Push to Talk? Like, what you have to press? Uh, I have no idea. Is it a mod that finishes the game? Oh, shit. <laughs> Why you gotta roasties it? Uh, you know, it is interesting that, like, both Sunshine and Wind Waker were, like, you know, incredibly rushed products, but, you know, they're, they were still, like, really solid in their own right, right you know?
sunshine to death, but it feels broken. I feel you. Hello? <laughs> Hi, Cassidy. Hello. I was just making sure push the truck was working. Yep. I can hear you now. I'm going to release the button and keep talking and tell me if you hear anything. Okay. Uh, if, if she's speaking, I can't hear her right now, so... Then it's working. Hello? Yep. It's okay. working. <laughs> okay. Cool. Hello? Yes, hello. Hi. Yes, okay, I want to, it went, the way you said that, I wasn't sure if you could hear me or not. Oh, yeah, I heard you. I, I just, okay. I'm, I'm about to lose my shit because I accidentally repeated the fucking block fort one. At least we can work here as far as I know is rushed and cutting content. It's a guessing game how slow it's working. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah, Sunshine was rushed in terms of like programming, but in terms of like core content, I think they got everything they wanted. Or at least a lot of stuff they wanted. Five levels were cut in Sunshine. Oh, never mind. They didn't. They missed out on a lot of shit. <laughs> at least concept wise, five were cut. And I think the reason the physics are the way they are is they're like a straight rip of 64's physics. But they got bugged somehow. Are they really a straight rip of 64 physics? Huh. From what I understand, a lot of it is similar, like, code-wise. Gotcha. This is definitely one of those missions that's gonna drive me up a fucking wall. And this what sucks is like I already did it and I'm just I just screwed up. better this time. There. <laughs> now I can't screw up again.
so is the like secret one like a full like world of missions or no? Oh, I forgot I had to hold it. Sorry. Yeah, it, it's a it's a full world. Okay, gotcha. That'll make things take a little bit longer, but, you know, I figured we're already this deep into it, might as well do the whole thing. Yeah, Wind Waker does, you know, feel like a finished product, I guess. But, you know, the the biggest, like, moments where you can tell it's not done is uh, uh, the third Pearl. Uh, like, they, they have the stormy weather segment or whatever, but there's no dungeon for it. And then uh, the, uh, the Triforce quest. Like, that was very clearly meant to pad out the experience. So, you know, I, I, I think, you know, the, the seams do show if you, if you look, but you know, overall it still feels like a, you know, a, a good ass game. So the fuck kind of shape is this? Oh, it's a star man. Okay. I never noticed there was a star man before. Yeah. So. I, I guess the the appearance is oh okay well mm, I don't know how to know on that but yeah you know, fuck that okay but yeah it's a star man you could tell uh, like this is the top of it and then those are the eyes right there and this is the foot Trying not to hit it! Okay, well, I hit it. And I hit it. things don't scream cut content to me I'm the weirdo who likes the well I'm that's the thing is like the Triforce stuff and whatnot is still fun but like it's clearly padding like like they they wanted you to spend a lot of time doing this and there's no reason you have to hunt down like logistically there's no reason you should have to hunt down each individual piece like that it's it's a bit messed up Oh, another another thing I guess is the uh, the uh, what were those like those mini dungeons where you get uh, the uh, the gauntlets or not gauntlets the uh, the power bracelet and the uh, iron boots um, those those were meant to be full dungeons like clearly or at least to me they seem to be it's just, it's just really weird that you just you get these random items you know, at this point in time.
Yeah. Sorry about that. I was eating my dinner. No, it's fine. How dare you eat? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. I'll be better next time. <sighs> no! I hope the next Mario Kart adds, um, Rob, our main X. Adds me. You want you want me Mario Kart? Yeah, I don't know why that's a problem. It's not a problem, but you know, I just we have to. Rob, why don't you want to be in game. Mario Kart? I, I'm not saying I don't. I'm just saying it'd be a very odd inclusion, but I'm willing to work with you know Nintendo if they want it. Oh, it seems like you're complaining. I'm, I'm going to tell them that they should go with their second choice. Uh, who was their second choice? Baby Yoshi. <laughs> Baby Yoshi? Yeah. They, they said this no-name guy with 300 followers on Twitter. Him or Yoshi? Baby Yoshi. I mean, Baby Yoshi's very cute. That's true. Yeah, it would be the best if it had Baby Yoshi, Jess. You're right. Baby Yoshi was in it to be the best Mario game. That's why New Super U is the best Mario game, because there's Baby Yoshi in it. I don't know about that. I'm going to be honest, the Baby Yoshis feel so, like, last-minute addition in that game. They really are. Or at least it feels like they are. They're also barely mentioned in, like, the few cutscenes. Like, you see them at the end of the opening cutscene, and they're nowhere in the end cutscene. That's really funny to me. Baby Yabby. Would you whisper that? You were just like, Baby Yabby. Baby Yoshi. Yonch. Holy shit, Rob, you streaming Mario Kart DS? What? Yeah. Just wait till you, Cassidy finds out. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. No. It's not what I wanted. No! It's not what I wanted. Whatever. <laughs> Redoing. I wish the fucking boost pads weren't here. These boost pads suck, dude. Yeah. I remember this one being hard because of the boost pads. Bring back rainbow boost pads, Nintendo, you cowards. Can't believe they took out the rainbow boost pads because they hate gays. <laughs> that isn't why they did it. Yeah, it is. Why else would they get rid of the rainbow? And they replaced it with the color orange. What does orange stand for? Trump. I I don't know about this. I you're saying a lot of words, and I don't agree with any of that. Ten so. supported Trump in two thousand and eight. Did they? Yeah, they introduced the orange boost pads in Mario Kart Wii. Cassidy. They've been supporting Trump for a decade. I have irrefutable evidence. I don't know about irrefutable. But... What else would they? Why would they change the rainbow to orange? Huh? Tell me, right now. <sighs> Shit, I don't know. Is it because did they remove the rainbow because orange is your favorite color and you hate gays? Is that it? I I I, I don't. I'm like partially mm -hmm. that. Maybe it's a cover up. It's a cover up. <laughs> you, maybe you, you're bi, but you hate people who are just one. <laughs> just, I, I, I just hate one over the other. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're the, you're the biggest centrist in the world. Oh, oh, jeez. You date both genders because you're a centrist. Yeah, 
Anyways, funny guess. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah, Jess, we're going to play more Gex soon. It's going to be great. No, we're not. I feel like you should give Gex 2 a shot. I, f I feel like I'd rather play a thousand other games. It's a 3D platformer. You like those. Questionable. Um, it's tail time, Robert. Wait, that was a B rank? How the fuck was I supposed to do that faster? Bad mouthed Gex. <laughs> I mean, fair. I might have. It's tail time. It's tail time. Did you know the backstory to Gex was supposed to be like super fucked up, but then they changed it? Yeah. They went from depression over a family member dying to oh, he's just lazy. Yeah. They were like, oh, for, for kids now. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's why we're going to hire a point star for the third one. They really did do that, didn't they? I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, the ladies played by a porn star. Also, Gex has sex with her, I think, at the end. It's implied. Yeah, yeah it's implied. I wonder if anyone's drawn that. I don't think anyone wants to draw Gex if they don't have mm, to. I mean, there's a lot. Gex sold like 10 million copies. Yeah, but that doesn't mean anyone wants to draw what they saw or played, you know? Mm, I mean, people have been asking for a remaster trilogy. Yeah, those people are called bad people. That's the main difference. You call me a bad person? Yes. Damn. I don't even have an attachment to Gex. I just want to try it sometime. The first one does not look that great, but I've heard two and three are pretty fun. Uh, I'd, I'd rather play something else besides Gex. Fine, play Spyro. <laughs> <laughs> Al, come on, man. Come on, man. Don't be a butthead. It's like, Dad, I want to play with my toy. Not allowed. No Dad. Puppy, no puppy playtime. Dad. <laughs> Dad. You're my real dad. I mean, I, I, yes, that's correct. <laughs> I guess you're not even his dad, you're his uncle. Yeah, right. Oh, Uncle. That's, that's that's a bit I love with uh, uh, Troy's kid, uh, where <laughs> he calls uh, Troy's kid calls Al like his brother, right? Yeah. Uh, but but Troy and I repeatedly call Al his uncle instead. <laughs> <laughs> so much funnier, and he gets mad Uncle about. Al. It. I wish the dog was my uncle. I remember one time reading a book, it was just like some children's mystery book, but one of the things in it was that the, like, tween main character girl, she had an uncle who was, like, three years old. Yeah, that, that can yeah. happen. No, I know, I just remember, I just distinctly remember that. You should, just this is it in the chat, you should play Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury for the Nintendo Switch Family of Systems. I don't know. I already did. Sure. I did, and I had a good time. The The speed boost definitely helped my opinion of the game. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I'm still not a hundo on that game. Even. Well, I'm still not a hundo on it. I'm saying it made it more tolerable. Uh, I'm, But, like, for me, it was, like, a 1% better version of it. <laughs> Fair. Like, I can acknowledge it's still, like, a very solid game, but, like, really just don't enjoy playing it. It just feels awkward. I don't like that it's stuck to eight directions. Even if the game's designed around it, I don't like it. Is it weird that I think they like 3D land slightly more? I don't I don't know if it's weird. I I don't know if they're but they feel the same to me, but you know. One of them's go up. <laughs> one well, 3D World has sixteen directions, not eight for one. I don't know. I think it might just be a, like a nostalgia thing because I played 3D World when I was a tween. So maybe. Also, everything doesn't look like plastic, so that's nice. All right, come on. 
Remember when they announced 3D World and it was just called Super Mario? What? Wait, what? Did they not give it a title? No, when they first showed it off, it was just the logo was just Super Mario and it had a two detail. I thought that was Land. 3D Land, yeah. You said World. I meant Land. Whatever. And I, I'm just uh, sorry, just confused. <laughs> I did the thing everyone does where they get the two confused. Well, you should play Klonoa. I do have it. I've heard it's real good. I know. I don't I... know, like. Huh? Oh my god. Why did I get hit like six times? What the fuck? I don't know. I don't know if the Wii version or PS1 version is better of Clonoa though. Uh, most people tend to prefer PS1 because they say the Wii version is like a little too weird. Yeah, I've heard like it's pretty faithful remake. It's just I've heard some people don't like that they made Clonoa a bit taller. What? And the remake Klonoa is, like, taller. Huh. I, I don't really see the... Like, what makes that bad, though. Uh, I guess because in the game's dialogue, they call him little. Like, they call him a little kid. Oh, but he's, like, not. He has the body shape of, like, a teen. Yeah. Um, kind of weird that they can get a remake on, PA, on Wii of all things. Oh, they did it because it was the most popular. That's true. Did you see the redesign they considered for Klonoa at, that, at one point? Y yeah, it was pretty rough. Yeah. Jess, you can, uh... Actually, I don't know. Is piracy easy on the weight? I don't know. Yes, it's incredibly easy. But the it's problem is she doesn't have a PC, so it makes it hard for her to have access to, like, the programs and stuff. Fair. So I probably shouldn't be talking about piracy on Twitch. Eh, who cares? Oh, finally I can stop playing this fucking mission. Save state. No, it was like two <laughs> years ago. There was a trademark for Klonoa Encore, but that didn't do come of anything. Yeah, that was, that was weird. It probably meant they were planning on a remaster or something and then decided not to. Yeah, because I know, um... The Katamari remaster is called Katamari Encore in Japan or something like that. Yeah. It's still cool that got a re-release. Yeah. I'm glad I'm glad it did. And they like actually cleaned it up. They didn't just bring over the kind of shoddily made PS3 HD edition. Yeah, it's a it's like a, yeah. I don't know a lot about Katamari, but I, yeah, the remaster is really good. I got it on Switch and it runs great. I love the fun, like, pixel textures. And the really fucking weird cutscenes. <sighs> Come on, get out of here, lady. I know the guy who made Katamari, he, like, is his own dev now. He made... I think he's the one who made Watam on PS4. The what? Uh, the game, what, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's W A T T A M, Watam. Uh, uh, Watam. Yeah, he made that. I haven't played it, but the premise is like you're a mayor of a town, you gotta make friends and stuff. They also made Nobby Nobby Boy on PS3. They made a lot of things. Yo, they hooked me up with stars there, and now I just win. <laughs> maybe Bowser's confirmed gay. Yo, maybe. Uh-oh. Yeah, we do it. I feel like we all had a hunch, you know? Yeah. Like, he's just trying to ask Peach for advice, you know? Yeah. Like, like how, how do you come out to someone of the same sex, Peach? And she's like, why would I know? And he's like, come on, I see you and Daisy. Yeah. Browser pretends to not know Luigi, even though he has a crush on him. <sighs> Scandalous, though. <laughs> He's like, oh, Mario, why are you trying to stop my plans? I want to see your brother instead. 
<laughs> Why do you keep show me, showing up, Mario? You're not who I'm here to see. That's why he's so angry, because he's tired of seeing Mario. Yeah, exactly. It's it's why he's upset when Mario ruins his plans. And when Luigi's there, he's just too nervous to say anything. Yeah. The shouts to Monty Mole, chillest fucker in the Mario universe. Dude, just wait till you find Mega Mole. Oh shit, Mega Mole's fucking coming. No, dude, he's chilling, dude. Like that's what I, that's what. Yeah, I, he's chilling, what... but I know like he's coming to the party with like the chips and the dip. Oh, dude, he made it himself too. That's the cool part. Yeah, he made some real fucking good avocado. Oh, no, oh, geez, what am I trying to say? He made some real fucking good spinach dip. Oh yeah. He, he's got he's got his own recipe he made himself. It's real hype. It might be spiked with something, but it's Don't, fine. No, it's not. It's not because he's cool and no. he would never do something like that. No, he put weed in the. Uh, oh, in this oh, dip. he wanted everyone else to chill. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder if you could do that. Can you put weed in spinach dip? I mean, you could. There's probably something you can do about it. Yeah. Dude, dude, this dude's name is Chief Chili. That's actually Mega Mole's <laughs> online alias. <laughs> oh my god! What? I found a I found a recipe for um, marijuana for marijuana spinach and artichoke dip. I don't know why they need me to be twenty. They asked why I'm twenty one on this website uh there there are some states where you need to be 21 for it mm. yeah it's just spinach dip but there's marijuana in it He fucking killed Luigi. <laughs> Sonic, hero, Sonic, hero. I don't uh, know I, 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 Cassidy, we we can hear that. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 just check it. I I was thinking about Sonic heroes. <laughs> so. For a brief second, my brain my brain registered that because of Discord's audio quality. I registered that as Sonic Arabs, and <laughs> oh. that was like that is not the same video game. <laughs> Isn't that Sonic and the Secret Rings? Shh! Don't say that. What? What? It 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 uses Arabian Nights as a plot. Yeah, that's true. It does do that. Just because I, I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> me referencing other cultures does not make me racist, Robert. I, I, I know, I know, I know. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> Imagine telling a white person that they're racist because Aladdin's their favorite movie. <laughs> It's literally what it is, though. It's very funny. We don't need to Yo. watch these credits. Get them out. Uh, you say that, but... Fuck. Mission run... Wait, are these separate credits? Mission run mode director. <laughs> did, did they put the mission mode in its own... St on its own, like, staff? Maybe. Wi-Fi programming. UI programming. Hey, Shibata. <laughs> Yoshiki Haruhana. <laughs> Masaki Ishikawa. I hope these people are happy I'm saying some of their names. It's just some of them. One of them was <laughs> watching right now and they're like, oh, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Yuroki Kino, Kino. Tanaka! 
Wait. Who? Is Tanaka? I'm thinking of someone else. Who's Who's Tanaka? I was thinking of um, what's the Animal Crossing guy's name? Oh, uh, I don't remember. I can't. Totaka, I can't. not Tanaka. The, oh, Tataka, the musician guy. Got it. Totaka's song. That dude always does good music. I wish he worked on more games. No. I wish he composed more songs for New Horizons. Uh, wait, who? Tataka. I thought Tataka's a guy. Yeah. You said she. I said he. Oh, maybe I misheard. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're fine. Um. Yeah, in New Horizons, they only added, like, four new K.K. Slider songs. Oh, gotcha. And the rest, are the rest, like, remixes, then? No, they're just r riffs. They've never remixed K.K. Slider songs for Animal Crossing. Oh, okay. They might be, like, a better, like, quality versions, but they're the same song. They, they, do, they always do that weird thing where the performance in the CD you get are, like, different versions of the song. Oh. Interesting. I think you mentioned like you don't like the CD versions because they're just like <laughs> instrumentals. Mm -hmm. What is that secret mission mode, baby? They don't even tell you about it unless you come back to this menu too, which is fucked yeah. up. Yeah. I wonder who that is. We'll never know. It's a right. pineapple. It's just an egg. You know who it is? I need you to look something up for me. It's called. It's a TV show called Yakety Yak, and there's there's a character in it, and you'll see exactly what I mean. <laughs> Anyone watching this needs to look that up too. <laughs> Yak Yakety Damn. Yak. Pineapple. SpongeBob's house looking ass. <laughs> Uh, living under the sea, look at it. <laughs> Six power slides, one lap. You got it. Oh. Uh oh. Well, it. I mean, there's a couple turns here, so I could probably do it, right? Don't fall off like you did in Double Dash. Dude, fuck Double Dash. I, I love ass. Double Dash. That that spiral fucking sucks. No, like, go, when's the last time you played Double Dash? A year or two ago. What? You did not. Yeah, I, I think in like 2017 or 2018, I did a I did a playthrough of the single player. That's three years ago. Okay, I remember how the game feels. I like the slipperiness. The slipperiness is so bad. You can't be precise at all. I like that oh. it's only been a few months, in your opinion, one for. I'm not a fan too. I hate it. Uh, no, I. Uh, I mean. I think, I get it, it's not like, it's not ideal, but I think it's fun for, like, casual playing. Yeah, for casual playing, it's fun, but when you're grinding out fucking Grand Prix, that shit sucks. Yeah. Because <laughs> I, I, I mentioned it when I streamed it, that, uh, if I was, like, playing with some friends or whatever, this would be a blast, but I wasn't, so I wasn't. <laughs> you weren't a blast. I wasn't blasting. Don't take that mm. out of context. Um, you weren't, you weren't, uh, goldfish cheddar blasting. Goldfish cheddar blasting? What does that yeah, mean? Yeah, they have those goldfish flavors that are, like, blasted. It's, like, what they're called. Onion goldfish. blasted. Cheddar blasted. Weed blasted. Yo, weed goldfish, though? Whoever makes goldfish, hit me up. You mean, like, Nabisco? Oh, guess. that's go that nice. Way. What a shitty thing to do to someone. <laughs> yes. So anyways, I started blasting. So so anyways, I started blasting. Shout out to Danny DeVito. He seems cool. Dude, Danny DeVito is, like, unapologetically, like, a really sweet person. 
It doesn't know what a Pokemon is. Yeah, that's okay though. I'm I wonder if he said that as a joke, because like, who doesn't know what Pokemon is? That's true. I, I think he he probably said it as a joke, but he was basically saying like he's not doing it. Yeah. Don't go that way, Rob. Remember? Yeah, I know. I was riding it oh. so I could avoid all the grass and shit. You were riding it. <laughs> 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 Genuine snort. No, I faked that. Obviously. Oh, I thought I got you. No. I thought I, it was genuinely funny. <laughs> I mean, you are funny, but no, I didn't <laughs> snort. <laughs> See? Uh, two uh, laps in a time. I can do that. Any though. This monkey. Monkey ass. Monkey, yes. <laughs> Jess knows what's up. I'll let you read it when you can. I'm a fucking monkey right now, you know? You're fucking Don't a monkey? That... No, I, I, I'm a, I'm a monkey. Twitch? <laughs> we don't support that. <laughs> Twitch? Hey. <laughs> Shut up, get your hand, Get your hand off the account deletion button. <laughs> I, I think Jess just knows how you truly feel. I mean, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> Twitch, get your hand off the button. I like how all the the race cars in this game just sound like little 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 RC cars. They're Did I just hear someone say hi there? No, it's uh, roommates. My mic, I, I don't know what it is, but something about my mic settings is like really fucked up, and I'm not able You're to block okay. out, back out background noise. You're okay. Don't be angry. Yo, DK. DK stands for di ice. <laughs> ice. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> just, just ice. The cold, cold. It stands for dichotomy. Di it does not. DK. Dichotomy. DK. Insurrection. <laughs> DK. Washington Riot. Oof. I don't know about that <laughs> one. Which? Okay. <laughs> I like the idea of me saying anything slightly risque and having to tell Twitch to not delete me. It's definitely not an old bit. It's a good bit. I got a dog here who wants attention. Ew, gross. He's a good boy. If a bit stinky. Yo, stinky dogs are the best dogs, though. Yeah. DK. The Civil War. I mean, that happened in the war, so... That's true. I don't know where people found that, because it's not mentioned in the games. I think it's like a fan theory that, like, lost its mind. <laughs> I think it is mentioned in, like, a manual, and people just went with it. I love the theory that um, DK DK Junior. Not hold on, because there was like the the theory that uh, DK Junior. Like died in a, the war or something. That's oh why we adult him. Oh, I see. 
because the Donkey Kong we know, modern Donkey Kong is DK Jr.'s son. Yeah. But we've never seen an adult DK Jr. That's true. We haven't. He died in the war. DK. PTSD. <laughs> you think Cranky Kong would care more that his son is missing? Uh, you win some, you lose some, you know? Yo, DK Warriors, though? Yo, DK Warriors would be sick. I would be 100% in. I like how you're like, oh, Mario, nah, Monkey, yes. He's been violent before, it's fine. Do you see the way he beats people up in uh, Returns? I mean, yeah. Look at his final smash in Ultimate. Just watch that DK Warriors has the same, like, plot twist as Age of Calamity. I don't know what that plot twist is. I know, I know, but J <laughs> Jess will, she'll be like, Rob, what the fuck? <laughs> Remember when they announced DLC for that game and no one cared? What? They did? For Age of oh Calamity? yeah, they did. Like, it's, well, I don't even think it's like a story DLC. It's just like, here's some characters. What were you going to say, Rob? Sorry. I, I, I mean, they, yeah, the DLC for Warriors games tends to be handled by uh, Koei Tecmo like marketing. Not super much on Nintendo, which is weird. It's just funny that, like, when they were talking about it at E3, everyone was like, we don't care. Should we the world? I mean,. Also true. True, yeah. I wonder when we're if we do get like a September direct, I wonder if they're gonna show Breath Blood to it all. Uh hmm. I don't know, maybe. If it is, I hope it's not the one more thing again. Like we get it, we get it's coming. You don't <sighs> need to make it the one more thing. Yeah. The only reason it was the one more thing at E three is because they know people would have asked about it. Yeah, and it had been two years. Yeah. I feel like they should have just not. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I feel like it was fine announcing it, but they should be giving more details on it. Just slightly. Yeah, I feel like they should have given us a couple of updates in 2020 instead of just being dead silent. But Nintendo loves to be dead silent. so. Although, to be fair, 2020 was not a normal year for Nintendo. No, I know, but I would have appreciated at least a, like a tweet that was like, hey, it, it, development's been going slow, so it's going to be a while. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That would have been nice. I hope Breath of the Wild 2 adds a sex in the game. Why? <laughs> what do you mean? Link Why? and Sidon Link and Sidon deserve to have their love fulfilled. Okay? I mean, fair enough. As long as Zelda and Mifa smooch. Yeah. Because her is more like a mom and her descendant is like a kid. So. It's not happening there. I don't know. I think Zelda and Urbosa can get it on. Well, yeah, but one of them's a ghost. So it kind of, you know, that's a. Mm, hasn't stopped people before. <laughs> that's very true, actually. Shit. I forgot about that. <laughs> I I prefer when fanfic writers stick to canon. Remember a while back I was like I don't know why I was talking about Urbosa and I had completely forgotten she was dead. Yeah. I was like I, can't, I hope we see more of her in two and you're like she's dead and I'm like wait what? I had completely <laughs> forgotten. I was like I mean yeah we might see her like <laughs> but like she's I forgot because I was reading fanfics okay <laughs> no Zelda's mom is her mom that's dead I mean both of you should know that it wouldn't really bother me regardless so <laughs> also Link is the gayest fucker I've ever seen yeah Link is uh, very much a twink if they wanted that, if Nintendo wanted them to be together, they would have kissed by now. <laughs> have you seen? I guess, have, 
I guess someone has Mario to finish Age of Calamity then. Huh? <laughs> I guess someone hasn't finished Age of Calamity. <laughs> I'm bought in it. Do they kiss? I'm mad. <laughs> what if I told you that Age of Calamity said gay rights? <laughs> what? Are there gay people in Age of Calamity? What? <laughs> I can't believe you're fucking with me. <laughs> what? Now I'm so thrown for a loop. What? Yeah, Jess, back me up here, you know. I'm getting gaslit. What? I, I was gonna say decide I have a boyfriend, but he's a teeny tiny child in that game. Don't look it up. <laughs> I'm not gonna look anything up. I'll make get sure, to you eventually. Make sure safe search is on. <laughs> Rob, you know I don't care about that. If I see shit, I see shit. That's true. I should clarify by adults. I'm not gonna look at the kid's side on. Making it very clear. I don't know if it was clear enough. I just I'm worried about Twitch or about getting taken out of context. Adult side on is hot as fuck. That's my stance. She's <laughs> 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 not ready to roll. <laughs> <laughs> he just understood what you meant. Uh. So when so when he finishes, does a ghost of him shoot out of it and scream? <laughs> like, we talk about the roof descendant who just sucked. Yeah. Ow. Stop. <laughs> I guess uh, the Rito one also kind of sucked. I don't even remember his name. I don't either. I remember he had like maybe 10 minutes of cutscene. No, not even. He had like 10 seconds. What am I talking about? Yeah, that whole... Breath of Wild in total doesn't have 10 minutes of cutscene. I, I mean, to be... Yeah, I was about to say, to be honest, the whole game is 10 seconds of cutscene, so... Mm. I was going to mention this to you, but I remember, I saw like an old like thumbnail for a Beta 64 video for when Breath of Wild just came out, and it said, Breath of the Wild Beta 64, big font no spoilers and i think that's really funny because there's nothing really to spoil yeah right <laughs> there is nothing to spoil that game is fucking nothing coolest thing about that game is like the world building not the actual plot in my opinion like seeing like all these like areas that were destroyed or had like things happen to them that's the cool part in my opinion the best part is technically just yeah, yeah. This doesn't show you any of this shit. <laughs> Is there? It's environmental right? storytelling, Rob. No. Yeah. Uh -huh. Real good storytelling. Is real storytelling. Tell. Real good storytelling is whenever someone tells you it's environmental storytelling, they mean to tell you that it's storytelling they didn't want to actually create, so the fans had to do it. Whoa. No did I just time. did I just do it? Yeah. Good job. So, okay, okay, I'm fucking select mission. Goodbye. <laughs> that should have been the last one though, because that was like really cool. Like it, you're on Wait, a DS okay. and it has Mario Kart. You know. What does Jess mean when she says he he does? Like, what are we talking about there? Who does what? I'm confused. Is he technically does just not what you're thinking? Oh, he eats Daruk's rocks. I don't get it. Remember when they show up Empa and it was just pure as model? Yeah. <laughs> Character design is my passion. I hated this fucking level. I. What are we. What is this fucking mission? This mission sucks! 
It's supposed to be hard. It's hard mode, Rob. It's hard. <laughs> I like just saying it's hard in that voice. It's really funny. It's it, hard. It's difficult. I don't like it. Damn, Jess. I can't believe you're spoiling Age of Calamity to me. Fucking mad. No, I'm kidding. Remember when they added DLC to Breath of Wild and it revealed that Daruk has a fear of dogs? <laughs> That's infinitely that funnier exactly. than anything you could have said. <laughs> That's true, though. He has a phobia of dogs. The fact you can't move forward at all pisses me off. It's a reversing challenge. Okay. I think I found my new voice. Hey. Whoa. I think Superstar is a good video game. Okay. There are people who think that. I don't know why they would, but. I was about to say an even more specific opinion I don't like, but it was going to definitely call someone out on your server. Oh, no. But so I'm not gonna say it. I mean, they're they're probably not watching anyway. Who cares? I'm gonna be more safe than sorry. I mean, you can message it to me, and I'll just laugh at it. <laughs> okay. She just sends me a message that just says, Jess stinks. <laughs> I sent it. <laughs> you did it! You don't need stars for these, remember, because there's nothing else I don't want. But you got them, so. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> That's a. Yep. I forgot about that one. That's definitely something someone said at some point. Maybe on your server. I don't understand that at all. Yeah. <laughs> Jess just now got to the part where... <laughs> just deep. Jess, you, you're stinky. Go take a shower. Okay? <laughs> Onkis. Okay? Okay, Deska. Nature Boardwalk is so cool. I love the vibe. Oh. What do you need to know, Jess? Oh, <laughs> Luigi was found dead. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Luigi, dude. He's never going to make it to Rush Hour 3. Shit, he's not even going to be Rush Hour 2. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. You're not my real mom. We'll see about that. What does that mean? <laughs> what did you like to know? Yes, that's why I asked. Uh, I'm going to adopt her. No, I'm kidding. Well, congrats, Jess. You have a better mom. I'm your mother-in-law, Rob. Oh. <laughs> you didn't think about the repercussions. Oh. Yes. Jess, uh, I'll send it to you. <clears throat> I think I sent it to the right account. I think I did. Oh my god. If you sent it... Huh? If you sent it to whoever that was. I didn't. I don't. We're not even friends. Oh, okay. I've never. I don't think I've ever spoke to them. I think there's a few people who are active on your server I've never interacted with. Yeah, that's true. To be fair, a lot of a like lot of gross. them are uh, 
are active in just like you know every now and then as opposed to yeah there's a couple of people that are never active on there and i <laughs> i asked jess about this i was like is it cool to kick people out of a server if they've never interacted in it and she's like well what's you know like the big deal or whatever and i'm like i don't know i housekeeping <laughs> like, is, is that ever wrong have a person limit what was that can a server have a person limit uh yes, it's eight hundred thousand. Oh okay, I was gonna say if we ever reach that, then maybe you can kick them, but we're not reaching that. Yeah, we have forty eight, forty nine, maybe. That's that's pretty close to eight hundred thousand. <laughs> <laughs> it's just what like seven hundred. Uh, right. Yeah, so you, sent it to, you sent it to the wrong account. Well, I sent it to her old account. Well, her old account is probably very grateful to know that information but you should probably send it to the i don't i'm not i don't know their new account uh go to the server where she is probably online at this moment and she is a mod like you i sent a friend request <laughs> yes you know you could have just changed your username right you didn't have to make no, a new account she, she couldn't because she didn't have the email access oh okay my bad now there it is. I'm not waving to Jess. Discord. <laughs> Why is this the most menacing image in the game? <laughs> <laughs> hey, fucker. How you doing? <laughs> pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> Call me a pineapple bitch. <laughs> we'll see how it is. What a great final track. I'm so glad they end this on like a fucking prank of a character. <laughs> this dude was playable in seven. Get gloves. <laughs> Hit that ass. Oh Ooh. my god. Didn't he get got a booty bounce. And <laughs> yep, that's certainly a take. See, what I don't understand is like Never mind, I don't want to get into it. Because if I get into it, that's going to spoil who it is. That I, can't, I can't do that today. We're going to have drama over video game opinions. You you joke, but some people fucking... They get salty. I mean, that's fair, but I... I'm already get salty for video games, so I find it hard to believe people are worse than me. True. But I mean, I guess I don't get... I don't get... I don't yell at people. I just like if I'm not vibing with the conversation, I dip out. The vibes aren't right, so I'm gonna be out. Yeah, I feel you. I'm not. I don't want to yell at people. Someone, if someone says Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz is a good game, I just won't interact with them. <laughs> I hope you realize that. I'm going to be very upset if I don't enjoy Super Monkey Ball. Like, genuinely, I'll be very depressed if I don't enjoy that. Because, like, I, I know I joke, like, I, oh, I played it b b back during fucking Ikea or whatever the fuck, right? But See, that's what I'm worried about, is that, like, the game is not going to feel as good as the originals, and it's going to make, it's going to turn a lot of people off Monkey Ball. I mean, to be fair, I, I can easily emulate the originals if I, if, if Banana Mania doesn't click, you know? Yeah, one and two I think are pretty easy to emulate. Like they're one of the bet more compatible ones with Dolphin. <laughs> Just thinks they she knows who it is, but mm, we'll see. I think if you're buying Monkey Ball for Monkey Ball, you'll enjoy it. If you're buying it because it has funny. Yakuza man. <laughs> <laughs> you might enjoy it, but you're taking a gamble. <laughs> if you're buying it because funny cat beef. I just realized you hardly play as Yoshi in any of these. Who needs him? And you don't play as Rob at all. And not Dry Bones yeah, either. Or Waluigi. I think <laughs> I think they wanted Rob to be, like, a very secret character. Like, he's not... 
Actually, I was going to say, he doesn't have renders or anything, but I think there is a render of him in a car. Yeah, there is. Dude, you take the shortcut. He can he do that. Oh, no. <laughs> Mario got hit in the head. <laughs> and Mario died. That's Manhattan it. bus driver runs over Italian man. Could you imagine I just end the stream on Mario getting hit by a bus? <laughs> that would have been hilarious. Whoa. Oh my god. I hope they add Brooklyn as a track in Mario Kart. That's what is interesting about Mario and Luigi. They're not they're Italian, but they're not from Italy, they're from Brooklyn. Which I don't think they ever reference anymore. I think they don't even like referencing that he's Italian. Is Mario racist? Uh, I mean, there's certainly grounds to make that argument, for sure. Oh, hello, dog. Sorry. No, that's okay. I think I remember hearing that, like, people... I don't know if this is real, but I remember hearing that, like, people in Italy don't have a problem. Like, Italians don't have a problem with Mario. Yeah, it's the, it's the same pe issue people have with, like, Speedy Gonzalez. Like, people say he's racist, but, like... Hispanic-speaking countries adore him, so, you know, yeah. <laughs> what's, the, what's the problem, you know? Eddie Gonzalez is great. He's awesome. Wiggler's fucking pissed. Please explode. Oh, uh, I thought he was going to explode oh, like hilarious. the other boss. <laughs> okay, Rob, you got to get three stars before we quit. No, I'm kidding. Oh, fuck that. I'm, I'm good. I, I did it. I 100%ed this shit. Now let's listen to the credits for a fourth time. I'm okay with that. Yo, this is Cello. Yo, but like, I don't know, after after Double Dash, this game felt really nice to play. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely like, I love Double Dash to death, but I can, the controls are definitely like a turn off for a lot of people. Mm hmm. Like, because that's the thing, right, is like, for me, it's, uh, It's it's the precision in Double Dash I don't feel like is there, but in this it they this is was like the start of like what modern Mario Kart feels like to me. Uh, and I don't know. It's it's a good game. I like this game a lot. Yeah, this I, is I, a good Mario this is a very good game. On the I, I I don't recommend getting gold stars on everything. That's yeah, don't don't go for stars. If you want to do it for mission mode, that's fine. Don't do it for racing. Yeah, just, you know, you, or like if you have a group of friends for local play or Parsec or something like that, you're going to have a good time, right? So, yeah. Yo, there's the boy. There's DK. Running and swinging his arms, about to hurt many civilians. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> Toad. He's coming back from the war Peach started. <laughs> of course, that makes sense. <laughs> Bowser, just like real American politics, Bowser was not punished for his crimes. <laughs> Got off scot free. So, uh, like, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, so, uh, <laughs> Bowser getting off for his war crimes, so, uh, Superstar Saga. I mean, he didn't. I mean, he was possessed. So, plausible uh, deniability. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I guess. Wait, deny I have a question. If if so, if if a ghost possesses you, do they still need to eat and drink? you I think they would have to to keep the body they're possess possessing alive. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So they would still have to take care of it, right? Yeah. Now, that, that brings up the question. Can they feel, like, hunger? And can they taste? How does possession work? How much are you possessing when you possess a body? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I don't know. I don't know how that's supposed to go, you know? Peach, you started a very violent war. <laughs> Peach, I have many questions. 
And you're not going to answer any of them. I hope they add my dog to Mario Kart. <laughs> <laughs> what a great way to end that. <laughs> Sink to zero slot. <laughs> yeah, my right. favorite track. All right, I've been playing this game for six fucking hours now. I am more than good. But before we go, I have one thing to do. Uh oh. Steve. Steve. <laughs>